it going? My name is Ethan Ralph. I'm the owner and the editor-in-chief of the RalphRetour.com, broadcasting to you live from Merida, Mexico, where it is 12.29 p.m. Mexican Standard Time. It is 2.29 p.m. Eastern. Also, I have to cough. Stop smoking cigarettes, right? Yeah, but I haven't yet. I haven't yet. I saw so many uh, bullshit posts about my trip, uh, lies about my sobriety. Um, I took a. So- <laughs> That's the new thing that I fa- that I've fallen off the wagon. They want it so bad. They want it so badly. As you can see, sober. I did take a sobriety test. Uh, one of those days, but I just didn't feel like posting one every single day, uh, because it's kind of a show thing, uh, anyway, but no, I did not, uh, fall off the wagon, no, I was not, uh, drunk during movie night the other night, is what they're trying to say, what was it, uh, we watched when they said that, Spawn? Uh, no, I wasn't Spawn while we were watching Spawn, Mike is a bit quiet, okay, well, I'll try to fix that, I don't know why that would be, oh my god, Okay, let me try to fix that while I'm here. Yeah, that's the latest one I uh, I saw. Let me see. Output device. How the fuck? Why would the mic be quiet? I don't know. Uh, okay. Yeah, it is. It got turned way down. Okay, that should be that should be a lot better there. But yeah, they 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 put out all this stuff uh, about the trip, about me, you know, being fucked up somewhere, which I wasn't. Uh, wasn't fucked up during movie night. I'm pretty sure I took a breathalyzer during that movie night uh, as well. But, you know, they want it so bad they can taste it. They can taste it. They can taste the alcohol. They want it so bad. Uh, but no, I, I haven't been. I haven't been drinking. Had a had an interesting trip. A fun trip. Uh, got to do a lot of fun things. Uh, truth is stranger uh, than the fiction uh, I saw put out there uh, about the trip. But uh, one day. You know, in the book that I always talk about, but never write, uh, I'll I'll give you the full, I'll give you the full four one one. But uh, I had a good time, and I hope you guys had a good time since I've been gone. We do have an all day fund on your screen today. It's I jacked it up a little bit. We'll see if we can hit it. We're on a well because we have the Cog Bro exclusive uh, in just about an hour. So I did jack it up a little bit. We'll see if we can hit it today. Um, so technically it's a little bit higher than the streaks, uh, or the goals have been on the street, whatever the fuck I was trying to say there. Um, but, uh, it is on your screen, powerchat.live slash the Ralph Retort, killstream.live slash tip, rumble rants here on rumble, dollar sign, sunset squad over on cash app, many different ways to support the show. I saw this as well when I, I didn't see it myself, uh, but I guess some, some fans of the show or followers of mine uh, saw this weirdo posting a torta, uh, and he noted that he got a torta in Wisconsin and didn't have to worry about getting worms. Well, you don't have to worry about getting worms here uh, in Mexico either, but I started eating tortas in America. I know this may come as a surprise to some people, um, but there are Mexicans in America, and... <laughs> There are Mexicans in America, and there are plenty of tortas in America as well. Uh, And I started eating tortas at a place called La Milpa uh, there in Richmond, Virginia. And it used to be open 24 hours pre-pandemic, and now they close at like midnight, I think. Pandemic took so much away from us, quote-unquote pandemic. Um, But yeah, that's where I started eating tortas, was actually in America. So I, I, I really don't know how that's some kind of own, but yeah, that's what, that's where I started eating them. Now they're better here because, you know, they're a little bit more authentic, uh, in Mexico, but you can get tortas in a number of different places, uh, (laughs) in a number of different places. And I've seen people in chat talking about, uh, they, they got tortas as well, uh, since I've been talking about them. Uh, but yeah, that they're not really that hard to find, uh, honestly, if you want to get one. So now they're, really really not hard to find uh here in merida here in mexico but yeah i saw this just before i came on air uh and this guy posted this and then ended up blocking everybody who replied to him trolling him because it's just a really weird i mean it's basically a a cell phone holy crap a torta in the middle of nowhere wisconsin well yeah i mean you can you can get them all over the place um 
even place I, I would say anywhere there are Mexicans, but I'm pretty sure there are places that sell tortas that just have tortas on the menu with with no Mexicans as well. So, um, but yeah, I started eating them uh, in America. They charge a lot more for them in America, but uh, yeah, you you can get them you can get them anywhere. I what did I eat uh, that was really good this week? Guacamole, of course. I saw people spurging. Uh, over my guacamole, which was quite strange. It was very delicious. Uh, I had uh, some octopus uh, as well, which was very great. What, what was the name of that place? I I put it, uh, I put the name of it on Twitter. I don't know. I don't have it pulled up, but great seafood place I just happened to stumble upon uh, here uh, in Merida. So, yeah, and I went to the Temple of the Magician, which I've been to before, uh, but I went to it once again. Uh, there's another, uh, ruins around here that actually still lets you climb the steps up to the top. And I'm going to try to go, it's close to Chechen Itza where they don't let you climb the steps anymore because some fat bitch fell down the steps, like, I don't know, 10 or 15 years ago and died. So they don't let you climb the steps there anymore. But is, is it Ixmal? I can't remember, uh, the one, but somebody pointed that out to me on Twitter and I, I had known that already, but I'd forgotten about it. So there, there is one out there. Uh, where you can climb the steps. Have I ever done the dino tour? I haven't done the dino tour yet. I'm still going to do it. Yes, that needs to be next. I agree. I just got a message about that. Yes, I have not forgot the dinosaur tour. That's in progresso. Uh, I didn't get to do it uh, this past weekend, but uh, I will I will get to it. Uh, and yesterday, I was planning on coming back yesterday, but uh, schedule just... Uh, didn't work out right, and then today we had uh, Cog's brother Paul scheduled anyway, so I figured it's just best to come back uh, with a little bit of a bang uh, here on the kill stream. Uh, a lot of lies told about Paul. Cog's been spurging for, I don't know, two or three weeks now uh, over this whole thing. Well, we're finally going to get to hear from Paul around 3.30 p.m. Eastern. So if you're in the chat wondering when that's going to happen or somebody asks you when it's going to happen, a little bit less than an hour away. Just a little bit less than an hour away. And I always feel not nervous when I come back, but just a little bit, you know, you get into the groove uh, when you're doing shows daily or almost daily. And then even even four or five days off, you come back and it's like, it's like getting back on the bicycle. And you, you don't forget how to ride the bicycle, but it's still a little, you're like, uh, I won't say wobbly, but you're like, oh yeah, th this is how this goes. Uh, so I'm back. We do have a, what is it now? A 16 day streak, I believe, on the line. I think today would be number 17. Uh, if we do, if we do hit the streak today. So anyway, uh, it's good to be back. I hope you guys, uh, enjoyed your time, whatever it is you did. Uh, I hope you had fun. Uh, I had fun. Like I said, interesting trip. One day I'll, I'll, I'll write a little bit about it. Um, it, it was, it was, it was interesting, uh, in many different ways. So, uh, I'm getting messages. Okay. Yes, I'm. We're gonna talk about that. Yes, we're gonna talk about that. Uh, it takes a little to work out the st stiffness, I reckon. Well, it's just, you know, you just get in the in the groove, and then I was talking about this last week. Like, I almost hated to take the time off. Uh, I kind of wish I hadn't, uh, but you know, it was already scheduled. Uh, and I ended up doing that, but um, I almost wish I hadn't because it kind of like uh, broke my momentum a little bit, but. Anyway, I'm back. I did do a little bit of writing uh, while I was gone. I wonder if I should. I wonder if I should pull that up. Let me see if I have that pulled up. I don't know if I'll read the whole thing. Um, but there's this uh, tranny, or was this tranny, named Bayou? Bayou? I think that's how you say that. David Gender was his government name. And Josh Moon, uh, it's, a, it's a long story, but this guy had a, a thread on Kiwi Farms, uh, as I know a little something about. And I guess it was fucking with him or whatever, and he, he, offered, he offered Moon $120,000 to take it. 
And I'll play this song. James Gartner sent twenty dollars on Rumble. Uh, I'll play this song. And some, and of course, you know the the moon mongoloids were immediately like Ralph's defending a tranny and tranny defense force and oh my god what no that's not the point that's not the point of this post uh and I'll explain it I wrote this I think the first day I took off I woke up in the morning and just banged it out did a little bit of editing but not too much uh and posted it it felt good uh it felt good something uh, but let's hear this song first Let's hear it now! Yeah, his name was... That wasn't Griner, I think it was Gender, right? A doll will send $1 on Rumble. Love your Ralph and chat. Heading to work, but I'll be listening. Glad Thank you, you had brother. fun, man. Congratulations. Thank you, and congrats on your new, your new gig. It's time to <laughs> I'll replay that one. I'll replay that one after the song. Dizzle Pete, thank you for that, brother. I'll replay that so we can hear it again. Damn, we already had 10% on the goal? It's good to be back, I must say. Get up out of your fucking chair! Wherever you may be, get up! Jane in the chat as well. Thank you for that, James. And then also, Dizzle P sent this in. Let's hear it again. This lap said ten dollars. Welcome back, Ralph. Keep killing it, brother. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Like I said, you know, it's always the first day back. It's always a little like, oh yeah. Did I? Sometimes I'll say it. What did I? Do I still remember how to do this thing? Yeah, I haven't forgot. Harvest time. Mary Jane sent twenty dollars on Rumble. Harvest time. Congratulations on that as well. I have I have so much um, that I want to say, uh, but thank you is the main thing I want to say uh, to the audience here. Uh, this is what I love to do, and when I'm not doing it, uh, even if I'm doing some fun things uh, and maybe some not some fun things off air, whatever, um, I I always miss coming out here and and talking to you guys. It's like my it's my thing, my job, and I I love to do it. And when I don't get to do it, it's like, 
even if good things are going on, uh, it, it's like a it's like a weight on me basically, uh, and I have a lot less weight on me now, but still, um, it's it's a little disorientating uh, when you're. When you're so used to coming out and talking to people, uh, it is less said the better for sure. And they said, yes, yes, I know. Um, but anyway, one day. Um, now, the whole thing, should I just read this? Press one if I should just read this out uh, in the Ralph of voice. Uh, I started to cut a video on this, actually. And it probably would have got more plays if it was a video. But I felt like writing. Uh, I felt like writing, and so I, I wrote this. Uh, I wrote this out, and again, the Kiwi Farms mongoloids were like, "Oh, he's defending a tranny." Da, da, da. First off, I'm not known for defending trannies. Uh, I don't know where that comes from. Um, now, nah, I've, I've dead named so many people. I remember during Gamergate, I dead named quote unquote the I think it was the head of Agda. Uh, at the time, and they're like, no, no, what are you doing? You can't do that. I'm not known uh, for being easy uh, on trannies, and so I don't really feel like I have to uh, prove my credibility on that. I don't hate every tranny. Um, I hate a few, uh, but, um, you know, I don't go out of my way uh, to pick on them necessarily because they're obviously mentally disturbed, but, you know, I've, I've made fun of plenty of trannies and went at them brutally, uh, including Brianna Wu. I mean, like I, this is, this is well known, uh, parts of our lore. So I don't feel like I have to, uh, establish my bona fides, uh, when it comes to the transgendered, uh, cri critique, <laughs> but it's about Josh Moon lying is what this is about. Anyway, I'll read it. I'll read it since the ones took it. A bedtime story about Josh Moon. Now, it's funny because I published this in the morning, but, well, just the way I was writing it, it kind of it kind of felt right to, to title it like that. A bedtime story about Josh Moon. I even tagged him in it. So, Josh Moon, John Potter, whatever, the evil slug. They, they really like that line, evil slug. I don't think I've ever used that line before, but it just felt right. It just felt right. Whatever the evil slug has changed his name to, he goes by Null on the internet. He started a site called Kiwi Farms to troll shield himself over his allegedly past love of Shotokan and Lollicon, his dreams of killing his mother, his creepy stalking of a romantic interest that wanted nothing to do with him, his general lies, the form that he set up for pedophiles to commiserate and coordinate their sick predilection for harming children, now has another confirmed kill on his record. They didn't like that line either. Uh, and... You know, to be fair, I'll try to be fair. I mean, it is a confirmed kill, basically. But, you know, at the end of the day, somebody who kills themselves, this, you know, they did that on their own. You know, that's true. But um, they want the confirmed kill. Like, I see I see them on Kiwi Farms, like, thirsty uh, for this type of thing. And uh, to me, it's bizarre. Like, there are people I've wished death on, for sure, on this air. Uh, there's people I wouldn't mind seeing checking out of this bitch. Uh, but I don't sit around and, and, and hide that fact. And those people who I feel that way about, and we're going to talk to one of them's brother uh, here in a few minutes, I have a really good reason for feeling that way. Like, I don't just sit around and, and, and hope for people to die. Even some enemies of mine don't reach that status. Like, I don't sit and wish for everybody that I've ever had beef with or have beef with to die. Like... Uh, even the ones I do feel that way about, it's really not great karma to feel that way uh, and to, to enunciate it, but sometimes I can't help, help myself. But anyway, let me continue. Unlike Null, I don't have to sit here and lie. Before this, I had no idea who David Gender, a.k.a. Bayou, was. I still barely know about the guy. He was a tranny. Obviously, that is a lifestyle choice I cannot understand and have ridiculed when the occasion calls for it. I slept well last night, nonetheless. I always sleep well. Why? Because I don't lie about who I am and what this nasty place really is. But Josh Moon does. He likes to act as if his hands are tied when it comes to removing the information of people on his website, 
Kiwi Farms. This is a site that was specifically set up to harass, threaten, and chronicle the lives of those deemed worthy of such journalism. They didn't like that line either because they have a rule against, uh, they call it cow tipping or getting involved. Now, they have this rule, but they never actually follow this rule. Uh, and you don't have to look any further uh, than me uh, and the shit they've coordinated uh, in my real life, uh, facilitated crimes against me, crimes against others, DSP's bank accounts been hacked. There's all kinds of criminal uh, behavior. And again, you know, whatever. I've I'm not I'm not lived a perfect life uh on that score myself uh as far as criminality but just own it that's that's my whole point with this with this post just own it just own what it is don't be fake don't be don't be a liar that's what the site actually is that's what it really exists for go ahead handsome a crayon sent $5 on rumble good morning ralph Hope you have been well. Thank you. I hope you've been well too. James Graves 33 sent $20 on Rumble. Welcome back Ralph. Love the vacation photos. <laughs> At least your food photo pictures look better than that Dino shit Cog's wife made. <laughs> your food actually look good. Also, congrats on the interview. Thank you for all that. I appreciate that. And I may show some of my uh, some of my food uh, here in a bit, but uh, I'll I'll finish this off, but uh, thank you for the support surge there. Uh, and yeah, I I did eat I did eat very well, a little too well. Uh, so I gained a couple pounds. Now I've been losing for a while, so it's not that bad. But Alianta seventy seven sent one dollars on Rumble. Welcome back, Ralph Amali. Disgrace. I ran out of Killstream content and had to go back so far that I reached the Adam Green versus Disgrace Thorpe debate. <laughs> Glad the Killstream is back. It's good to be back. It's always good to be back. Uh, and we're going to have, a, I think, uh, a little bit of a tell-all interview. And we may have a special tell-all tomorrow as well, but I'm not 100,000% on that. I'm hoping. Uh, I'm hoping for that. But I'll just, I'll just leave that there, and, and we'll see uh, as far as that goes. But... Uh, okay, where did I leave off? It hosts countless doxes. Again, this is not me doxing it's just this this is what this place is right I, I i never moralize about doxing i don't you know it's just a thing that happens i've given my take on doxing i won't repeat it here but this is not um false morality this is just pointing out what kiwi farms actually is it hosts countless doxes, lies, pictures of people's children and extended family, encourages and chronicles off-site harassment, and has been responsible for countless acts of real-world crime. People have been physically attacked, homes vandalized, bank accounts hacked, careers ruined and altered permanently. Also, jo also Josh Moon, no, can make an easy buck and shield himself against the criticism he so richly deserves. There was a threat on my thread, threats as well too, though actually, uh, on my children before they were even born. That's the kind of place Kiwi Farms really is. This same evil fuck refuses to allow a threat on himself. He admits it would drive him to madness. He's not some champion of free speech. He's a lying pussy who's made a career off being a fake, disingenuous bastard. Gender, Bayou, whatever you want to call him, came to Noel in his time of need and offered him $120,000 to take down his threat or else he would kill himself. He offered his highly skilled services as a developer for free to Noel, if only he would pull down his personal information. Noel not only refused this on bullshit censorship and free speech, Beach grounds, he also published the exchange for his deranged gang of sickos to gawk at to make another easy buck. And then I saw people defending him, of course, on Kiwi Farms, and they said, well, this shows how pious, how pious Josh Moon is, right? This, this shows that, that uh, you know, he has all these ethics and he wouldn't take the money. Well, in the, in the statement where he says he can't take the money, he says that he, that he can't do it for tax reasons. He wouldn't know how to classify it uh, on his taxes. It's not some principled stance. And he literally considers taking the money and writes out like, well, I, you know, I could, but I don't know. It, would, it might cause me more, 
more problems than good. It wasn't some principled stance. He's taken down threads for money before, uh, and that's on the record. He's done that before for money. He offered to take down Coach Red Pill's thread if Coach Red Pill would help him with some bullshit in Ukraine. Uh, he has done things like this before. This guy is not some free speech champion running some free speech, you know, heroic website. The, that's the fur- furthest thing from the truth that could be possible. And again, if you just admit that, if you just own who you really are, what you're really doing, well, then, you know, I don't really have a problem with that, right? It's the fake piety. It's the uh, the way they act over there, the way they think, um, not even think, but lie about what the place really is. That's that's what that's what actually annoys me. Not not what goes on. Although you know, having lies written about yourself daily, I just mentioned one earlier. You know, tr- trying to say I was drunk and all this and that. It's very you know apparent when I'm drunk and I can't fake a breathalyzer. I, I don't know. Maybe they'll try to come up with that next, but. You know, I took a breathalyzer during that movie. Whatever. Uh, now, or right before it, I don't remember. But anyway, uh, to make an easy book. Well, Gender did kill himself. The story doesn't end there, though. No, Moon, Potter, whatever you want to call him. Then spun a story. This is the real part of the story, by the way. This is This is the real meat of the story it's not that the guy killed himself obviously he was mentally unwell to kill himself over a kiwi farm story although they openly wish for people including myself to kill myself over the lies and the bullshit they put out about me daily and they take some kind of sick pleasure in that and this is a place where you can read all that openly uh, you know, I've seen, I don't know, a thousand at least people wish for me to take my own life on that board. And again, you know, that's fine. I've said some, some fucked up shit myself. It's not about, uh, you know, trying to climb moral mountain. It's not about king of integrity like Cog calls himself. It's about, well, that's what this place really is. It's It's a really sick nasty, libelous place filled with people who actually wish harm and death upon anyone who may critique their motive mode of operations uh, over there. And they just can't handle it. Like, when I put this out, they're just, you know, I can't wait for Ralph to kill himself and da 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 just line after line of this. And again, it's fine if you own it, that's, that would be one thing, but they never do. They never do. Anyway, I'll continue. Uh, Mull, no, Potter, whatever you want to call him, then spun a story about the big bad media picking on him when they reported on Bayou's death. He claimed there was no evidence the man was dead and that this was a false smear designed to take down Kiwi Farms. He actually conned many people into believing this tripe. But, as it turns out, he has had proof that Bayou was dead for many months. I said a year last night. One of the stalker creep losers who spends his life on the site said 171 days. Whatever the timeline, Null has known Gender actually killed himself for a very long time. Only now has he revealed the information after his hand was forced by another user who posted the Freedom of Information Act proof from the State Department himself. Then Null laughably threatened to sue the State Department over their correspondence, by the way. And when he, when he did that, first off, uh, idiot. Yeah, I'm sure that would work out, <laughs> suing the State Department. Yeah, that would be a really good waste of resources, but whatever. But when he did that, he confirmed that he had already had this FOIA on his own. He had already had this information. And he had known about it for 171 days and still came out in public and acted like this was all some false smear, still talked about it, still referred to it in that way. He lied about it for months and months and months. And again, didn't know Gender. You know, I don't I didn't lose any sleep about it. Never even heard of the guy before all this. I didn't want him dead, but like I, 
you know, I won't sit here and it didn't break my heart, right? Um, but him coming out and lying about this and talking about, you know, the media is lying and trying to take us down and all this bullshit for months and months and months and months is the point. When he knew that it wasn't true. So it's just yet another example of this guy being a an unreliable narrator. And he always has been. And I used to think it's because he has some kind of disorder where he just can't actually process information uh, correctly. But no, I think he's just a malicious liar, uh, especially after this, because um, he's known for a very long time that this guy actually did off himself in Japan. Anyway... Josh Moon freely admits he had this information beforehand and continued with the fake narrative of Bayou having just vanished instead of the obvious truth that he had killed himself. Null knew. This is not really about Bayou, though. It's about the cesspool that is Kiwi Farms. What did Josh do after his hand was forced to confirm the kill? He immediately went on the attack against a dead guy who died because of Josh's personal decision. Now, to be fair, that's a little bit of, um, you know, uh, creative liberty there. I mean, the guy took his own life, but, you know, he did have the option to take down the thread. He could have taken it down, and he didn't. Uh, he had the power to keep the obviously disturbed individual alive, but he refused to do so out of his fake and contemptuous public posture. And this is the part that really gets me. He put him up for further mockery, mockery and monetized their personal exchange. So not only did he refuse to take the thread down, he posted this all in public on the board, and then the guy killed himself. Now, there's a chance that maybe he wouldn't have actually killed himself if he didn't bring so much attention to this because, uh, to my knowledge, the thread really wasn't getting much traction in the first place, and the guy didn't have much reason to be that concerned about it at all. But yet he was because he was mentally disturbed or whatever. But Josh published their personal interaction, then, of course, you know, the thread jumps in, in notoriety and jumps in attention. He didn't have to do that. He, he did that to jazz up traffic for the thread. So it, it was just a... It was a personal decision that he made, and the guy it led to the guy killing himself. Now, maybe he would have killed himself anyway. I don't know, but... That was Josh Moon's decision. He claimed the info would just be posted elsewhere. That's what Josh told this guy. Bayou rightfully pointed out to them that Kiwi Farms is by far the number one site for in real life harassment and genuinely offered him both his money and his services. I don't know what all those might include, but if only Josh Moon would help him. He didn't help him. He instead harmed him further for monetary gain. And now Null has another body on his record. Then, as if all this wasn't enough, he called Gender Bayou, quote, a rotten piece of shit yesterday. Rotten to the bitter fucking end, in the words of Null. Wrong. There is a rotten piece of shit out there, one who is rotten to the bitter fucking end. And he goes by Josh Moon, John Potter, Null, or better yet, Coward. Coward because he won't admit who he is, what he does, and how he makes his money. I guess so he can sleep better at night. I guess so he can throw some more Bible verses out while his sight terrorizes families and children all over the globe. Like I said, I sleep like a fucking baby when my head hits that fucking pillow. I somehow doubt that Josh Moon gets the same sort of rest. I've never had to lie about who I am, what I do, what all this is. It's a nasty business, which is a Ralphism. He, on the other hand, has to lie to himself. He has to lie to the people or else his entire house of cards will fall. Guess what? One day they will fall anyway. And I will be down by the proverbial, I added that in just now, riverbank to witness it, to chronicle it, and crow about it to the world. Because that's my role. That's what I love. That's why I don't have to lie to myself to sleep at night. Oh, See, I kind of fucked that up. I just now noticed. That's why I don't have to lie about myself to sleep at night. So that was one typo. Damn it. One typo in that whole piece. I did edit it a couple times. So anyway, that's uh, one bit of work that I did on my day off. And the spurging over this post was 
was worth every single word, even the typo. And it just... <laughs> It just caused them to absolutely lose their minds. And again, I don't care uh, about gender. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't upset me. Uh, the whole point of it is Josh Moon being a liar. Uh, and if this doesn't prove it, I really don't know of a, of a better, just more perfectly crystal clear example. Uh, the guy knew about it for half a year, didn't say anything, continued on with the lie. Even And somebody posted this, uh, I think under this this blog that I wrote, that he that he was talking about Keffels or something a couple weeks ago and said Keffels had been credibly accused of bullying someone into suicide or something like that. And again, I don't know if that's true or, or whatever. But, I mean, that coming out of the mouth of Josh Moon is insane given that he runs Kiwi Farms, which has several other kills on its record, I, I believe, and given the fact that he knew that this guy had killed himself when he said that statement. So, again, it's not Moral Mountain. It's not, um, you know, me suddenly having some, you know, uh, love of the transgendered. It's about the lies, it's about the lies that he told uh, and knowingly told and rose he, he, he raised a ton of money based off in large part based off this lie like ninety thousand dollars or something and again no hate on the money raised that's an impressive amount of money to raise but he he raised all that and centered around this bogus story that he knew was bogus for at least half a year, and honestly, probably knew it was bogus even when he started it up because it didn't, it didn't, it didn't make any sense in the first place. And whatever you think about the media, usually they they kind of have their ducks in a row when they report on somebody's death. Um, you know, sometimes you know, every once in a while, I've seen it, you know, fake or whatever, or they were wrong, but usually they have their ducks in a row, and. You know, I always thought they did uh, on this one, but, um, you know, it was never fully confirmed. And, you know, he raised such hell about it and, you know, uh, spun this far false narrative every day for a year. And half of that time he knew it was, it was false. No, at least half the time he knew it was false. So, you know, the, the people at Kiwi Farms are really the only ones who were surprised <laughs> who were surprised about this news because I think everybody else just assumed that the guy was actually dead. But there's such a high mind over there that you can throw out any old bullshit uh, piece of information and they'll eat it up. They'll eat it up and then they'll just keep repeating it and it's like an echo chamber. Lies. Disfigured corpse sent $5 on Rumble. Fuck a cog. Stay up, Ralph. Flexed biceps. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. Fuck a cog. And we're going to talk about that in a minute. I actually didn't really plan on reading this. I just kind of planned on uh, addressing it a little bit. But um, the the point is his credibility. And I saw Samich in chat mention it. Yeah, that's he he had no credibility anyway, uh, in my mind, uh, and in the minds of anybody who like actually follows this stuff. And there's a lot of bad things I've done. There's a lot of bad things I've been through. Um, but there's just shit on that site about me. Like I, and I could go through the list and maybe one day I will, uh, actually and write something about it. But like just the insanity, you know, about self, about all this just absolute nonsense. And it just gets repeated and accepted as part of their headcanon. And it's designed to do one thing and one thing only, and that's to smear in my case at least, a critic of Josh Moon. And anytime, you know, I try to give him the benefit of the doubt or men fences or whatever, it always bites me in the ass because he'll just come out with another lie a few months later. And that's what happened this last time. And I saw somebody say, well, weren't y'all cool, you know? And it's like, yeah, we were. But then the guy started lying about me again. And I just, uh, I'm constitutionally unable to accept that sort of thing. And... I just won't. So, 
Cag Mike sent five dollars on Rumble. Welcome back. Thank you, Cag Mike, and welcome back to you as well. Uh, and thank you again, Disfigured Corpse. We're moving up the ladder on that goal. And that's the thing, Samish. Ninety nine percent of the stuff they say about you is just pure bullshit. Yeah, I know. And honestly, you know, some people actually believe that stuff, but. You know, I've seen you say, well, actually, the bullshit hurts the credibility of the real things. <laughs> like, there's just, I, there's so much to go, and even, I couldn't even begin to, to do it. I mean, I guess I could begin to do it. Um, but the self thing, for instance, they said I jacked off to a picture of self. They said I jacked off to Nikki Haley. Haley. I didn't jack off to either one of those or jack off at all in those instances, those instances. I woke up, fucked up, after Soph had already been on the show that same night, and I was drunk during the show. And I woke up, and her picture was on the screen because I had her Twitter profile on the screen when she was on the show because she had been a guest on the show that night. And the Spurgs over there didn't want me to have her on the show. Even some of the Spurgs in my own audience didn't want me to have her on the show. They're like, oh, it's creepy to have her on the show. Da, da, da. I'm like, well, she's a YouTuber. She's got 800,000 subs. You know, she's making the rounds. Like, her parents let her go on these shows. Like, it's not up to me to be somebody else's parent. I don't care about anybody else's kids, and it is what it is. Never have. It's up to their own parents to allow their children to do what they want to do. And she wanted to be an internet commentator. So, um, I don't, I don't give a fuck about anybody's kids. Anytime you see somebody on the internet saying they do, they don't. And, you know, that's just, that's just how I've always been. Not, you know, she was cool to come on the show, <clears throat> but as far as me caring about, you know, what this might do to her psyche or whatever, well, her parents let her do that. Her parents let her be an internet commentator. And... That's their decision. And it's my decision to book entertaining shows. And she was entertaining on the show. So, but there were people in my audience. I remember at the time, they're like, you can't have her on the show. No. Well, first off, I'll do whatever the fuck I want on this show. You don't tell me shit. Nobody does. Second off, there was this thing where like, it, it, you can only be a pedophile to think this type of way anyway. But they're like, oh, it's creepy. It's weird. Da, 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 da. So they already had this narrative going. They already have this they already had this narrative going. Well, I woke up, the stream was still running because I passed out without stopping the stream. And I woke up and her picture was on the screen because she had been on the show that same night. And I woke up and I'm not jacking off. I'm like, uh like I'm like trying to <laughs> like get up out of my chair. Right? Like, it's it's not me jacking off. I'm literally, like, in a fucking drunken... I don't know if I was on pills that night or not, but I was very, very drunk. I was very, very drunk. And it's just me, like, ugh. Like, when you're super fucking fucked up. And so they created this whole narrative that I jacked off to her picture, which I didn't. And they still repeat this to this day. And they have it pinned on the, on the fucking board about me. And that's just one example. I mean, I could go through a hundred different examples, and I'm not going to do it now because it would literally take the whole entire show. But it just insanity, the amount of bullshit that's on there. And, yeah, it does take away from, you know, I'm not a perfect guy. I have done some fucked up shit. That's true. Um, but, like, putting out the stuff about the fucked up shit I've done doesn't actually make me angry it's the it's the lies uh it's the lies that make it's the lies that make me angry uh so yeah that's true new agent chat says josh only pinned that again after you broke his poor little heart another time yeah i know yeah they went back through and pinned it i mean it didn't happen so and there's no you know there's no telling any of these freaks that though like they have it in their head head cannon that it happened and they just keep they just keep repeating it. And there's a million other examples. Uh, dog cooking, like just the craziest shit you could uh, ever imagine. Like <laughs> And again, there's some there's some definite mistakes that I've made. Uh and there's some definite uh fucked up things uh that I have done. But you know, that's just one example 
of why the site is not credible in any way whatsoever. Now, are there some true things on there? Yeah. Like I say, you know, at the garbage dump, which that place is, you can still have a find, you know, every once in a while, be like, oh, hi, you know, here's some, here's some information, da, 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 da. Um, so, yeah, you can still, you can still actually find some, some real information or some, you know, decent content on people or, or, you know, records of certain things that wouldn't be there otherwise. Uh, but by and large, it's just a smear machine and it's just a, an absolute pile of garbage. So, uh, Colonel J says only the lowest IQ of people actually believe that tall tale. Yeah, I know, but, and he penned it and new age is right. He penned it after, after he put up, he tweeted out the lie about the Nikki Haley thing. And then I said, fuck this guy. Like, honestly, fuck this guy. Because, you know, I tried to be cool with him again. We did have a good interview. And, you know, I don't regret that. But, you know, every time you try to give this guy um, the benefit of the doubt or let's put, you know, this old bullshit behind behind us, there's no need for it. He used to come on the show all the time. You know, I've made his career, in fact, uh, as far as a streamer goes. And... He asked that question to his audience one time, and he was shocked how many people said they first heard him on the kill stream. I mean, literally, that's this motherfucker didn't know how to stream before he met me. So, and that's just the truth. I don't, that's not a lie. That's just accurate. And Dick Masterson, two people who he hates now and obsesses over and lies about constantly, which should tell you something about what an absolute fucking snake he is. So anyway, end of end of rant. I won't go on and on about it. We're gonna have our guests on in a few minutes. But the two people who helped him the most in his career are, uh, you know, two of the people he he obsesses about and lies about constantly. And I I, I don't really. I don't really understand it. He he has something he has something wrong. He has something wrong with him. Uh where he just I, I don't know what you would call it, but Burzum says it's true. I got into early Maddie ver, uh, via kill stream. Yeah, just about everybody did. And Ra and Nick Ricada, that's right. That's another guy who helped him and promoted him and tried to help keep his site on the on the internet, I was about to say on the line, but online. And he, he obsesses and hates him, too. And it's like, dude, these are all people, myself included, who basically, you know, he had Kiwi Farms already. He can't take credit for that. But who basically put you on the map as a streamer, um, you know, taught him how to stream, how to hold an audience. Like, these are, these are the guys who made you as far as streaming goes. And, like, you're obsessed and, and hate on them now. It's, 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 really, it's really bizarre. New Age says it's a love-hate th thing. It's the same with Medicare. These guys watched you regularly, so you're all they know and are comfortable with. Yeah, and then that's another thing. Medicare, I mean, that's a whole different example. Um, but, you know, people portray it as me turning on him. Dude, he was taking shots at me for months trying to bait me into what I actually did. And look, you know, I'm the type of guy, you know, if I if I was more craven, if I was more like, oh, it's just all about the money, well, of course I wouldn't have done that. But honestly, you know, I I have I have many. <laughs> uh, I won't call it a a, a nigga moment uh, like the Boondocks does, but you know, it's a, a certain level of disrespect that I just. I just can't handle it. I guess maybe it's just where I'm from. Um, you know, uh, Memphis, Tennessee. But um, the culture uh, I was raised in, but, like, I just I just can't handle uh, a certain level of disrespect. And, you know, he'd been baiting me for months and, you know, trying to talk out of the side of his mouth about me and doing the whole... They say it's the pill rattle thing, but that's not even... That's not even what it was. He'd been talking shit and taking shots on the sly for months. 
and, you know, go, going on these shows and, like, talking out of the side of his mouth about me. Now, he knew what would eventually happen <laughs> because he, he knew me well enough to know that I would eventually go in. And I did. And I don't regret it. But some people are so, like, in his thrall, like he's some type of god, uh, that they just, like, they just couldn't believe these things. Kioskman sent $3 since Mr. Medicare had an absolute pill meltdown. Can we get Tonkasaw out of his metal buffalo to dunk on Jimbo? Fair is fair, Jim basically made hay of Tanker's substance abuse while he had the whole pharmacy <laughs> in his goon cave. I agree with that. You know, I've reached out to Tonka to try to get him on. I think he still hates me. Um, maybe justifiably so. You know, I kind of went in on him uh, with everybody else. And, you know, the whole Knoxville thing and all that. But to me, that shit's ancient history. But I don't, I don't think he'll... I don't think he'll come back. I don't see why. But maybe the car lot's going well or whatever. I don't like I don't I don't wish him ill. But I remember last time I, I reached out and they like vamp candy like leaked the DMs. Uh I think Taworski or something, which is crazy. But uh yeah, I did try to reach out uh and get him back on the show. But um, or just back in the game. But that was a couple of years ago, and he seemingly has no interest in that. So, yeah, and he made up the shit about him in the wheelchair. Of course, we ran with it too. He wasn't actually there, but anonymous sent three dollars. Do you think Null is like Jim and captured by the mob, or does he hate the mob? So I've talked about this many times. You can tell who Jim's gonna attack by the mob. And the mob on Kiwi Farms and the mob on Twitter and elsewhere. And the mob had been, you know, braying for my blood for a while. So he he never takes a position against the mob ever. Um, I don't think he's afraid of the mob, though. I think that, that Josh is actually scared of the mob. Uh, and what he does that's why he propped up ppp's bullshit even though about new project 2 even though it was like completely contrived out of thin air because people on his own board were were pushing him and starting to go in on him and he fears what would happen if they truly went in on him because it would be a bloodbath <laughs> it would be a bloodbath so whereas jim is like uh, the weatherman, uh, so to speak. I think he used to do a show called that or something. But he never, he never takes a position against the mob, ever, ever. Uh, but I think that's more out of just, y y you know, to maximize his profits, to maximize uh, his influence. Um, whereas I think Josh Moon is actually afraid of the mob, afraid of his own base, uh, and afraid of what they would do to him. Uh, if he truly stepped out of line. So I think that's the difference. They're both prisoners of the mob. And, you know, I never have been. I, I, I come out here and say what I think, say what I want, do what I want. Now, it doesn't always fly that well. <laughs> I'll be the first to admit it. Uh, you know, it doesn't always fly, but I'm my own person. And that's the only way I know how to be. That's the only way I know how to be. That's the only way I want to be. I don't want to come out here and be fake. I don't want to come out here and, you know, just say what the mob's saying or, you know, play to them. Now, sometimes I may agree with what the mob's saying, but, like, uh, and, you know, I won't lie about that. But, yeah, those they're prisoners of the mob both, but they're prisoners for, for different reasons. That's that's always been my, my view on it, but... Yeah, that's exactly why Medicare started all that in the first place. Now, when I went in, I went in. <laughs> when I go in, I go in. I don't uh, know half measures, as somebody once said. Uh, you know, I, I, I go all the way in. And, you know, some people just just couldn't handle, just couldn't handle what I said about him and Jade. Him included. Like, how dare this guy? How dare Ethan Ralph say these things? And it really just drove these motherfuckers to to madness and the fact and you know i even i remember last summer i was like you know what uh, this is all old shit like 
you know, I'm past it, I'm over it. But this motherfucker never lets it go. I've let, I've let plenty of stuff go and mended bridges and attempted to in the case of Josh Moon we just talked about. Um, you know, I, I like doing that. You know, it gets old uh, fighting the same people for years and years and years. And we're about to talk to one of them's brother, uh, Cog. But, like, some people, Cog is another example, just don't want to move on. They don't want to move past shit. And, well, if you don't want to, then I don't want to. <laughs> so it's it's pretty simple. Uh, it's pretty simple. I don't know what to say. Also, I was sent a link, and we're about to talk to Cog's brother. Let me see if I have this link. Cog has a, do I have this? Let me see. Cog has a IMDB entry for his show. Or former show. I guess it's Cog City now, but it used to be Cog Live. Um, and yeah, that's right. Wheelchair Jimmy <laughs> relentlessly sees when someone makes fun of his knockoff Chinese whore. Yes, that's correct. That's what really got him. Uh, and it would be one thing if she wasn't involved, but she is. And always has been. Now, this is the Cog Life. Cog Life. Cog Life entry on IMDb. And it says, stars, Cognitive Thought, and Ethan Ralph. <laughs> And I'd never, I'd never seen this before. Of course, somebody jacked my page and wrote a bunch of bullshit on it, and I never even felt like fucking with it to correct it. But, I mean, that is accurate. <laughs> that is accurate, I have to say. They, they, didn't, they didn't lie on this one. That one is very accurate. And I had not seen that until today. And Paul showed it to me. <laughs> He's like, you may enjoy this. And I was like, yeah, I do. Also, let me see if we have a... Uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay, let me, I'll, I just got another message, uh, but I'll try to address that. Um, let me see here. So many, so many things. <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, this is unrelated. Sorry, it threw me off. Let's see. <sighs> Are people fighting in the chat? Like, I'm like... Cog song that Shamu made. There's a couple of songs. Let's see. Is this the one? Let me see here. Let me play this. Let me see. Go ahead. Handsome Crayon sent $2 on Rumble. I hope Cog suffers forever for what he did to you. Well, I do too. Also, there's a couple tunes. I don't know if this is the same one or not. Ear Juice has a song. Now 
listen to the tale I tell about a fella named Cock Duck. Well, he did her a bottom fear, he was down on his luck. He quoted it all day while in his shit bucket he admired. Wife with a belly so fat and brown, nothing more to aspire. Cog's family never liked him none. One said he's a creepy freak. Brother said he took advantage of a 14 year old, and now he's in deep. Oh, Cog, the cuck lost in a world of woes. Dancing with poverty, wearing down his toes. Fat brown, quasi by side. Ain't no diamond in the rough, right in his sleep. Well, poor old cock shedding tears ain't enough. He quit the sector after being the butt of the joke. Not even protective band could save him now. Cog's dreams went up in smoke. Jobless Johnny, they called him. Then he would go cry to his mommy. Cog's ego shattered, pride all tattered. No longer who he claimed to be. Now he wanders lost in shame. The shell of the bottom thief, crab he used to be. A cautionary tale of a man who fell short. They know he's crying, you're caught the cut now. It's never been this sober. Oh, caught the cut lost in a world of woes. Dancing with poverty, wearing down his toes. Fat brown, podgy by side. Ain't no diamond in the rough, crying in his sleeve. Oh, poor old cop shedding tears ain't enough. Cog's other other brother sent three dollars you might be getting another call soon. We have had just about enough of jobless Johnny. Yeah, you know, I could tease this, but, uh, well, Paul's not the only Cog brother that I've been in contact with. And, uh, hoping for a special guest appearance uh let me see also I'm about to call him Let's see. <sighs> Sorry. I'll write this live. Ralph, I had met number seven, sent three dollars. Good to see you pilled up again the other day. Can we get a boo oh. stream too, please? It's so smart how you selectively do breathalyzers only when you volunteer to, but never when called out when you're sneaking drinks. Handsome Crayon sent $5 on Rumble. Do you think Cog is a sex pist? Yes, I do, actually. Uh, and we're going to talk about that in a minute. Uh, and thank you for the $3 previously. Imagine seething so hard. <laughs> but, yeah, I already talked about that at the start of the show, so you missed that. But, no, I'm uh, about eight weeks sober now, actually. So, selectively do breathalyzers? Well, I mean, I could just sit here and do them all show. Uh, usually I do one at the beginning and then if I go away for times, I'll do another one, but, uh, yeah, I do it for fun. Also just to keep a check on myself. So it's not actually about faggots like you. It's just to check myself. So, all right, now let me see. Yeah, I know they, they have this clip where they say I was drunk during the spawn movie stream, which I wasn't. But they've been passing that around, and I don't know. It is what it is. I don't. Uh, people were here on that stream. They know I weren't. I wasn't drunk. So, and I took a breathalyzer. I believe I took a breathalyzer at the beginning of that movie. And I didn't take one throughout the movie, but you know, it is what it is. Now. <laughs> Does he want me to take one now? I mean, I already did one. I haven't left the desk. Uh, yeah, besides the time with BPF is the only time I didn't take it when I asked. Because I had been drinking that night. So, I think that was pretty obvious as well. All right, let me... Let me see here. 
Because we have another song. I don't think it's fully done yet, though. And then I'll, and I'll bring them all. I want to play it. This is not the finished version, though. But it's from Ear Juice. It's from Ear Juice. I thought Cog would enjoy this. Playing again? <laughs> that just started playing again out of nowhere. <laughs> uh, let me go pull this up. Paul, sorry for the small delay there, Paul. Uh, I thought you might appreciate some of those tunes, though. We got to get just the right visual here. On. There we go. All right, now let's talk to Paul. Can you hear me, sir? I can hear you. How are you doing? Welcome to the kill stream, first off. Thank you. Now, for people who don't know you, why don't you introduce yourself? I do this with all guests. Now, I figure, I figure most people, we've been talking about it a lot of the show, so they already know who you are, but introduce yourself. I'm Paul. I'm Cog's unfortunate brother. <laughs> Dear God. Um, and, yeah, that's, that's about it. Uh, it's, it's been a bit of a journey getting here. Uh, I didn't even expect to be 
on the show talk about this stuff, but that's how life goes sometimes. Um, honestly, I'll start with a with a weird tweet that I was like, I just saw some brain cancer spreading around the internet, a uh, terrible argumentation, and I thought, vaccinate it real damn quick. Uh, and then Johnny got involved, and it's kind of all escalated from there, really. Now, first off, let me put this on Telegram. Uh, bro, uh, live now, and I'll put it on Twitter as well. All right, here's a super chat. Hold on. James Gartner sent $10 on Rumble. Oh, you got a song there, James? All right, I'll cue that up here in just a second. We'll take a little intermission maybe midway through this, and I'll play that song. Um, now, tell everybody about the the tweet itself. Um, now, uh, Merc, Merciavelli, Machiavelli, whatever he calls himself, yep. uh, had, and Cog's been doing this for years, using you as a way to discredit um your other your other brother who had credibly accused cog of having sex with a 14 year old i believe when cog was like 29 or 30 something like that mm -hmm. uh yep. and so cog used your appearance where you, you had said some things about mike um not too bad really but um uh, but for people who don't know this actually this appearance that you had on cog show where you said those things actually happened before he made the allegations um, yeah. about about the 14-year-old. But Cog still nonetheless uses that as like a shield against those allegations and constantly yeah. cites them uh, or constantly cites your appearance on his show, which I think was only that one time. Uh, yeah. Right? And I he, did a few gaming things with him, but other than that, that was the only yeah. time he kind of used me as... I say nip it in the bud, as you would say, which is a preemptive. Yes. I guess he knew what was coming, kind of thing. Yes, uh, and I didn't, so it's like it's one of those. Uh, I felt kind of used at the end of that, uh, but yeah, it's. Um, I, I didn't like it myself being used to. It's, it's 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 the idea is that he's using poor argumentation. It's kind of like someone else. It's like it spreads like a virus. Um, and someone else is now using this poor argumentation. It's an ad hominem attack, which doesn't actually address the argument or the allegation. It's a deflection. And so I felt like uh, enough's enough. Uh, I've seen him do this a few times. When his fans are doing it, that, that, that virus has spread. I thought I'd vaccinate it real quick um, with, uh, by explaining the situation between me and Johnny. Uh, and I, I think... I'd did a pretty good job because uh, I was about to. Uh, it's a funny thing. I was. Uh, I realized I was talking to someone who wasn't too bright, um, and had obviously fallen for a lot of uh, Cog's charms. Uh, and so I was about to leave the internet. I was, I was like, "Well, I'm not going to get through to this person. Uh, call it a day. I don't, you know, it's Twitter, whatever. I only go like usually three tweets in." Um, uh, these days, if, if I haven't got through to someone after like two tweets, I'm usually like, you know, I'm probably never going to get through to you. Um, but then Johnny jumped in and so I go straight for the jugular straight away, um, which I was like, okay, um, fine. I'll, I'll just respond back to, to the nonsense you're coming out with. Yeah, he has no chill, so to speak. This He brought all this on himself. Uh, had he just let that go, he could have even ignored it, right? Uh, and just, yes. Whatever, yes. you know, okay. That's my brother. None of this would ever happen. Yeah. Right, this never would have happened. And a lot has happened since then that he brought on himself. He went straight for the jugular. Mm -hmm. He started attacking you, started attacking your wife, started attacking your marriage, started, you know, yep. uh, everybody's disowning him and da 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 and just talking mm -hmm. all this trash. And he never had to do that. He brought all this on himself. Yeah. I, just, I just want to be clear. Now, Mercury who still doesn't like me, I don't think, but you know the, the idiot guy you're talking about. Hold on. Cinema sent $1 on Rumble. <laughs> Vaxxed and Jewish. Thank you, Cinema. Uh, but he's actually left Cog's orbit since then. Uh, <laughs> and so I think he actually has seen the light uh, as far as that goes. Uh, now, I don't know about if he's seen, you know, every bit of the light or whatever, but uh, he's had a bit of a bit of a falling out with Cog over Cog attacking Raven, uh, who's in the chat. Okay. Uh, so I think maybe he did. He did see the light. Now, let me let me uh, we got some stuff to talk about here. We did, mm -hmm. we did a little bit of list uh, list. 
listing before, but what was it like? I, I'm going to do my Larry King thing here. What was it like growing up with Cog? Um, it, it's, it's a funny one because I was I'm like 10 years his senior. Um, so he missed 10 years <laughs> of like our lives. Um, and growing up with him, it was, it, was, it, was, it was fine. It's like he just was a bit weird, a bit distant sometimes. Um, but all in all, I didn't spend too much time with him because I'd moved out of the house when he was, I think, about eight years old. Um, so I was like 18 when I moved out, um, uh, which is where he <laughs> comes up with the uh, the crazy list story that he had, which was some ex-girlfriend, some big titty goth girl i was i was dating at the time <laughs> i mean i was a sucker for that so <laughs> she wasn't right in the head i know but damn um anyway, uh yeah that wasn't on me though i didn't t send her around to the house i understand it's probably traumatized him or something i i don't know but that wasn't like i don't know uh, how how am i somehow responsible for the actions of someone else i i have no idea so yeah, it's 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 a bit. He was a yeah. He's just one. He was just like I don't didn't really know him growing up. It was more after he left home. I, I kind of knew him. So okay, so you're ten years his senior. Didn't really like have the you know experience of growing up side by side. Um, yeah. So okay, let me go from there. So it's after you grew up, you you left it there. You you kind of got to know him, I guess, a little bit. Okay. Better. Well, so after after there. we left home, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we, I, I mean, I did a, a small little like gaming thing, uh, which was like gaming events, just fighting games stuff. And he got involved with me on that, um, and he was always kind of trying to play me and uh, my brother Mike off against each other uh, quite a lot. In fact, in fact, I think that did actually create quite a wedge between us because he, he, it's like you expect you can trust your brother but he's giving you like half the story or he's he's saying things and you're like oh really someone's saying that stuff about me you have my back kind of thing he's just like it, it just causes friction uh and there was a lot of that going on um and eventually i i, it's, I was i was at the time i ended up in hospital it was like they were trying to take he, he was trying to take the 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 idea the concept the business over uh, I, it's, it, it didn't actually, the business didn't actually go anywhere. I did have offers to continue it down in London, but I, I rejected them because it was such a stressful experience, uh, especially working with him. It was, it was really tough. A stressful experience working with Cog? I can't imagine. Um, yeah. Now, you mentioned your your streaming, gaming streaming, and, and, and your endeavors there. Now, one of, oh, Cog's, boy. one of Cog's talking points last week during his absolute meltdown was that yeah. uh, you were using this to relaunch uh, your your streaming career and that you were trying My to do it. My three-year-old dead yes. streaming career, yes. Yes, that, yes, that no. this was all the <laughs> master stroke, and you picked Cog out of all people uh, to launch it, who it, is getting like 40 viewers nowadays, and I, I, that doesn't really seem like a winning strategy, but... Could you talk no. a little bit about your current streaming endeavors, which I don't think you have any. But Well, it, he's connecting dots in a coloring book uh, with that one because I have no plans to stream. By all means, if you want to check out my channel and look at my archives, um, knock yourselves out. I, I think some of them are quite fun, but I, I don't really care about the streaming. Like I honestly don't have the energy for that anymore. And it, it kind of... Um, I enjoy playing video games uh, like most people, but it's a very different experience when you're playing to an audience there's expectations you're you're playing to time limits uh and i found that kind of took the enjoyment out of it for me um so i kind of knocked it on the head on that one and then also life came up in general um so yeah it was it was one of those it was it was an idea i had at the time i tried it out it didn't work out because i just it like i said it took the enjoyment out of something i i truly enjoyed and that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, and I don't know. The whole talking point from Cog in the first place was retarded. And he's showing your streaming schedule, and he's like, he's got a stream planned for Thursday, and it's uh, oh, literally a three-year-old streaming. It's a three-year-old <laughs> streaming schedule. Yeah, you can even tell the last video went off of this lit because what happens with Twitch, it just keeps moving it to the next week, kind of thing. Unless you personally go in and manually change it. Uh, so yeah, that that was a bizarre theory that was brought up. There. I, I couldn't care about the clout. 
at all. It's is I mean, I just kind of just want him to just get some help. <laughs> really, he needs it badly. He just does, see a therapist, dude. <laughs> he does need some help. I've talked about this before, but you know, of course, he's been obsessed with me for like four or five years now, uh, and we did have some back and forth. He used to come on the show back in the day, mm. and I, and I. Yeah. I think he thought I should feature him more or, or something like that. And then there was a debate scheduled uh, between me and somebody else. And it was supposed to be on Keemstar's channel. And then mm -hmm. Keemstar decided he didn't want to host it. And Cog um, said he would host it. And the other participant said they were in to do it on Cog's channel. And I said, well, I don't even want to talk to this person anyway. And if it's not going to yeah. be on Keemstar's you know, gigantic channel, then I have no reason to do this, Cog. Yeah. Uh, and he got really upset about that. Oh, he, he doesn't handle rejection well at all. I could tell. He doesn't handle rejection. And the main reason for that is probably because he's been rejected quite a lot. Well, it uh, must be because he's been obsessed with me ever since. Now, you know, if somebody wants to go at me, I'll certainly go back at them. But that's where this all started over me. And I explained it to him why. I'm like, nothing against you, Cog. But I didn't really want to talk to this person anyway. And if it's not going to be on this mega platform, then mm -hmm. I have no reason to do it. Like, I'm not trying to. Eat. He took it as me, like, well, oh, you're attacking my business mate, and uh, this will be a big show, and da da da. It's like, well, I don't have to do it, right? Like, I have my own free will. Yeah, you have a choice. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And it wasn't really my preference to do it anyway. It was just, you know, going to be more exposure for me on a bigger channel. And mm -hmm. that was the only reason I was going to do it. So he's been obsessed with me ever since. Of course, you know about Portugal. And we'll talk about that stuff as well. Oh, yeah. Um, but, you know, dragging my children into his show, uh, you know, t t talking about. It's, that, that kind of stuff is just not of his goddamn business. Well, it just is. And it's Don't just, bring kids into it, man. It's They've got nothing to do with it. It's low. Whatever beef you got between yeah. you two, the kids have got nothing to do with it. That's just, just so low. And literally, you know, monetizing my my son and, and and all this like it's just, yeah, it's fucked. I don't know what to say, but it all started. Oh, yeah. it all started because of that. Now, okay, let's go back. Let's rewind it a bit. So you got okay. you got to know him a little bit growing up. The the streaming with him thing yeah. didn't work out. Um, when did you eventually uh, have a falling out with Cog and why? Oh, if, boy. You can, if you want to uh, go into it, you don't. You can tell as much or as little. As you I can. I, I I can go into it. Uh, basically, he got really weird uh, and creepy uh, around. I'd I'd met someone online, um, and he started like really trying to break us up in a weird way. I I didn't understand it. Um, he started kind of uh, going around like I was just playing video games. This person. I met, which is my current wife, uh, as most people know, is Sam. Uh, Sam at the Slime Shop. That's a handle. Uh, but yeah, we we uh, we are working things out. It was like it's, it's online dating. It's like it's nothing's really real until you meet a person. So we were kind of just kind of figuring things out. Uh, and he comes in. He's like kind of trying to you know, pushes to commit or whatever. We're just like, we're still just figuring this out. We're just having a bit of fun, dude. Like, and then he's like, we're just playing video games. And he'd be like, I need to play video games. Why are you playing video games with that? And there was a lot of stuff. And, and please deny this because we have plenty of receipts of him just basically stalking me and Sam, just wanting to spend time together. Like, that's, that's a normal thing that most people who are trying to get to know each other of attraction to each other try to do is they just try and you know get away from people and just try and you know figure each other out and he just couldn't have that he he had to be in, involved in every situation situation so it got to a point where uh one day he decided to without uh, while i was sleeping uh take my now wife uh but at the time we were still figuring things out take her into a voice chat and now she believed this was a private voice chat where they could just have a private conversation no, 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 no. He invited most of his Discord into the voice chat to then berate her to a point where she was in tears, uh, to which I then find out about this later on. Um, he then uh, brings us both in again. Uh, to try, I'm like, what the hell's going on? Uh, he then braces both. Um, 
and actually mutes me so he can do it. I'm sure a lot of people yes. understand the frustration of him muting you while you're yes. actually trying to have a conversation. It's just rude and it's intellectually dishonest to the highest degree um, because he just wants to control the conversation. Um, so at that point, we were just like, you know what, fuck this guy. You know, really done. And we, we, we went, we were getting, like, but then she actually came over and it's like, we, we, we tried, we really tried with this guy to try and, you know, you know, make it work and, and make it, you know, yeah. you know, because he's, he's your family. Yeah. 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 So we go out for dinner, uh, with him and, and Thieves is who is one at a time. And we think we've had a great night. You know, we've gone out, we've had a good night. We thought we'd had a laugh. And then next second he's folding me up, giving me a load of shit. Uh, like, like we're the worst people ever. Like, we're just like, what? What, what happened? Like, uh, it was bizarre. We just, we thought the night went well. And clearly not. I mean, he's already spoken about it on his channel, about the curry. I mean, curry was bad. It was a bad curry house. There's a better one literally just down the road from where I live. <laughs> like, it was terrible. Uh, I, and she asked prawn biryani and got an egg biryani with a fried egg and i believe it's supposed to be boiled eggs on a biryani so if it's an egg biryani so yeah that was uh that was weird um so yeah it, yeah that was that was uh, that was a very strange experience even even though the food was bad and stuff and we were bantering which he didn't seem to understand that people who are close can actually just you know cuss at each other uh, and and have a laugh with that I mean, that seemed, I mean, jokes seem to completely escape him entirely. I don't know whether that, what that is. He just seems to go over his head. He takes things so fucking seriously. He'll take a joke seriously. You're just like, it's just a fucking joke. Jesus Christ, what's wrong with you? He does that so, all yeah. the time with everybody. Yeah, he does that <laughs> all the time. He just goes over. It's like he just doesn't get how normal human beings communicate, especially when they're close. Uh, I'm sorry if he's never had someone that close that he could talk that way with. Uh, I can only apologize for his sad existence. Okay. <laughs> no. Now, you mentioned thieves. <laughs> you mentioned thieves. Let's talk yes. about thieves a little bit. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, what do you want to talk well, about? Well, um, why don't you start it off, and then I'll play off that. Okay. Well, a funny thing about thieves. Uh, she was actually a little girl. Uh, I even said that to her at the time. Nice tits um, she as had well. Uh, well, you know, I, I tend to try and not check out my, <laughs> my brother's misses, you know. Uh, anyway, I'll just give her a compliment on my own. But yeah, she but was no. reasonably attractive. She was reasonably attractive. Um, uh, but she was a nice, you know, she came across as, as a nice enough girl. Um, the funny thing is, though, it, it's uh, I, I've got to wonder what Johnny did to her. Because she moved him to the middle of fucking bumfuck nowhere and then dumped his ass. What did he do to hurt her? Now, we've got a few ideas. I mean, there is, uh, there is actually evidence that he was uh, doing the whole, I think it was drama queen at the time, the online thing, which is, yeah, I've, I'll talk about it in a minute. Uh, but the drama queen thing, he was actually going on dates with thieves at the time in real life. Which is super weird. He was actually going on proper dates. Uh, we actually have timestamps and stuff on that, so we know that was going on. Um, so, so you're telling yeah, me he was got, cheating on thieves while he was with her? It was a, I mean, I mean it's I, an e thing, but still, it's still cheating. I mean, it's it's an e thing, yeah, but yeah, according to Johnny's <laughs> lore of the internet, that is cheating, uh, the worst kind. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess he was. You know, planning his life with that other one, wasn't he? And there he is going out for drinks with uh, thieves. So, um, but yeah, I, I, I imagine uh, that wasn't the only time he pissed her off. And he, she just, it's like she planned the whole thing. She takes him to the middle of nowhere. Christmas Day. Oh. Christmas Day dumps his ass. Oh. Uh, and I can only imagine, like, and, and here's the funny bit a lot of people don't know is that later on, like, he had like a week to get the fuck out. Um, because her new fella, who was a real man, was going to come around and just, and he did. He came around and actually just threw him out. <laughs> uh, he's, and I know this from a, from a very good source, because uh, he blabbed it all to them <laughs> like an idiot. Uh, because, I don't know, I guess he thinks he was confessional or something. But then he was like, oh, I'm homeless, but it's okay. 
um, I'm talking to this girl on the phone, and I should have a place to live by the end of the week, which I believe is his new wife. So that's uh, that's interesting. <laughs> So we knew, of course, and uh, the the cog Christmas cockery uh, is a famous uh, bit of Killstream lore because literally, for, oh. those, for those who don't know, he he had this meltdown stream on Christmas Day, and yeah. he portrayed it as thieves was cheating on him, and she had sent these. Uh, I, I guess I don't know if she was fully nude or whatever, but it sent some. Um, pictures I think to she guy. just wanted a real man. Yeah. she wanted a real man, and then she so. went out and got one. Yeah, and that's what happened. And well, he tried yeah. to get her fired from her job uh, because I guess they were coworkers. Well, of course he did. Yes, of course he did. As soon as he found out there was another man and he was dumped, that's exactly what he did. He went straight looking through the phone. Who is this guy? How can I destroy his life? That's exactly what he tries to do. Anyone who upsets him, slightly upsets him, disagrees with him, even life ruination. That's that's what he goes for every single time there is no chill like you said it's literally oh you've crossed me therefore i have the right to destroy your life which is absurd it's absurd no and he doesn't and it's not even you know go, go online bitch about something whatever you know i've done that but to, you know he's actually trying to get her fired uh from from her job and sending these messages around like i, I who she, does that I don't what know. What kind of sad fuck does that? Most men, you know what men do? Move on. Just move on. Well, yeah, and he Just obviously move the fuck on. was already what talking to somebody think else. you were going to get out of that? How did you yeah. think she was going to come running back when you tried to destroy her life? No. You dumbass. And then he, which is arguably even dumber, he, he went online and told everybody this. <laughs> I, I, yeah, that's, uh, that's I, I don't get that. I don't get that either. But, um, so thieves, what what else? I, 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 oh, I do, sorry, I do get that. He uses family for content, so of course he did. Like he uses anything he can for content. He's that desperate for content. He will throw his ex girlfriend under the bus. He'll go for family doxing. He will do anything. I mean, the people there are dearest to him right now. Watch your back, because he will. If you piss him off in any way, you throw him out, you divorce him. He coming after you with everything he's got. And like, there's, no, there's no life. Li yeah, there's no life living in fear, this guy, man. You don't want that. Now, you mentioned, you know what? Before we go to his new woman and Dan and all that, uh, let's talk about Drama Queen uh, a little bit. What do you oh, Okay. What do you know about that situation? And we could even the talk about Alenska, <laughs> too, and maybe we will after. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but there, there's oh. several women here in, oh. in Cog's life. But what, yeah, oh, what yes. About, but what about Drama Queen? So Drama Queen was an interesting one because he was talking about it quite openly uh, to me. He's like, oh, I've got to I've got to move to America. Yeah, if you know what what the American flag is about, it was yeah. a stupid dream of, I've got to move to America, get a wife, get fence, and 2.5 kids. Uh and he still believes it, I guess, because he still holds the flag up high behind him, even though he lives in England and he's not American. If he was an expat, I could get it. But yeah, it's, uh, it's this weird fascination with America, and he was obsessed with it at the time, which is why he's flat. I'm sorry, you've all seen his rudeness. But yeah, he, I literally went around once and said, yo, you might want to tidy up. He's like, oh, but I'm going to America. I'm going to move in with this woman and her kids and all this shit. I'm like, what? Is like, I've been talking to a kid on the phone. Like, why are you talking to some other dude's kids on the phone? Like, why, why are you doing that? Oh, it's all right. I'm going to move to America. It's like, I said, dude, just tidy your place up. It might fall through. You have all these plans that it might fall through. Uh, but yeah, it's funny because everyone's going cog the cook when that finally got exposed. Uh, but one thing you guys don't know about is he actually had a girlfriend called Hannah. Really? Um, yeah, and it was he was a cuckoldery relationship. Um, she he knew that she was with a guy, um, and who was fucking her, and Johnny was quite happy to fuck her. And she would come around. She was like skinny as a rake. She had she, she, like she, I saw her walking around in a bikini, but she had nothing. She's like flat as a board. It's like it's like what the hell? But yeah, he even bought a cat called Zelda for her. 
He had a swimming pool party one day, which I thought was really absurd in a flat in Manchester. Uh, but yeah, he he uh, he knew damn well she was going back to this guy, and she was she was with him, uh, which is why he never ended up with him. Or at the end of the day, now I, I raised this. I said, "Well, it's a good job they don't know about the whole Hannah situation." And his response was, "Well, I was the bull in that relationship." <laughs> I'm not even shitting you. Those were exact words. So, but I don't think the bull kind of, I'm not pretty sure they usually go with the bull rather than the guy, you know, the, the, the cook. So she went off with the cook, I guess, at the end of the so-called relationship. But yeah. So yeah, he is a cook. That's, that's absolutely true. The bull. Yeah. And uh, they don't usually buy. No, like, sorry. Uh, sorry. He's a bull. He's a yes, bull. Yeah. 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 That makes up. That makes all the difference. Buying cats and things like that too um yes now so this was this was simultaneous with the drama queen thing this was going on too or just well that's it was yeah it was it was it was a while beforehand it was it was like years beforehand so it wasn't happening at the same time but it would appear that that kind of behavior kind of i guess crossed over into the internet um but it was it was it was an old relationship that one but i i i you know it's something he did, and when when it was all going on, it was like, oh, it's a good job they don't know about that. It's like he was like, I was a bull. It was just like the way he rationalized it. I was like, oh, okay, I just left it. There's no point, you know. There's no point. Just shake your head and move on. <laughs> it's just like whatever. That's it. It's like, well, okay, then if that's what you believe, me. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I guess we all make really big mistakes. <laughs> Now, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, what about Alenska? Now, this, this is a bit of lore that I know about. This is oh, another boy. person who lived in America, uh, and I think she maybe had immigrated to America or something, but she lived there. I think she had her citizenship, though. I think she ended up getting her citizenship. But, yeah. but he was going to – this is when I first started knowing about COG. Uh, he was going to move again. He, he had plans to move. He was going to gonna move to America. That's right. correct. That's an, and another was, theme. Again, yeah, he was talking to her children. Again, yeah. This is this seems to be a, a running theme, theme here of him. Yes, yes. They have him uh, constantly wanting to talk to these women's kids, which I always feel is weird as fuck. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, you take it or leave it. But that's how it is. Um, but yeah, apparently she was with her fella, but not really. They were divorced, uh, but he owned the house, so he could just come around wherever he wanted. At least that's the story she told Johnny. Um, wow. And that was a toxic relationship. Um, he, 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 Johnny emulates every woman he's with. He'll become like them with thieves. He was, he, you'll notice in these streams, he was drinking a lot more than he is now or was before. Um, that's because thieves did happen to drink quite a lot um then you will find with this new wife he's wearing the hugo boss the chav gold and all that bling and ting um because he wants to you know fall into that kind of like emulate her and this is an ongoing thing with with alenska it was just really social decorum completely fell to shit um I was one day there. He was eating out of his, I think you call it chips in America. Yeah. Um, and they he's call there him picking his, there, but yes, they, they call him Chris. It. Yeah. So he's there picking his nose and eating it. And I'm like, that's disgusting. But he's like, you yeah, don't care. And they put his hand in the bag and goes, do you want some? I was like, nah, I'm all right, mate. Just <laughs> <laughs> like, no, that's, that's <laughs> nasty. But yeah, it was a really, really toxic relationship. I think like, it's, that's when he's flat really went to shit because he was so this is the one this is what i'm going over this is definitely it this time i'm definitely going to america uh to be with this this woman and her children that aren't mine um so and yeah that fell through that fell through real bad so when he's showing you his house it's literally because he just didn't do shit because he believed he was moving to america and that was his excuse for letting his house. That was his. Into, yeah, that okay. was his excuse. Yeah. And he used to. Talk I told to him those... to tidy up. Yeah. <laughs> all right. He didn't listen. Uh, and yeah. so the Alinska thing, for those who don't know, used to talk about it all the time, and it was like a guaranteed mm. thing, like you said. Uh, I'm going to America. Like he has this obsession with being American, 
that obviously still last to this day. You know, most, uh, you know, Englishmen, uh, British, however you want to say it, um, that I talk to are proud of being English, right? Like, they, you know, they, yeah. don't, they don't. Oh, yeah. They don't have an upset. Yeah, they you know? empire for fuck's exactly, sake. Exactly. Come that's on. what I'm saying. The rich history of England is like, a lot more history yeah, than England. Yeah, we pre date America. America by yeah. like hundreds of years. Yes, like. that's what I'm saying. We brought uh, civilization to the world, motherfuckers. Yes, that's what. Right, <laughs> most people are proud of of being English, British, however you want to put it. Uh, but he seems to have this just weird obsession with wanting to be an American, which he never yes. will be. Like I, for instance, yeah. I live in Mexico, um, but I I'm not Mexican. <laughs> Yeah, right? yeah, and I won't be Mexican even if I were to get a Mexican citizenship. I have a residency. Even if I were to step it up, yeah. you know, and get a Mexican citizenship, I would still be an American, right? Uh, and I wouldn't yeah. have the Mexican flag behind me and and all this or that. I mean, there've been some memes made and jokes or whatever, yeah. but like. You know, I'm an American. I'm proud to be an American. It's hard to be, maybe sometimes, uh, but you know, I don't have this obsession with being uh, something that I'm not, right? Like, and, and, yeah. And the the weird American thing, I, I I don't know. I just I just never really understood that at all. Um, now let's let's since we talked about Alonska, we talked about Drama Queen a little bit. We talked about thieves, and the Christmas Day cucking. Now let's talk about Dan, Protector Dan. Now, oh God. Cog's current wife is the yeah. sister of Dan's wife. Is that correct? That's correct. Yes. So, do you first off, do you know how he met Dan? No. I don't know how he met Dan. I imagine he's some kind of weed link. <laughs> uh, but sorry, he's someone he gets drugs on. Uh, most likely. Uh, or he might be an old fan of his. I'm really not sure. So you don't know how they linked up, but... No, but it was very weird. They moved so quickly. Within a week down there, like I don't know, was was he actually chatting to this girl and Dan before thieves broke up with him? So who was really cheating on who, according to Johnny Logic? Yeah, the timeline doesn't add up. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's weird, right? Who, I mean, he goes and puts himself on this pedestal. It's like, dude, you are like you're not some innocent victim. Like you usually are the reason this shit's happening. Like take some culpability for fuck's sake. Oh, and people want me to ask this before we go further into uh, his his current wife and Dan. Um, they want me to ask about the black mold and about the about the flat that you've mentioned a few times and he's yeah. shown off how like incredibly decrepit it was. Yeah. Um, now I was told I I don't remember where it came from last week, but um, that that was actually like a new council flat uh, when he got yes. it. Yes. Uh, oh yeah, they were brand new, brand newly built. So I didn't know that until last week. I just assumed that it was like an older it was, flat. It was a really nice place. Like the space wise, it was really nice. Like he just fucked it up. So that was all That's, him. That was all him. And just left he even, it there. He painted the he when when he was with that Hannah girl. That's when he painted the floor black. That was her idea. He did it for her. He painted the floor black so that you wouldn't, <laughs> so it wouldn't look so dirty with all the dirt on it. That's. That is advanced level I shit, though, I have to say. I, I'm, uh, I'm not sure why, what possessed him to paint it black, to be completely honest, but I just know that was like when he was with Hannah, that's when he did it. So, trying to understand my brother's brain sometimes, it's just, don't, don't try. It, it's just like, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it doesn't make any so sense. So, it's confirmed, though, that the flat was new and in great yes. condition when he got it. And he really oh, yeah. Yeah, he could have done it. great things. Oh yeah, he went. It went to shit. He's left for like three years with his "I'm going to America" thing. I was like, just I was like, you need to tidy up, look after the place because it might fall through. I, I understand you're in Love Land right now, and you think it's all going great, but this this stuff might not go so great. Because I already was well aware that it was a, it was a very toxic relationship that was not going anywhere. And so I'm trying to be the brother that that's nicely trying to put him down, kind of thing. Is it like, yeah, please come back to reality and, and, and accept that that this there is a possibility that is quite high but I've realized that but that this won't might not happen live live in the world you're in and, and look after your place around you your environment 
Well, and he just refused to do that. And then he sh- he made a video of himself leaving it just in, like, the worst state possible. So whoever yeah, had to he, move he, in there he, next well, had to clean that up, or somebody had to come clean that up, right? Well, uh, if he's ever – yeah. Well, if, if he's ever homeless again, he's blacklisted. That's what happens to people who do that. The council blacklists you, which oh, is stupid. That. Yeah, yeah. So what happens is they take a note of the state that a flight is left in, it then costs the council X amount of money, uh, which is usually with it for the state of that place, probably cost about maybe 600 pounds, maybe a grand, depending on how long it took to clean the place out. Um, and then he's blacklisted as a guy who leaves the place a shithole when he leaves. That's why you always make sure you tidy up the whole place, and make it look spick and span, because then if you have any problems in the future, They'll sort you out. No problem. Because it's like, well, he was a good tenant. He's got a record now of being a shit tenant. That's not a good record to have. No, it's not. Uh, but they wanted me to hit on that. So I'm, I'm glad somebody in chat uh, somebody in chat brought that up. And, w- and what about, has he, has he been, there's been a long running rumor that uh, Cog is on the dole uh, somehow there. Uh, um, okay. Do you know that? Uh, don't tell me lies. I'm not asking you to make anything up. But No, uh, no. You know, he had a he had a broken arm for like two years, and there was speculation he was milking that for benefits, and that perhaps he's still getting some kind of benefit. I I, I don't know if you know anything about that or. In all honesty, I don't know, okay. but at the same time, I don't think he is. I'll I'll, okay. I'll give Cherry where Cherry's due. Uh, I think he has been living off his donos, um, and but he's also I mean he's not on any real record of, of tenancy or anything. So uh, I'm going to go with Gartner tax evasion. Dollars on very easy in Don't that interrupt. situation because you'd have to disclose that kind of information. It doesn't really have it. Like he's kind of trying to live off the radar and, uh, and probably for good reason. Right. Yeah. Uh, very good reason. Uh, now we, we mentioned Dan uh, and his, his wife's sister who is now Cog's, wife what what do you know about that situation of course we saw the turban photo and everything uh last well they week. all live together they do all live they together all, yeah they all live together now why is he loath to admit that uh because it probably doesn't look good he's he's literally like the bitch in the household like he's probably the lowest rung if you go for a, a house a hierarchy like, I'd, I'd argue that it's actually Dan's wife that wears the pants in that family, quite clearly. And I think she's probably getting to a point where she's getting fed up with shit as well. Also, and him creeping around that daughter. I was just about yeah. to bring that up. I was just about to bring that up. And he keeps talking about. Uh, so it's confirmed they all live together, by the way. We just confirmed that. Um, and he. he can only It can only be described as a creepy obsession with Dan's daughter who is not Cog's daughter right like a- at all no and he, no he acts like she is uh yeah and, and he is very creepy about her around her involves her in the, in the show has her like sing songs about PPP and all this all this that's yeah it's fucked yeah well all that's this fucked. all this weird shit and he's on record, you know, having talked to other people's kids and, you know, tried to, I don't mm-hmm. know. It, it's just, it's just very, it's just very creepy, Paul. Um, well, he, he tends to uh, focus on vulnerable. Uh, the, you'll notice most of the people he attacks online, uh, usually disabled um, in some kind of way. Either they've got some mental faculty issues or they're actually physically disabled. He's attacked a lot of people for that. Um, over the years, I think children is just another one. It's just another like easy, like prey, I guess, for one of a better word. Um, but it's 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 odd. It's odd. But it, I mean, if I'm going to give charity, I mean, uh, it would appear he's he's probably impotent. Uh, <laughs> by the looks of things, he's not had kids uh, in Indian wedding, like marriage. As far as I'm aware, you, having kids is very important. In fact, I don't believe they believe you've consummated the the marriage until you have children. Um, so, I mean, I may be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that's that's the cultural 
uh, thought on it. Yeah. Um, so he's, I mean, if he was his wife, we'd all know, right? You'd have just said it's her and you'd blamed her for the reason you can't have kids. So I'm going to go with he's the one who's firing blanks. Um, and that's why he has this fascination with kids. Like, I mean, it could be something more sinister, like, you know, but it'll also just be he he really wants to be dead so much he'll steal other people's children. And that doesn't sound much better either. <laughs> so. No, it doesn't. No, it really doesn't. No. He has an obsession with children, and I mentioned my own. He has an obsession with them and, and daughter and drama queens and, uh, you know, Alenska had kids too. And like, uh, yeah, uh, and he wants to talk to them and be their daddy, I guess, or something. It's very odd behavior. I I don't know now. Okay, so have you ha- have you actually met uh, his wife? No, never met. No, her. never met her. Oh no, no. They came to the the the. I'm sorry, you mentioned the Christmas gathering. That was that was rather fun. Uh, which one of my brothers actually left uh, very shortly after they arrived. I'm not going to dox any brothers' names. And, you know, I'm sure John knows who they are. Uh, because they've never really seen eye to eye with Johnny in the first place. And he brings the Birmingham bums with him. And I can imagine that was the final straw. And he just thought, fuck this shit, I'm leaving. <laughs> so I don't blame uh, It was a small gathering. My mother wasn't there. Uh, she was actually enjoying her own time after raising kids. Like, she had eight kids. Uh, yeah, good on her. She took some time out for herself over Christmas and went and enjoyed herself. Good on her. Uh, I love my mom for that. It was ace. Yeah, yeah, I talk to my mom regardless of what he says. I do talk to the family. I do keep in touch with what's going on. You know, it's my family at the end of the day. There's none of this. I've been rejected by the family. Yeah, we have, uh, we have, uh, we don't necessarily see eye to eye. We're a bunch of boys. There's a lot of testosterone um, and a lot of, uh, uh, what's, what's it, um, competitiveness sure. between us. Um, so, yeah, that can sometimes bring us to loggerheads, but my mom, she kind of like is the glue that sticks us all together, and she kind of you know I'm I'm genuinely interested in hearing from my mom how how the others are doing, and I kind of do give them a, a wide berth just because they've got their own life, they've got their own kids, life is hectic. Um, but no, I, I didn't fancy going down to that gathering um, because I knew Johnny would be there. I just can't be asked for this shit. I just can't be bothered with this nonsense. Like he's, have you ever tried talking to him? You can't. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's I like, I, <laughs> why, why, why do I want that? I mean, you know, my mum wasn't even out of turn up. Maybe if my mum was there, but I was actually glad my mum was taking a break from it. She's she's worked her ass off all her life for us kids. She's a good woman. So you weren't banned. You're not blackballed. No, no, I, from family I, I, no, I left the WhatsApp. I didn't get kicked out of it. I left it because I just... You know, it's, it's it's just one of those things. I just I just don't like WhatsApp, to be honest with you. I think it's it, it, people can find out a lot of stuff about you with Johnny on there. I was like, yeah, I don't really want to be putting my personal life in a place where the all seething eye of Johnny is, because it's a matter of time before that ends up on the internet. That's what it's like being related to this guy. I mean, if you're just a fan, you know, you know, you got a got a chance he might not get into your personal life. Maybe if you're lucky. But I'm related to him, so he could just go for all my shit. Um, so I was just like, no, nah, I, I, I can't be bothered. I know what he's about. And I'm not going to give him anything. It's not important that he knows anything about my life. And if the people who I care about, they're the people who find out about my life. And I'll talk to him, I'll phone him. I don't need WhatsApp. I just phone people. <laughs> Well, I have a feeling he he's not a big fan of WhatsApp anymore either. <laughs> oh, about yes. Well, the, you know, don't don't give it if you can't take it. Is where I say I've only ever done anything to that guy out of response. If he hadn't brought up my wife or me and come at me, I even you even have the receipts, Ralph. I said yes. I wouldn't come on the show. You did. I said I would just leave it and walk away because I really did want to do this, and I say you know I feel you know, misgivings about it, but. I He's had so the receipts because the first thing I did, well, the first thing yeah. I did was message you, of course, and I was like, "Hey, let's do the show. <laughs> hey, let's, yeah, yeah, let's go. You were right. Yeah, you like, know, that's my job, right? And this fucker's fucked I, with I me know. for years. 
But he re- yeah. he refused at first. He's like, no, you know what? I'm yeah, I'm gonna keep it here. But let's mm-hmm. see how he reacts. And I think we both knew how he would react. But I was like, if he didn't come after me and my wife, I'd been like, you know, fuck it. You know, no show. So I'm not gonna go on there. I'm not gonna say anything. It's like because you know, he backed off. He should have backed off, and he didn't. He he did the stupid thing. He should know better. Which he Anonymous does. sent five dollars. Can uh, Cog actually fight, oh, or he is one giant pussy? I'll bring this up. Has he ever been in a fight in his life? Can Cog actually fight, or is he one giant pussy? And has he ever been in a fight in his life? Is what somebody asked. He's never been to the gym ever. He can't do pull-ups, and no, he can't punch for shit. That's why he took his bully boy down with him. Now. Before we get into the the pedo allegations, since you brought up Bully Boy Dan, um, Portugal. Um, actually, yeah. Cog came to confront me in Portugal. I didn't know that he had he somebody with him. You. Yeah, he stalked me. He stalked yes. you yes. through the streets of Portugal. Yes. He got on. Let's go through the derangement of this. He got on a plane, bought tickets, did a stream to raise the funds for this. This is all premeditated. This is the psychosis here. Dumps on a plane to Portugal to then track you down, stalk you in the streets, and then bring some heavy with him that you've never met, never seen before to bushwhack you with. Now, the truth is, if it was just you and him, you'd have fucking had him. Well, yeah, you'd have beat the seen, shit out of him. You should have seen how scared he was oh, when I got up in his face. Oh, there he was. Yeah, he was. He was, he was like, Please don't save me, wasn't it, basically? Well, so there's footage of this. Um, of course, there's what he shot, uh, and he's sitting there, you know, talking shit like he's actually doing the fighting. Uh, well, I'm getting, I mean, I'm getting hit pretty hard, right? Uh, and yeah. but if you see, there's another angle uh, from where I was because I was live streaming at the time too, and yeah. I'm, I'm around the corner. And you can see Dan come around from behind me and gets to my right. Now, I never mm-hmm. seen I never seen Dan in my life. I wasn't watching yeah. Cog stream. I had no idea who this guy was. As far as I knew, he was just somebody. Just some know, rando on right. the street. Yeah, yeah, just some rando on the street. And so I know Cog's around the corner. And so I mm-hmm. go around the corner and get right in his fucking face. I was like, you know, what the, you know, what's up, bitch? That's yeah, yeah. what I said. Uh, and then... Out of nowhere, of course, Dan had already been stalking around me. Out of nowhere, Dan comes in and clocks me in the side of the head and, mm-hmm. and knocks me to the ground. Hard hit me. Well, hard. that's typical. That's and, typical, Johnny. He has to rig it in his favor. Yes. He knew. I mean, that's there's nothing that makes you realize he knew he couldn't fight. He knew he couldn't beat you on his own. He had to rig it. He had to have someone else do that job for him. That's and, how he, you know he couldn't have fought you on his own. Well, of course not. I mean, he looks like a heroin addict for one, but like, yeah, but it's, it's it's like this weird admission that he's making by bringing that guy along. He didn't need to bring him. No. If he was a big man that he thinks he is, he'd have gone at you himself on his own. In fact, that's what all those lads were taught: is you fight your own fights. You don't bring someone else to do it for you. You fight your own fights. And if you can't, if you don't win, you take your lumps. Well, and it still would have been, you know, crazy behavior, but at least it would have been a man, you know, being a man about it, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you yeah. Know? He's, a, he's a cheerleader going, Dad, Dad, get him. Yeah, yeah, fuck off. He's going to beat you up. Yay, Dad. It's 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 sad. It was sad. And, and the, the whole excuse is someone had to hold the camera. Dan could have held the camera. Dan could have held the camera, and you could have wailed on, on Ralph. Why didn't you do that? No, 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 no. I have to hold the camera because I guess what Dan's – retard and can't work a camera phone you, seriously it was a total it was just a total ambush in every way and he's so proud of it too uh, oh yeah and it's oh, yeah, like, he, he, it's vicarious he thinks he did it yes he didn't it's like i be on ralph he's like no you didn't you had a thug do it you're that little shithead in, in like a, a like a holiday special movie the bully like he gets a bully, yes. the biggest kid in the playground, and he just hides behind him, going, "Yeah, yeah, and you little shit, yeah." And then, and you hate him. You hate that little shit. You just like, I just want someone to knock out that big bully because the moment he's out of the picture, that guy's fucked. 
That's ex- perfect. That's basically all he is. Perfect description of Cog. And of course, one I got hit and knocked on the ground. And Dan's a pretty big guy. He probably could have took me straight up. Yeah, um, yeah. But like, once you're on the ground, anybody's ever been in a fight. Once you get hit and knocked on the ground, like, it's pretty much over, right? Anyway, unless yeah. you're some type of MMA skilled fighter or some shit. Uh, and so I, I knew it was done once I hit the once I got yeah. hit in the side of the head. Yeah. And so I'm just sitting there, you know, getting rocked honestly just taking just, it, just yeah. taking it yeah. and i'm still flipping him off and i'm like you know kill me bitch like i don't give a fuck <laughs> they didn't knock you out no did he it? didn't no he didn't no. knock me out he hit me in the head about 15 times or more but he <laughs> did not knock me out so he doesn't have knockout power uh even though he had you know i don't even know how many uncontested well, i features. believe it was uh my brother that uh, johnny's mentioned this uh, i went to my brother because people were like oh why don't you sort this out in private well I do. I tried to sort out the Johnny situation with my family. I've tried to go through family channels and keep it private and off the internet. Um, and the first thing he said when I showed him that video is that guy can't punch for shit. No, he can't. Because, like, he could have. That's, that's what he if said. he could, he would have knocked me out, right? Like, I mean, I was defenseless. Yeah, yeah. I was completely defenseless. And then the worst part to me is there was this uh, Portuguese uh, lady there. And, you know, this is her hometown. And so she's trying to stop this, you know, sneak attack. And yeah, we're gonna get to that cinema. Cinema for sent one dollars yes. on rum. We're gonna talk about the Mandy G. Can you ask G. Paul about the Mandy G? Yeah, war? we are. Uh, we are gonna ask about that. <laughs> um, but um, the, Dan grabs this woman who's trying to break up the fight, throws her yeah, into the middle of the street where she cracks her skull. She got a concussion mm. and had to get stitches in her head. Throws her into oncoming traffic. Now, thankfully, you know, the car stopped. She easily could have been yeah. killed, is what I'm saying, either from the head bump or getting run over yeah. in the streets of Lisbon. And luckily, she didn't. But we went to the hospital together. And when I was in the hospital, I ended up just leaving because I was like, whatever, you know, it's a wait time. I'd been to this same Lisbon hospital, another story, mm-hmm. uh, in a different time. Uh, and so <laughs> I ended up, you know, they were working on her and I'm like, well, I'm not, you know, whatever. I'm not even that fucked up. I, I'm just going to leave. Uh, and they're like, no, you, no, don't leave. Don't leave. You know, you need a cat scan. Da, da, da. I'm like, nah, fuck this. Uh, and so I just left and went and fired up a stream and talked a bunch of shit. Uh, but she was still there getting stitches in her head from where her head had been cracked Jesus. open uh, because, because of Dan and he literally grabbed her and threw her into the middle of the street uh, that's fucked up and so I always mention that part of the story because it's, it's not just about me they could have killed an innocent person well uh, you hear a scream on the video Yes, you hear her scream yes you hear her scream uh, and I there is a warrant out for them in Portugal uh, and like you mm-hmm. said, he's admitted on stream about lying about his address. That's been suggested yep. to me that maybe I call and have that updated uh, now that we know his, his true whereabouts. Um, I don't know the level of uh, crime. To me, that's a felony assault. Uh, now, I don't know um, the level there. Well, the problem Portugal, is but... if he isn't stopped eventually, like he's, he keeps trying to do this. He goes to the yes. Andy Worski thing. Yes. Like he's traveling around the world to assault people. This is deranged behavior. Like it's it's absolutely Aussie insane. It, and it's all right. Shits and giggles. People are lying. Yeah, you're not connected. This is my family. This is my brother doing this. So to me, I'm like, what the fuck? Well, what the actual fuck is wrong with you? you? And I just wanted to get help. I don't care about all this internet drama. So I just genuinely, he needs to see a psychiatrist or something. To take meds, sort your neck out. Something, man, because so he's just... literally deranged. And, you know, this internet stuff, I know it can get crazy. I've been involved in some crazy shit, but, like, man, it is he's deranged. And yeah. anybody who could, you know, you sit there and his streams have been about me for, like, four years. Uh, and he'll sit there and just go through every, like, he watches every single second of my show, every single day. Yeah. And some of these shows are seven, eight hours long, right? Like, and he's just looking yeah. for, for anything or any tweet I make. Uh, you know, I talked about my cat the other day, and he's he does a show on my cat. And it's just like, what, what this the guy's, fuck? Yeah, it's, it's like this guy's clearly obsessed to an unhealthy level, and there's fucking with somebody, yeah. and there's having internet enemies, and then there's, like, obsession. 
Uh, yeah. Like some shit you would see in a movie about a crazy motherfucker, right? Like that's that's what it's like uh, with him. And I, I, you know, I've never understood it. And I have plenty of people I don't like online. And I talk about them on occasion, but it's not every show. It's not every day. You know what I mean? Like I don't he go wa- through their every word uh, every time they speak or their every tweet. He wants what you got. He wants what you've got. He wants your fame. He wants your status. That's what he wants. And he thinks if he destroys you, he'll get it immediately. Well, and that's it doesn't the work only that thing way. I can think is an explanation. I know it doesn't work that way, but you just <laughs> explain that to a delusional to a person with delusions of grandeur that thinks they're super famous with their 48 viewers. You try explaining that to them. Who thinks he's better than everyone else in the so called sector, even though he's not part of it, but he is, but he's not, but he is, but he's not. It just comp- can just take a breath, <laughs> okay? It's- and realize he's not. It's, it, it's a funny thing. He's like, he, it's not like. He's not a has been. He never was. He's a never was, and he never will be. And he needs to accept that. And just accept you're you're what forty odd years old, mate. Was it thirty? Was it? Yeah, he's thirty six years old. And and I don't think you. I don't think you're gonna have to be a superstar that you think you're gonna be, mate. Just call it a day. Find something more productive to do. Something that brings joy to people. What right. a crazy idea. Well, it's clear. Don't do this this he's negative miserable. shit. He's miserable. Like. I... And again, you know, some days it's, it's tough. I mean, I'm not going to say every single day is a, f- a fun day out here, but I mostly have fun, right, doing this yeah. job. And it's clear you you watch any of his content about me or others, and it's mostly about me, but he's clearly just a miserable son of a bitch, right? Like, it's like mm. this is not yeah. bringing you any happiness. Uh, if anything, it's making you sicker. Um, and no. I don't know. Anyway, go ahead. You are going to say something. No, it's, it's, it's just like it's clearly not happening his life where it's at he's had to move into a house with a woman he's not really we know she, we know she's he's not really attracted to her because why she'd have been all over the cameras he was ashamed every single time the pitch came up with her on it because when we it was thieves she was on the camera alenska on the camera like every girl that he thought was attractive he could show off on the camera but his new wife nah, didn't even get on the camera for a moment in fact, he's been avoiding anyone finding out what she looks like, which goes to show that he's not really that attractive. This is a marriage of convenience. It works for him because it means he's got a place to live. Well, he's ashamed of her, it's clear. Um, well, yeah. And, you know, I mean, I did call her the Bombay Buffet Buster. Uh, so, it's, it's just sad. I'm proud of my wife. He can show as many ducks as he wants. I'm proud of her. Like, that that's the woman I love. Like, you know, I think she's fucking hot. I don't. I know she's not everyone's cup of tea. I don't care. That's the way it should be. Uh, yeah. By the way, you mentioned that photograph. I think. I think maybe we should uh, pull that up on screen once again. I mean, first off, could you ever imagine wearing the outfit? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like pantomime, isn't it? It's just yeah. like just, let's pretend. No. 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 Did she make him wear that? Or do you think that was his idea? I don't know. I, I think that they have to, they, you'd have to wear that. But I, I, I'm pretty sure they were taking the piss out of him because a white boy. Of course. Yes, they're all you, laughing you don't, at Don't think they respect you, mate. They don't. They're the kind of people who will talk about you in front of your face in a different language. That's what you're dealing with. And I'm sure it's driving you mad that they do that. It has to be. Oh, also, there was a super chat that said, do you think Cog and Dan fuck? Somebody said in chat. I don't know if you... Oh, boy. I hate to think well, about that, actually, but... Yeah, it's got a history of cuckoldry. Well, anything's possible with Cog. Uh, uh, I'm, no- I, I cannot confirm or deny. <laughs> <laughs> now, Mandy G was mentioned... Um, I didn't actually know the lore about this. Uh, I know oh, a little God. bit of it recently. Yeah. Uh, it's a very dark tale. Uh, mm. It's particularly dark since he calls me a monster and all this and that. Well, I've never had anything like this uh, on my record mm. or, or anywhere close. Uh, but what do you know about that situation? I, I just want to say my heart goes out to weird juice. Like, dude, I, 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 I know it's not much, but I apologize for everything my brothers put you through. That was some fucked up shit. Like, he he just would not stop. Like, it was obvious she was legit. For most people with a brain cell to rub together, it was obvious she was legit. 
but he just wouldn't stop. He believed he was some kind of catfish, and he blatantly wasn't. I think I even may have even mentioned it, like, dude, why, why are you going after her? This is, this is nothing. But he just wouldn't stop. He just wouldn't stop. He wouldn't stop. And she's, you know, she's going through hell. Uh, Air juice is there for her. But he has to insert himself into people's relationships. He has to push them apart because he's miserable. And anyone hap any kind of happiness, he has to just kind of get in there, break it all up, fuck it up. It's, it's disgusting behavior. And even and, and, and even after she passed, like he just he wouldn't stop. He he doxed her. He doxed her entire family, which was absolutely disgraceful. That's monstrous behavior, like you said. And I can't only like it just I. It's like he he was trying to rob you from the last moments you had, the the, the last moments of happiness you had, man. That's that's I stuff you can't get back. That's that I that's a level of fucked up lack of moral value. I, I can't even, I don't really have words for how unbelievably disgusting that behavior was. Yeah, it's sickened me. Absolutely sickened me. Now, it's just one of the many things that sickened me, but Jesus Christ, it was like literally f so fucked up. And, and so. many people have described it to me as him basically like p p pushing her into the grave almost. You know what I mean? Like, uh, basically, yeah. That amount of stress, someone constantly harassing you, constantly, day in, day out, nonstop. And all you want to do is just try and enjoy the last, you know, whatever you've got left. And hopefully you may have some more if, if they come through for you. And all you got is this little dickhead online pecking at you constantly. Because he can't stand the fact that somebody he used to work with is happy. So, so would he, you know, someone else in the world is happy and actually has something that's, that's more real than he's ever had. It, then, uh, yeah, it's just, and then after she I died, he, he spiked the football uh, to use an American term, uh, and and celebrate. That's my understanding, at least, that he continued. Uh, he didn't give a fuck, he right. didn't give a fuck that she was dead, he didn't give a fuck that he wrote, rode her to the grave, he didn't give a fuck. He's an absolute monster. And again, I you know I didn't even know about all this uh, until last week, and I actually didn't know, like I didn't follow Cog that much back then, unless something you know crazy happened, like the Cuck Week and the Cuck Christmas and all this stuff. Um, but I didn't know that he had done that to Ear Juice and to Mandy. Like I I didn't even know that bit of lore. Yeah, I can completely understand why Ear Juice. <laughs> Hates this motherfucker. Uh, I, 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 yeah, yeah. But I, I had no clue. I had no clue about that, and um, I feel like a, it's, it's a so lot fun. of people didn't know. Um, you know, those who were plugged in at the time on what he was doing know about it, but I, I, I didn't know. I didn't know that, or I would have brought it up before mm -hmm. uh, because it's that fucked up. Uh, now, speaking of of fucked up things, I'm crossing off the list here. We're getting, we're getting down to it. Um, Michael is another brother of yours, and I had him on my show. Yes, yes. Uh, and Cog was working with him, and was stealing his beats. He's a beat thief, uh, as, we, <laughs> as we call him here uh, on the show. He's a beat thief, and yeah, uh, he had a he had a falling out with Michael. Then he mm -hmm. like trashed the fuck out of him on his show, and this was around the time he had started going at me. So I yeah. re I reached out to Mike and had him on the show, and he was great. He was funny, uh, and we we laughed about Cog and made fun of him. And mm -hmm. um, on the show, it wasn't actually on my show that he made this allegation, but yeah. um, he made an allegation about Cog f having sex with. Uh, you would call it statutory rape in the United States. I don't know what they call it there, yeah. but uh, a 14 year old girl when he was about 29 or 30 uh, is what yeah. he said. Now he made this allegation, not on my show, but uh, a year or so later. And then I played it. He, he made a vocaroo uh, voice note. It was a bit lengthy and I played the whole thing on, on my show. So it was aired on my show, but he didn't actually say it during that during that first interview, and this is after Johnny had done something else to him, right? Yeah. Um, and if you go back and watch the interview that, that we did, um, you can, like, things that you're saying uh, yeah. here today, 
um, things that we found out about COG without a doubt since, like they all have proven mm-hmm. to be accurate, right? So going back and re-watching yeah. it um, just adds more veracity to his claims, in my opinion, because uh, a lot of the stuff he said has been, has borne fruit, right? It's it's been proven to be true. Uh, that's why that's like it's bizarre. He's, sorry, it's, it's why he, I think it's bizarre. He puts himself on such a pedestal. Well, to see that it's like it's. It's it's a house of cards that he's building. Like he's it's like he's done so much shitty stuff, and he's done shitty stuff online. He's done shitty stuff in the in the real world. Like don't don't make yourself out to be some moral virtuous person. Like I mean, you Ralph, you you've you've had your your, your <laughs> things here and there, but you kind of own it, right? Yes, you kind of own that you you're a human being. You've made a lot of mistakes, and you're like, yeah, well, you know, I fucked up. I, there's more respect for that man. No, I didn't. No, I didn't do that. No, no, no. Like, well, he's never been wrong in his I, life. I mean, I'm never wrong. I'm consistent and honest. It's like, dude, if someone's saying that, they're lying through their fucking teeth. Like, yeah. Someone who's honest doesn't have to tell you they're honest. Someone who's consistent doesn't have to tell you they're consistent. In fact, there's a funny thing we say in our family. Just keep Johnny talking long enough, and he will fuck up. So all you got to do, he will contradict himself. You keep him talking long enough, he will contradict himself. You watch his streams, pay attention. He contradicts himself all the fucking time. Well, because he's got so many lies. Uh, and when you lie so much, uh, you can't, if, keep, up you can't yeah. keep up with yeah. it unless you're like really smart, maybe. He's not. <laughs> No, uh, no, he's, so, been, he's too so many lies. when you're stupid and you're a pathological liar, uh, it gets yeah. outed fairly often because you can't keep up with your life. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, that's one of Cog's major problems, uh, actually, yeah. is that he can't keep up with the lies in his head, like owning his house, which we know is not true, uh, or Dan <laughs> doesn't live with him, you know, which we know is not true. Um, because mm-hmm. it doesn't make any sense for one that the, the little girl's on the stream no. every single day, right? Like it's like okay, well, why is she there? That's the address. I mean, come on. Yeah, it's like it's not. It doesn't make any sense. Just the own it. Owned by both his sisters. Like, yes. come on, man. Yes, and it's been proven, and the documents are out there. Like it's 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 there. Like it's not his house. Uh, mm-hmm. and, and like you said before, he's never been wrong either. You know, I've done some bad shit, uh, and I don't come out here and claim to be the king of morality, and for good reason, <laughs> right? Because I'm not. Uh, and there's certainly some things yeah, I've done. You're human, right? What a crazy idea! Be human is to wear. To wear is human. There's certainly some things I've done <laughs> that I regret. Um, that, that were bad. There's some bad things I've done that I don't regret too. Uh, yeah. if you want me to tell you the truth, um, mm. but I've, I've, I've lived, <laughs> right. Uh, and there's I'm some, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, and there's, there's certainly some things I wish I could take back, uh, that I've done towards people or said about people or relationship stuff, etc. Um, but you know, those things happened and that's, why I don't come out of here and pretend to be the king of integrity like he does, right? <laughs> um, you know, morality. right, the Just. king of morality. Um, I, of course, I mean, I would say I have more integrity than Cog because I'm honest about these things that have happened. Yeah. Um, but as far as morality, you know, I've done some immoral things uh, from time to time, and, you know, that's just the way it is. Now, one of the immoral things – first off, before let's finish up on that. Do you believe – do you believe <laughs> okay. the the pedo allegation is what I have written down here, that, that he fucked uh, okay. a 14-year-old? Right, well, first of all, uh, I know the girl definitely exists uh, because the family were kind of pissed off about uh, – um, being underage and drinking, uh, which they kind of, because Johnny tends to be the butt of people's jokes, even though he doesn't realize it in the family, um, that they were they were uh, they were kind of ribbing him over it because they just thought it was weird. Like um, now, I never personally met her. Uh, the rest of family members did, so I know she exists. It's definitely true. Uh, Michael making the allegation, I honestly don't think he would lie about something that serious. That's that's the truth of it. In fact, Michael tends to have a lack of filter, so yeah, he tends to just say what's on his mind. He tends to just say it how it is. So yeah, I I, I actually believe it. Yeah, he's, he's uh, yeah, he did the thing. 
Um, yeah, it's not something you want you to think of your brother. It really isn't. Uh, I find it hard to even say it because it's just. Well, it's disgusting. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's messed up. Yeah, 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 it's messed up. Uh, Real messed up. But what, what am I supposed to do about it? You know, how am I supposed to prove it? You know, it's like, it's just, it's just, yeah, I've got that now knowledge in my head that my brother's a, a degenerate, like, pedo. It's like, it's fucked. All I'd say is, Dan, get your fucking kid away from him. It's creepy. It's grooming behavior, what he's doing. Sitting down and having tea parties with your kid. No, that's the kind of things a dad should do, not what some random guy who's just come into your family married into it should be doing. Not at all. Certainly should be taking it to Alice in Wonderland stuff all the time, which is a, a weird, obsessive thing about the Alice in Wonderland. And, and and Alice in Wonderland was written by a guy who's known for having like sexual feelings towards an underage girl. Like that's that's the whole thing. Like it's it's very weird. I don't know if he's trying to go with if I own the pedo, then I, then no one will think I'm a pedo. But it's it's not working out, mate. I don't know what to tell you. I'm glad you mentioned that about Alice in Wonderland because I'd actually forgotten that. <laughs> Oh yeah, Lewis Carroll. Yes. Yeah, that's that's, uh, that's yes. who she is, the big character. Yes. Alice is is a girl they had a uh, serious fascination with. Let's just say it's a not healthy one. Well, I you know I always believed it because he never told me any lies uh, in our interview. Uh, if anything, he was holding back uh, on Cog, yeah. in my opinion. Uh, and well, it, it, it didn't feel good for him to. I mean, well, it doesn't no. feel good to do this, but I, I, I don't know what how I, I know he's going to be watching your show. He's so obsessed. He's definitely watching this. Oh yeah. And it's just honestly, I just want him to seek psychological help because the stuff he is doing is what, not what normal human beings do. It's not normal human behaving behavior to do what you're doing. And Dan. Seriously, get that kid away from him. Because one day she's going to have some stories you don't want to fucking hear. That's if you care about your kid, Dan. If you don't, just just ignore her. Let it, let it carry on. Because that's how this stuff happens. He's blatantly showing signs of grooming behavior. That's all I'm going to say. It's pretty fucking obvious. He may pass it off as a joke or a meme, but it ain't. It's, it's serious shit. Like, I ain't got no love for you or your family, but I, I, it's an innocent kid. I ain't got nothing to do with any beef or anything that's going on. Just just get her away from it. Well, I feel the exact same way. And I know a lot of people who watch this show and even some who watch his show feel the exact same way. Of course, some of his audience are haters, right? Like, And so it's like, dude, this is not normal behavior, particularly when we know that he plied a 14-year-old with alcohol and f had sexual relations with the 14-year-old. Uh, yeah. And so, you know, if, I, I got her drunk and fucked. I, I mean, I... Not that it would be any better. It maybe I don't know. I, not that that would be any better if she had been sober, but like that's the type of like that's predatory yeah. behavior, right? Yes. Uh, and in every way possible, she's underage, and you're plying her with alcohol to have sex with her. Like, um, and he's acting very creepy around this little girl who's even younger. Um, the Alice in Wonderland thing. Like, I, I yeah. mean, th there's red flags and then there's like the, the gigantic fucking red <laughs> yeah. flag of all time. Right. Like a neon letter saying pedo alert. Yeah. 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 If you're ignoring that, then I, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. And maybe Dan doesn't care. I don't know. But, um, I, some people don't. Yeah. Maybe he doesn't. Uh, but I, Again, it's beyond, you know, outing Cog or talking shit about him. And some of these stories are funny, but this story's not funny. Uh, this is fucked no. up. And, you know, I don't know. I, I, I don't think I, I don't think you can talk any sense to Dan because he's mongoloid. But but I, I would hope maybe one day uh, it doesn't turn out like you like you said. And there's a story yeah. to be yeah. told uh, by his daughter to her father about what Uncle Cog did to her. Well, she'll never say to her father. She'll say to a therapist. You're right. Well. That's why you disown her parents because they did nothing. That's how it usually ends. Now, let me, and again, this is a this is a sore su a subject, obviously, but we were watching Cogs meltdown, and again, you know, you said 
you wouldn't do the interview and, and until he did yeah. what he did. Now we both kind of knew correct. he probably would do what he did, but you you pointedly said no, I'm not going to unless he you know takes it further, which of course he did. Uh, mm-hmm. And so here we are, here we sit, and have been sitting. Um, during this, he he has a complete meltdown uh, about you, about your wife, um, you know, saying all kinds of wild shit. But he said something in particular about your father's passing and your um, uh, conversation. He alleged a conversation uh, between yeah. you and your father uh, while while he was dying. You know, taking you know having his yeah. last, having his last yeah. moments. Now, m- me in particular, um, who I didn't get to be with my father when he died and I didn't get to be with my mother when, when, when she died. So this is like a, a really sore point for me in my life. Mm-hmm. Um, but, um, I, that's just a separate subject, but that's one reason why it stuck out to me so much though. Uh, because I didn't mm-hmm. have that, uh, in my life and I would give anything to have had that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. and so it's a blessing to be able to see your parents off. Uh, and unfortunately not everybody is able to do that. Um, you were, and what he said about that interaction. Now I know it's bullshit. Um, but I just want to give you a chance to address it because I thought that was the most appalling part of his stream full of appalling moments. It was a purpose low blow. He wanted to get a rise out of me like immediately. He wanted, he, he's been waiting for this, like. You know, he's been probably losing his mind wondering what I'm going to say. Um, so he went for the low blow. He always does. Um, to try and get you to react the way he wants you to. But I, I don't respond to that shit very well. Uh, obviously, what he said, it would take an incredibly callous human being to uh, go in and say anything like that. No, I, I, I bawled like a baby. It's my dad. He's dying. And I, I cried my eyes out. I apologized to him. Uh, we we it was a we had a ten years relationship. I'm not going to lie about that. Um, it was it was it was hard, um, but I, there was a lot of time lost. Is all I could think. Like so much between us, and there was just so much time lost. And I said I was I was so angry for so long, um, and I was sorry for it. I'm just bawling my eyes out the whole time, um, and I was just trying to give him closure. I was trying to just make him go off, and I was like, "You were right about everything. I'm sorry." It was, it was all the stuff you say to make passing easier. That's all I was trying to do. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it, shit. You know, a lot of people are like, "Oh, I'd go and say this to God. I hate him." So no, no. When you face someone face to face, you just like, "He's just a man. He made mistakes, and he's dying, and he's my dad." No matter what happened, that that stands true. You know, he wasn't the best father at times, but sometimes he was pretty good. He was just a dude. He was a man. He made mistakes. Sometimes he did all right. That's that's how it goes with parents. They're just people. And I think people don't forget. They forget that. But when you're staring them in the face, you you remember it. You, you, You realize it, you know? And it's, yeah, it's just wanting this passing to be as easy as possible. There's no way I would have said any of that. was literally the most obvious and blatant lie I've ever fucking heard from him. Just just one in a whole series of them. But yeah, it, it was just to try and get a rise out of me. Like, I, I, just maybe start crying there. I'm not going to lie because I. It's, it's so I, ridiculous. I, um, like I said, I didn't get to see um, my mother at her ultimate passing because of COVID and there was this 10 day waiting period yeah. when she went to hospice care and she died before I could see her. But I'd been by her bedside, uh, for many months, um, previous to that. And what you said there really, uh, struck a chord with me because, um, w- when you're growing up, um, even when you get grown, sometimes you forget that your, your parents are just people, right? They're, they're yeah, just a yeah. person like you, 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 you have them uh, on this pedestal or they should have done they this. Can't or they can't make this. Kind of yes. Odd. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They should have done this or they did that. And I'm still angry about that. And, and, or, or whatever, you yeah. know? Uh, and even though I wasn't there with her in her last moments, I, I did get to 
to apologize to her um, b- yeah. before her passing, and, and it was just like you know you see. You you see them in a different way when they're laying there dying and um, the weak, the yes. frail. Yes, and he, he just how it goes out. The all that ways. goes like, out the window, and yeah, you know, yeah. I, I I just apologize to her for not being a better son, really. Uh, yeah. And thank you for everything you did for me. Uh, now, unfortunately, mm-hmm. I wasn't there at the very end, but I did get to say those things. Uh, to her and um, you know it, it's something that you know I wish I had realized sooner uh, and you know that's just life right yeah. um, but you know your parents are just are just people doing the best they can uh, for the most yeah. part you know if there are some truly yes. evil yeah. people out there or whatever but like um, your parents are just doing the best they can and uh, when you see them in that state, uh, it, it really changes. Uh, it really changes your yeah. your, your mindset. Uh, and for him to lie about that, and I said this on air while we were yeah. watching it, that was really just the, one of the sickest things I've ever seen online. That's I've a mask slip. A sick, I've seen a lot of sick shit. Right? The, uh, the mask slipped for a moment. Some people saw it. Some people did. It's mask slipped. It slipped a few times during that stream. Yes. You saw who he really was, that vicious, nasty piece of shit that he is. And, and it's interesting that uh, you, you, he, he, what he said about his last words to my father um, was that he was more positive about himself, it seems. like He was like, I wanted him to be proud of me, which uh, is, is a really deep insight into his psychology that he wants validation all the time from everyone and everything. It's all about him. He wanted validation. It wasn't about my dad. It was about him. It was about being validated and he does that with the internet. It's constantly wanting validation from people. He'll make up some bullshit, and it's like, oh, well, they said it's okay, therefore I'm validated. It, it's really weird behavior. It's a really odd thing that that was the most key thing that he brought out of his last couple moments with my father was more about him than my dad. It's, I'm just, just going to put it out there. It's like It, it just seems a little odd to me that. Yeah, it is odd because it's supposed to be about them and making yes. their passing easier. Not, oh, Dad, mm-hmm. be proud of me. Uh, say something nice to me, right? Like, that's not what it's supposed yeah, to be yeah. about. No, no. It's insane. Boss, a Smaster uh, 33 sent $1 <laughs> on Rumble. 109 brothers, but it's never Cog's fault. As Master says, 109 brothers, but it's never Cog's fault. Is, is what he said there. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I've I've noticed that. I've noticed that. Um, and you know, you, you guys, you have what eight brothers? I think you said um, the seven brothers seven. say poison total. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, eight in total with seven brothers. Yeah, and that's wild. By the way, seven brothers. Yeah, seven. my mom was a trooper. Holy I'm telling shit. you, that is yeah. like a Herculean task. Uh, like holy shit. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's never called Swalt in anything. Not just with his brothers, though. Well, no. Uh, and any any story he tells, it's never his fault. And you know, I'm sitting here to tell you, there's plenty of shit that's my fault, uh, and, <laughs> including some stuff that happened last year and all this. You know, a lot of that was my fault. Uh, a lot of that was just mistakes I made, and you just have to you just have to mm-hmm. live with them. Uh, but part yeah. of living with them is owning them. And accepting yeah. that you fucked up and you can't get it back. You just have to move on. Mm-hmm. Uh, and lying to yourself is is, uh, is is not a winning strategy. Uh, and it ends up making you miserable. Uh, and it, it, it makes your, your life uh, less... Uh, pleasant, right? Right? You know what I mean? If you're just always yeah. lying to yourself, it's it's just it's just I don't know. Um, well, nothing's real. Yeah, and that's I think that's why where, where the lines are blurred with him is that he thinks the internet is real. He thinks that's the real life. That's 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 who he is. That's the real world. It's like the internet is a fantasy space. You, anyone could be whoever they want to be on there. That's the truth of it. The real world, and when you start bringing internet into the real world, that's that's when you got issues, man. You got to keep that stuff separate. Like it's not it's, the internet isn't real. You, you really never like. true words have, have have never been spoken, and I've made that same mistake, uh, and it's it fucked up my life uh, in yeah. some big ways. 
uh, bringing the internet into my, my personal relationships or putting that stuff out there and, you know, going to war with so-and-so and, you know, you, you can get into this mode where it's, it's war every day on the internet. I <laughs> know people laugh, oh, war, quote, unquote, yeah. but it's always some kind of fight, right? Or some type of drama. Yeah. Uh, and when you let that bleed over, into your personal relationships, into your personal life, and you let that become part of the content. Or this person said this, he used to be in my life, let me strike back at him through my platform and this and that. And it can feel good. Uh, and, you know, I'm not perfect on it even to this day. Uh, but it's always a mistake. Uh, and yeah. it always leads to misery for yourself not yeah. for the other person well, right? well the uh, internet's the greatest it's the greatest video game ever made is the internet and it's yeah. like getting butt hurt in a video game and then going and attacking someone in the streets that's mental that's dementoid behavior it's 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 like if someone's at a call of duty like killing someone then they start bringing a gun around and shooting everyone in there you're gonna think they're a little bit psycho right <laughs> the, the internet's no different. It's like it's just they've just got all but her and they're rage quitting and they've decided to come back and, and attack you in real life for something that happened in a virtual space. It's insane. We've given the internet way too much power and it shouldn't have any because it's literally a fantasy realm. I agree. I agree with you. Um, and I'm, I'm seeing, let me look through chat here. Also, hit like chat if you've enjoyed this. Um, I, I'm, I'm trying to think of, I think we hit most most of our points, really. Uh, but first, I want to ask you if there's anything um, that you wanted to say or a story you wanted to tell that you haven't gotten to tell. Sure. I'll, I'll, I'll throw some together that you guys don't know about. Okay, so... It was an interesting part of Hog Street where he started attacking my genetics, my DNA. Uh, the interesting point is that I am the eldest. What's the interesting thing about Johnny is that he was born after my father had a vasectomy. Uh, yeah. A Smaster no, I, 33 it, cent $1. Yeah, month. yeah, yeah, yeah. The intended uh, So, day, uh, so my dad had a vasectomy. Didn't go quite right. He had a reversal back. And then Johnny was born shortly after that. So, zero yeah, sent genetics, $1 dude, no, 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 he's like the ugliest guy in the whole family. He's like he hit every branch of the tree. I mean, maybe he's comparatively good looking to some other guys, but in the family, out of all the brothers, he's the ugliest. And we all know it. And he probably knows it as well. So, that yeah. an interesting story, actually. It's... Uh, it's, it's, it's uh, so yeah, I don't, I'm not entirely sure how it happened, but he happened, and there he is. Um, I guess he was a Christmas miracle or something. <laughs> he knows about Christmas miracles, Paul. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Ask Master says the internet is gay. It fucks guys. Uh, Anton says, was Johnny ever diagnosed with Asperger's or narcissistic personality disorder as a child? He is never going to go and see a therapist because he's far too narcissistic for that. Like, no. Like, my mom had eight kids. Like, by the time he came along, it was like seven kids to, like, take care of. And yeah, she was a bit busy. She had college and stuff going on, so she kind of probably didn't pick up on any kind of weird psychological traits he had growing up, um, because she had a, she had enough going on. Um, he clearly has some form of autism, though. Oh, he is. I think he's sociopathic. I think he's got narcissism, sociopathic, and I think he really needs some actual clinical help and he needs to get on meds to deal with his sociopathy. I don't think he knows how to feel, and that's why he goes after the people because they feel, and he takes advantage of empathy. He, uh, anyone who cares, he takes advantage of it. Uh, he'll twist things. Uh, he'll use things where you don't know kind of thing. It's like that's part of the sociopathy is that I, this, I've done this thing, but you don't know about it, and he kind of gets off on that. Uh, or I've told you this thing, but it's not the full truth, but you don't know that, but I do, and he gets off on that. Um, I'm, I'm giving you, like I said, half truths, which is where someone tells you, oh, you'll, you'll hide a truth between, uh, a lie between two truths, and, and 
things like that. It's all just mind fuckery. But that's kind of how he gets his kicks because he doesn't really feel anything. He just gets some mild amusement uh, out of other people's misery because and 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 twisting people up. Um, it, it's kind of messed up. I don't think he can handle the people being happy because he genuinely can't feel it. I don't think he generally feels any kind of real emotion. I think his tears are crocodile said, tears. On Rumble. Because it's funny, he's crying one the second, but these wanted. broke up me next the second. Ethan Ralph is on, he's sharing away, he's chaffing. It's, it's so fake. But he's over the years, he's getting, he's, he's got used to trying to integrate into society and, and trying to integrate in like faking the emotions, what he thinks you're expecting. But then what an actual person who isn't mental would actually behave like. I, you hit the nail, nail on the head. He acts like, right. He's like, he's, <laughs> he's faking the emotion or what he should be feeling. Mm -hmm. right? Like uh, to yeah. try to blend in. Whereas he doesn't feel, if anything, I feel too much uh, <laughs> in yeah. anger and sadness and happiness. Uh, you know, Right, like uh, that's actually my problem is feeling and caring too much, right? Too much heart on my sleeve, mm -hmm. uh, and it works against me sometimes. Now, some people like it too because you know, I it's, it's like I'm an emotional character, right? Uh, yeah. And so you know, it it's a connection, but it's also a hindrance, right? Right? It's like this guy mm. feels too much. I was talking about it earlier, like he lies about me, this and that, like this some some yeah. things that that should just roll off my back don't because I, I feel too much. Right. I, I, I yeah, just can't yeah. turn that off. Uh, I'm trying to get better, I'm trying to get better at it. <laughs> but, um, but if anything, that's my problem. Whereas I watch him and it's like, you know, the, 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 the fake, fake laughter or not understanding sarcasm at all. Yeah. Um, not understanding <laughs> jokes. Like these are all signs of, of a guy who is not like, real I mean, he's a real human but he's not yeah. you know what i mean he doesn't have the, uh, the real emotional there's something connection. not go going yes. up there something's not sparking up there uh the other thing with sociopathy is uh you'll see his aggression like people think that's an emotion it's not it's a survival instinct he's that's why he goes after people who threaten his survival his business his money uh because that's what he's about it's like that's money is tied to his survival Anyone he goes after, he gets vicious at. Um, he'll even try and he'll do everything in his power to discredit them, even before they've even said anything, which I always find amusing. Why call someone a liar when that's before they've said it rather than after? If you're saying it before, then it's like you've got something to hide. Because he's trying to you say it out. after, yeah. then you can actually make an argument. Yeah, it's, 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 it's really obvious to anyone who's onto his game. Um, but that's the thing. It is. It's. It's just really weird. It's. He's very about. It's. It's all about him, and he can't feel. He can't feel any emotion. It's hard to understand sociopathic behavior and the psychology of it. Um, I, I. I spent a few years just looking it all up because I thought it was interesting. I. I assume me. I had time on my hand, and I thought human psychology was fun. <laughs> so I, I read books. You remember those? <laughs> remember <laughs> books? Reading <laughs> read. what? Cop reading, I know, know about right? that unless it's Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> crazy right? I but... Yeah, I, I, I read a lot of psychology books, which was which was quite interesting in science too. Uh, like I like you know serial killers and stuff like that. It's, it's 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 disturbing stuff, but at the same time, I it's it's coming from a perspective where you're not so empathic. Yeah. yeah, it's fascinating how people can. It's that the, they use the same kind of stratagems and the same kind of like mentality and this, you see these these uh patterns of behavior and yeah i see a lot of those patterns of behavior in Carl. uh and, and it is disturbing and he, he fucking needs help uh, i see the dick show in chat dick masterson it says he acts like an accident uh is what he <laughs> said uh ass master said lol contraceptive cog the gift nobody wanted the dudley dud uh is, is what they say there um now predictions for Co by the way everything happened just like uh, we were talking and you, you didn't want to do the interview at first, but you're like, I know what he'll do. And we probably will end up doing that yeah. interview because he, he, yeah. will, he will unload. He will lose his I mind. wanted to give him the opportunity to not be an absolute spastic. And you did. But... 
You totally did. Like, I, I don't know, because he deserves it, right? They want to be in this stuff. I don't want to be dragged into what the clout. I don't care about that shit. I just get on my life and be left the fuck alone, to be honest with you. Well, like I said earlier. I just, I just don't want people using my words as a shitty yes. defense against allegations that turn out to be, well, they're probably true. They're most likely true. Because anyway. it's, 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 it's pretty obvious. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> He's a knot. And as they say in England. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, I. Like I said, people know my history with him, and he's, you know, taking delight and trying to ruin my life for years and years and attacking. Well, he didn't do any attacking, but set up an mm-hmm. attack in the street. And so, of course, I jumped out immediately to try to get and you on the show. Hold on one second. I'll this super chat Why play. did Cog and his wife meet? Um, Can you go into more detail I'll, I'll about it. how Cog and Dan's situation with their respective partners came about? It's All very right, weird, TBH. I'll ask that. Uh, but I jumped on it immediately, and I was like, let's, you know, let's go. Let's set it up, man. You know, you're out here. Come on. Uh, and Paul was like, no, I don't, I don't really want to do that, um, you know. But we'll, we'll see how he reacts. Uh, he probably will go over the line, and so we probably will end up doing it, right? Uh, and yep. that's what happened. He just immediately lost it off one tweet. Where it's just like, hey, could you just stop using my name to justify, you know, I'm fucking the 14 year old? Like, uh, or, <laughs> yeah. or, right, like, or to defend against that? Stop yeah. using this really shitty argument yeah. that doesn't make any sense anyway. Right. It's just a deflection. Just, just address the allegation rather than avoiding it, which just makes you look guilty because you are. And it's he... real simple. It, it was so obvious. You don't do that. Just don't. Plus, he's been doing it for years. He's been citing that. He's been citing yeah. that. And you said one or two things. And he's like, oh, well, my other brother said my when choice. He was <laughs> cite- yeah, go ahead. When he was citing it, uh, uh, you know, whatever. He's chat shit. When he, that mind virus creeps into other people saying it, I had to stamp it out. I'm not having that spread around. I just brought in the vaccine and dealt with it. <laughs> Where I see it. <laughs> Also, the on sheen, uh, on-screen chat froze. Okay, I'll fix that. That happens uh, sometimes. And then I'll, I'll ask this this question. But give me a chance to, to fix that first. Um, I don't know why the Rumble Pass-Through does that, but it does. Let's see if we can fix that real quick. Hurry up, Power Chat, and fix. Come on. So I can switch over to the other screen and ask this question because it was sent in as a super chat. If you have any other questions, Get them in now uh, because I'm going to wrap here in a few minutes. I won't keep I won't keep Paul all night. But anonymous says how and why, and I don't know if you know this, but uh, he says how and why did Cog and his wife meet? You talked a little bit about it, I guess. But um, yeah, he was chatting to online um, just after he got thrown out of his house by Thieves' boyfriend. And we didn't know that, by the way. I I didn't know that at least that Thieves' boyfriend literally came. Oh, literally! Yeah, he he literally physically removed him from the house because he was was not going to leave, and she just sent him around and just threw him out. Brutal! Imagine she fucked the shit out of him after that. (laughs) He showed he was a man, you know. The real man came along. Uh, she was wet gym. as October, <laughs> as they oh, say man. in the series Rome, which was a bunch of British actors, actually. Oh, well, yeah. That's why he wasn't she, invited she was dripping to the Christmas that. dinner. Oh, he wasn't invited yeah. to the Christmas dinner because her boyfriend was there. <laughs> yeah, that's why he was dumped. It's like, yeah. Are you serious? He's there. Yeah, she's there with her fella. That's why he wasn't invited. Because <laughs> you know, it's weird, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. He wanted to talk about Christmas dinners, huh? Uh, so he wasn't at her Christmas dinner because she had her real man there. Yeah, her. she had a real man there, yeah. yeah oh, sorry. my God. Then he came and physically removed Cog, who embarrassingly yeah. would not leave. I mean, just leave, yeah. right? Like, what the fuck? It's over. He was homeless, and then he was chatting to someone about this and said, oh, don't worry, I'll, I'll try to some girl, and by the end of the week, I should be at a house. Oh, I've, I've got a place to live. Yeah. Oh. So I don't know if it, she was okay with that arrangement. It was a marriage of convenience. He gets a place to live. She gets to marry someone because she's struggling to get married. I don't know. Well, I can see why but, she's not know. struggling to miss any meals. 
I, uh, or maybe, excuse me, she is struggling to miss any meals. Um, but I shouldn't. I, you know what? I shouldn't. By the way, um, did you did you hear me call her up the other day? Uh, yeah, were- yeah. <laughs> that was funny. They actually tried to. She fucked up. She's like, you like, how are you? She's like, oh, I'm fine. I'm good. You just like, and then she's like trying to pretend. Yes. He just like, dude, it's too late. You already fucked up. Like, stop. <laughs> it's like, just own it. Just, just say, yeah, he is here. And Johnny should have had the balls to talk to you. Well, yeah, that would have been great content, honestly, if he would have yeah. picked up the phone and we could have started talking shit back and you forth. Could have have it. Yeah, you could have yeah. shit talked to each other. That would be great. That would be he great. Could have, he could have owned you on the internet. Well, he's been self-owning him he, repeatedly. Well, right. Well, he's been saying he wanted to talk to me for years, right? And I'm keep ducking yeah. the conversation. Well, I dialed him up, uh, asked for Jobless Johnny, and she didn't quite understand that. And then I said her name. How you doing? And mm-hmm. I said her name. And then she said, oh, I'm good. And then she stopped herself because she realized it was me, I guess. Uh, and so she yeah. then she tried to play dumb and act like she didn't know what was going on. Uh, and then she comes in there and you can hear her tell Cog that that somebody yeah. had just called that I just called the phone number. Like, we knew he on. got really pissed off about it. It's like you could over phone number, blah blah blah. It's, it's he his mask slips. He just damn. He just owns himself every fucking time. It's hilarious. Now, do you have any predictions uh, for first off how Cog might react to this uh, this interview, which I thought was pretty <sighs> thorough, or or uh, for Cog's future, I mean, do you think he's going to keep doing the Cog City thing? Or I, I'm not going to predict how he reacts. You know, I'm just sure it's going to be dumb, probably a cell phone or stupid. I, I don't, I don't know, and I don't really care. At the end of the day, I, I just want to be left alone. Uh, his a future is channel. He'll probably have a few mobile. loyal At supporters. Least back these people when you usually him. do Jarbo, uh, the, balls because he's infamous or hey. whatever. But honestly, it's like. It's not working out for the internet for him. He's he's never going to get to the height he highs that he's always wanted. Uh, and that was years ago. This is years before now. Like he's he. There was a point where he's like kind of at his peak, and he's just been going downhill all the way after that. He's never going to reach that again. Just just reminisce over that the good old days. Move on. Get a job. Just just they say this this you know it's over. This, this whole part of your life, it's, it's kind of over. I mean, you can, you can put it on life support if you want, by all means, but it's just it's just sad and decrepit on life support. It's something well, that everyone will mock every now and again and go, oh, you, yeah, you, that guy, he's, 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 a, he's an idiot. <laughs> I mean, if that's what you want to be, is the, the, the fucking clown of the internet, then, then go for it. You know, well, if that's good enough, some people can make a career out of it. Look at DSP. Well, and we we have we have 500 viewers here. I can't remember, and more on Twitter and some other places. Of course, I've had more viewers in the past too, um, but you know I can't remember the last time Cog has had 500 viewers. Uh, I I I struggle to even have a memory of when he had that. Now he did have a pretty decent audience around the time of Knoxville in 2019 when he was riding mm-hmm. my coattails uh, and basically covering the shit that we were doing. And he was like the, the mid afternoon, uh, you know, Ralph and Worski hour or whatever. And people would drop in, but he alienated mm-hmm. literally everybody. Uh, and it's just been all downhill since. And then he picked me to like focus on daily. And honestly, I think that ruined him because yeah, it did. It did. He ruined his content. He just yes. became boring. Because it, it just was about boring. Me every single fucking day. It's Ralph, 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 yes. Never ending Ralph, Ralph, Ralph. Right. My big hard on for Ralph. It's like, I don't care. Go back to the, cause the, the my wife's American. Yep. And the reason she started watching this show was because she, it was the only way she could get news from England. Like British news isn't shown in America. So it's the only way she could actually see what the news in England was talking about. And that was the key reason she watched it. It was just like, she didn't know Black Lives Matter was in, in England, in Manchester and all, and London, until he showed it on his show. He actually had something there. Yes. That, you know, and, and he gave all that up for what? Like, he had, he had a fairly, it was a very, it was a topical show. It was very British. It, it covered, like, politics. 
in a way that you can't really get in America. That kind of gave him a USP. Um, but when he started going the Ralph thing, he, he lost so many people because it's like, where's the show I, I actually like? Where's that gone? And the other truth is he doesn't fucking care. It's the reason why his 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 uh, his sound balancing's all over the fucking place. It's the reason why his donations are screeching and annoying for a long period of time. He used to like you, he'd be really quiet, and then this this uh, th is one of his donors would go through, and then it's this big screechy fan. Yeah, he did that on purpose for some fucking reason. He liked to aerate the people with that stuff, um, but there's only so much aerate people can tolerate. Before they just go fuck this guy, he's just he's, the dodos are killing me. I, I can't. Yeah, it's all Ralph all the time. The dodos are annoying me. Why am I even watching this motherfucker? Guy can watch anyone, right? And it's like, um, you know, he was able to extract some money out of the people who hate me the most, but like, yeah. <clears throat> there's no, there's only a certain <clears throat> amount of even the people who hate me. There's better places to watch other people who hate me, <laughs> right? Like, yeah. so, so he's he's. Pigeonholed himself completely to the point where now, uh, you know, he's talking about switching things up, although he really didn't, and then went right back to covering me again. Um, but but now he's pigeonholed himself so much that I, I really don't know that it's possible uh, to to switch off of me or to to actually get back to the to the basics of what he no, used to do. No, I think he's right? like, to the point. Of, no, I don't think he can. I don't think he can recover the fan base he basically fucked over. There was a lot of people in his fan base that he got angry with. People called Indian Givers because they accidentally gave him a dono and they gave him too much. I think it was uh, he had the what's the name of that place? Uh, begins with P. But yeah, it was. It was uh, he used to have a place where people gave money to anyway, and he was like five dollars a video. Pa it's not PayPal. It's the other uh, one. Oh, it's the, oh, oh. Um, Power chat, oh, well, not power chat, but uh, what people donate. They decide like to support you, but I've forgotten yeah. the name. Patreon, of it. Head, otherwise, yeah, Patreon. That's what, can't believe I escaped. Yeah, yeah, I think people don't use it much these days. Um, but yeah, so he had a Patreon, and he'd actually put on like five dollars video or something. And the guy didn't realize this. He thought it was like five dollars for a month of videos. And so he explains this to him. He's, he's like, he suddenly realized, look at his bank account. Oh shit. Because he because Johnny just spammed a load of videos, like of absolute nonsense a lot of the time, and just you know cop <laughs> videos or something, and then walk away and just leave it running. And so it wasn't really quality content you were paying for anyway. I mean, you're stupid to give money to him in the first place. But he then that that became like he he spent like hundreds of dollars on this because he'd spam the content. He's like, I want my money back. Can I, is there anyone get a refund? I kind of made a mistake. It'd be like the other guy the other day with the four hundred dollars. I made a mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. So my my wife's gonna kill me. Oh, I cracked up. Oh, that was fucking hilarious. That was so funny. It was funny. I, I feel for the guy I really do. I feel bad for him but it was also hilarious. And so was cog. Yeah, it's so it's just so on brand for Cog. And Cog clearly oh. didn't give a fuck about it at all. No. No, he does it. It's like, yeah, it's tough shit. That's his attitude. It's just tough shit. Uh, but yeah, he did this before with a guy. Uh, I forgot his name. Um, it was Geek something or that. But yeah, he, he basically called him an Indian giver, spent a whole stream ripping him a new one, uh, shaming him. Oh, obviously after blocking him and stuff, so you can't possibly uh, to argue your case. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's very dishonest the shit he does. And don't give him money. I mean, I, I, if you want, it's your money. If you want to waste it, I mean, it's plenty of bridges I can sell you. Uh, but uh, I'm not going to tell you what else to use the money, but it's uh, not so wise. It's, uh, it's probably not very you safe. Set to it on fire. This crew. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you smoke it, wipe your ass with it. There are probably better life. uses for Ralph that money. This dollar back. Um, life chases me you know, I'm sure he's going to accuse me of attacking his business. It's like, no, this is an end result of you creating shit content and treating your customer base or your consumer base like shit. This is what happens. It happens to Disney and other corporations. You treat, you treat your customer base like shit. You don't make money, right? You lose fan base. That's how it works. Shit content, treat them like shit. It's a bad business model. Always has been, always will be. 100% Assmaster sent a dollar, said, Ralph, I need this dollar back. My wife chases me around with a rolling pin. 
Uh, and I see Samurai Walrus says, no refunds. No refunds. <laughs> no refunds. No he refunds. said that as well. That was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Cell phone again. Cell phone again. Jesus Christ. Well, I'd like to think he'll get some help after hearing this, but I, I don't think so. I think this is going to be needs. He, yeah. He's going to listen to every minute. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure he's going to go over it in fine detail. And then he's going to have some super intellectual take on absolutely everything I've said and how wrong I am. I, I, I don't care. I just said it. Take it or leave it. You don't have to believe it. I don't really care. You know, I'm only doing this in response because I actually said I agreed to do this if he did something. And he did. And a, a man of a word. I just, you know. I was at this point where I was literally thinking, do I, is it kind of overkill? He's kind of ruined himself to a point where he's had to rebrand himself, which people only do when they're trying to get themselves the shit they've caused. Uh, you see companies do that all the time to try and distance themselves from controversy and shit. Yeah, yeah that's exactly why he's doing it. Um, but I, I felt like this might be overkill, but I was like, nope, I made an agreement and I'm sticking to it because the man of my word, I, I got to stick to it, man. Well, you were a man of your word, uh, and I appreciate you sticking to it uh, and sticking it to this fuck. Uh, also, there's another super chat. Assmaster says, look at that wedding photo. His wife's got them hungry eyes. She's going to eat him. Pray for Cog. Uh, and, you know, also, I, I, I think I said this on air, but um, you actually reached out to me uh, after uh, Dan's attack in Portugal, mm -hmm. and I didn't see it uh, until, uh, what, a week or two ago, whenever all this started. Yeah. Uh, and so Paul had actually reached out to me after he saw what happened. Uh, yeah, he's sickening. Was appalled and, and sickened by yeah. it. Uh, and I didn't see it. So I just wanted to thank you for that uh, as well. While no I problem. You, while, while I have you here on air, and I'm sorry I didn't see it. Uh, I need to check my request box. Because if you don't <laughs> follow somebody, like, it puts it into a different box, and so sometimes yeah. I forget to check. No, but, I, I get it. You're a busy guy, and I'm sure yeah. you get all kinds of messages, some nice and some not some so nice. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, some, I don't some, but uh, I I missed that. But uh, I I just wanted to uh, to thank you for that. Uh, yeah, no even problem. Back then, and uh, thank you for your time here today. And if you have anything else uh, you want to say here at the end, I, I think we we pretty much nailed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for having me. Uh, thank you for listening to me. I appreciate it a lot. You're very welcome, Paul. Here live on the kill stream. Thank you, sir. All right, you're welcome. There we go. In the books. Paul was great. Paul the Prince, he's being called in chat. Cog Superior. <laughs> go ahead. A Smaster 33 sent $1 on Rumble. We nailed it. Now let's nail Cog to a cross. Hit the thumbs up, by the way. We need more of those. Hit the thumbs up. Anton says, what an interview. Wow. Thank you for that. And uh, I had some a few notes here. We talked for like five minutes before. Um, but most of that was just, um, you know, just kind of, I like to kind of wing it. But I did have a few points um, that, that we wanted to go over for sure. So I did have a few notes here. Uh, as you can see, they're all crossed out. Uh, we hit everything, uh, and then some. He dropped some jewels uh, that I didn't even know about. Uh, so many nuclear bombs dropped on Cog City. Oh, poor Cog City. Also, there were a couple songs sent in that I didn't get to play by James Gardner. Also, if you like that, can we hit the goal today for the 17th day in a row, I believe today would be? It's a little bit higher today. Uh, because of the Cog Bro exclusive. Let's see if we can hit it. Smoke that Cog pack! Paul Harrison sent $10 time to smoke that Cog <laughs> Where we at? Puff Harder! Oh, can we hit that goal? James, I got your sauce coming up next! I probably never let this rap shit. More than these cash transactions I got a passion for selling drugs Touched my first half a meal and I fell in love Thinking about where I was at before I met the plug I probably never love this rap shit More than this trap shit I got a passion for selling drugs I niggas hate me, I'm the wrong one to be jealous of A nigga thought that this was that, but it was never love You ever seen a nigga down, kept his hair high? 
Niggas riding past laughing as they spare back. Feel like the whole world turned their we back on We that car pack. Back up hey, car. Strap poking out his jeans, he in stack motion. Granny was you earned that one, bitch. She back smoking, mixing the coke with the rego. She love the 51. Best dope in the ghetto, where he get it from? A year keep later, my kid's name out your mouth, bitch. You gotta keep the big 32 shot clip ratchet. Zipped up in his jacket, in case he gotta fire a nigga up. Niggas know he quiet, but he cut. And now he back sneaky rich. James, I got your songs. Is James Gardner still here? The Cody dropping in too. Everything involving his immediates. Taming the dog when that bitch was disobedient. I probably never love this rap shit. More than these cash transactions. I got a passion for selling drugs. Touched my first half a mil and I fell in love. Thinking about where I was at before I met the plug. I probably never love this rap shit. Dyslectic vasectomy, baby, nonsense. for selling drugs. Accurate. I niggas hate me, I'm the wrong one to be jealous of. You know what? I'm gonna make a bet that he doesn't even address this. You ever seen a thug up while niggas? All right, I got you next, James. 50 in the Gucci bag, the plug waiting on him. I'm wanted by the feds, a few state charges pending. Still, I drop off work to my dogs on the boulevard of Linden. We in these streets, so fuck the industry and what is trending. I'm in that kitchen, chef and coke up in a Gucci apron. We was all G's. Let's go! Overstatement. 38 snub nose is how they close the cases. Six shots to his face is how they close the casket. Military tactics. It's money under the mattress My shooter got four bodies on a dirty gun Calls it his lucky ratchet And he'll let you have it I'm like a crossing guard directing traffic UPS delivering a package G-O-D nigga no capping C-O-D be the transaction M-O-B nigga fuck rapping Pirate. He won't address it He won't address I guarantee I got his a couple chips Touched my first half a meal and I fell in love Thinking about where I was at before I met the plug I probably never love this rap shit More than this trap shit I got a passion for selling drugs How niggas hate me, I'm the wrong one to be jealous of A nigga thought that this was that, but it was never love <laughs> Carl, you gonna be a bitch and not address that? Two of your brothers now confirmed you're a nonce and that the family knew about it. <sighs> Neko After sent $5 Twitter. on Rumble. Cog the Christmas miracle, ha ha ha. <laughs> We got a couple more tunes here. What can I hear this? Oh, there it goes. Bobby Womack. And the stones painted black. Imagine painting your floor black. Like the fucking stream. Likes are free. Raven Rain eight sent ten dollars on Rumble. This was an accident, Ralph. Oh no. Also, am I real? Winking face. Over halfway to gold. Good interview. Thank you, sweetheart. I appreciate that. A Smaster 33 sent $1 on Rumble. Cog is on the phone with Dan right now crying, begging him to fly to Merida. I'd love to see that big bastard in a Mexican jail, so I hope he comes down here. Taking my friends out for a good time. I got a few friends here in Merida, actually. I James Graves 33 sent $5 on Rumble. Great show, Ralph. And as far as me and Raven, I don't hate her. Just don't like some shit she does. Yeah, Cog just... will cry about it at some point. Keep up the great work, Ralph. Thank you, but yeah, just leave that. Along. I like Raven. As they've been calling her. Also, they she dropped crazy. Did that just cut? I don't know. 
know why though. That video's egg club. We got one more in honor of Cog. And actually, we got a couple more in honor of Cog, but this one right here. Why can't I hear this? Who paints their floor black? Yeah, it did. I'm going to hit it in just a second. I just, yeah, it, it does have the link. Anderson sent five dollars top tier interview. Nobody can do shows like the Ralph Mail. Thank you, brother. Smoking that cob pack all day, every day. Jobless oh. Johnny eternally destined to hold the camera while another man does the job for him. Oh. Cock week every week from now on. Oh, permanent cog cock week. We're rolling on that goal, can we hit it? Also, I got a voice note. Let me see. I don't know if I can play it on air, though. Let me see. It may be from another talk No more will my green seagull turn a deeper blue. I could not foresee this thing happening to you. We're not done yet! We ain't done yet, Gog! We ain't even close to done! You wanted it, boy! Cog family reunion. I teased that on Twitter. Real man on here too. Let me get your song in, Raven. Just lay your head in daddy's lap, your bad girl. <laughs> All right, let me listen to the rest of his voice note too. Show me, 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 show me,
spent $20 on Rumble. I want to play these on air because they're off. Thank you, Mary Jane. Let me play this. <laughs> You're wild for this one. Should I pull this up on air or? Race of mine, someday you may die. But if we see the light, I'll follow you into the right. It's all at stake. Our hearts should be filled with hate. A race war still awaits until we take the power back. I'll, I'll pull it up. Fuck it. This might be against kick toss, by the way. Definitely don't do any reporting over there. Race of mine, someday you may die. But if we see the light, I'll follow you into the right. It's all at stake. Our heart should be filled with hate. A race war still awaits until we take the power. See any channels get taken down over this? Uh, that'll be tough. So too late to report me on Twitter because I already deleted the stream.
Ray Chan, you wild for this one. That was just song. <laughs> Only on bed shoot. <laughs> Only on bed shoot. <clears throat> so. Wildly based, Doom says. <clears throat> so Mike is confirmed for tomorrow. His only reluctance was, like, he doesn't even like thinking about that fucker. Uh, and he, he's like, <clears throat> I'll just recount some of, you know. He sent me a couple of um, voice notes, which at first um, I was going to play on air and then but I was like no I'll just listen off air so I had to have one ear listening to the music and then one ear listening to to what he was saying um but the gist of it was he, he doesn't even like thinking about Johnny uh anymore so uh but he's like yeah man I'll do it you know it's fucked up what he's been doing and you know I know you're cool and so yeah I'll do it for you but, like, that was his one reluctance because he's like, this guy's just, like, negative for my mind, <laughs> basically, right? So he's kind of cut him out uh, of his thinking. Uh, but he is going to be on the show tomorrow. He is going to be on the show tomorrow. It's it's family reunion week here for Cog on the kill stream, bringing, bringing families back together. Bringing families back together. Can we hit that goal? Can we hit that goal 101 away from a 17-day streak? That's too old for COG. But, <laughs> and too young for me, to be clear. But James Graves, 33 cent, $1 on Rumble. That no was way. such a beautiful song. Kill all the commie Ks. LOL, just joking. Wink. Yeah, maybe I should get Hitler now off the screen. Now that you mention it, oh god, this will get us to strike quicker than Hitler. <laughs> uh. What? A smaster thirty-three cent five dollars on Rumble. Something for the kick red streamers. Oh yeah. This song is dedicated to all white nationalists. All around the world, you're not it, we will win. Better mute it quick. One of the haters says, what is the goal? The goal is the goal? Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> the goal is to not have to get a job? That's the other part of the goal. Yes, you're starting to figure it out. This is my job. I'm sorry that you can't have such a wonderful job, but... Also, the goal is for... You know, we had a pretty good interview today. And we got Mike coming in tomorrow. All these people have been playing patty cake with Cog. No, no. No, no, that's not how the Ralph Amell does it. The car and Bonnie sent $20 for notices to Ralph pre kill Strahan because Matt Conda, who lost his beloved cat to Okaloon yesterday, as I told him on Twitter, Aww. should he never be replaced, but maybe someday when the time is right, he will find himself a new friend. Oh man. Hold on, let me stop that and then replay it. Oh man, I didn't see that. I'll tell a story about that. 
man, that makes me sad. And I'll, I'll hit that again, guitar. Give me one second. I'll tell a story to you. Thank you for that. Now, and I'll replay uh, Guitar Anthony's contribution here. Mataconda, for those who don't know, the entire Ralph Lore, which probably are some of you. I started streaming with a show called The Ralph Retort Live. And it's kind of like the proto kill stream, right? Uh, and that's what I used to call my live streams. And there was no real set schedule. Um, I just needed a name for a show when I started all the Gamergate stuff and got into this business. I used to do a show called The Ralph Retort Live. Hold on, I'll finish it. James Graves, 33 cent, $1 on Rumble. Fuck, Andy Worski, fuck Ashton, fuck Josh Grau, Kyler, Jesse, and fuck Hoffman. Fuck them all. On a side note, it would be cool if you and Raven got together as a couple. Thank you for that, sir. I appreciate that. Now... And I, fuck all those people, yeah. I don't know the growl guy, but, uh, yeah, definitely. You know what? Fuck them all. I, but I'm going to I'm gonna hit this uh, for guitar, but I was just explaining. Uh, Matt Aconda, Matt, uh, used to co-host that show with me uh, on many occasions. And we were doing an episode of the Ralph Retour. It was this... Um, girl I was talking to on Twitter and she went by the name Sock Puppet Nora and she messaged me one day and said hey because you know it was just me and Matt usually and she had she followed him too and she's like hey if you ever need a guest on your show I'd like to come on you know I'd be down to come on and I saw it and it was that day and I said well yeah why don't you just call in today and she's like yeah what really and I said, yeah, you can just call in today. And we had some back and forth on Twitter, but this is really the only conversation we'd had. And so she called into the show that day. Now, this is the first, our first meeting, basic meeting, quote unquote, uh, was live on the Ralph Retort Live. And for those who remember Nora, she has still does I'm sure she doesn't we don't speak anymore but we were married uh, later on but um she has one of the best accents of all time and I'm kind of an accent guy uh certain cases and so I was immediately smitten I guess you could say with this person and we this is the first time we had chatted at all was live on air unfortunately this video doesn't exist because they deleted my YouTube channel, but it used to be on there. And this is the first time we ever spoke. And, you know, I'm immediately, like, taken by her. And so then I asked her on air, I was like, well, how old are you? Like, I'm, like, not even trying to hide it. I'm like, well, how old are you? And she goes, 18. And I think I was 29 at the point. <clears throat> at that point. And I just go, oh. I, like, literally sighed on air, like, oh, man, I guess that's out then, right? Um, but it turned out not to be out uh, because uh, I kept bringing her on the show, and we would, you know, we would talk all the time. She was actually with somebody, like, in an e-relationship at the time. Fuck it, I'll just tell the whole story. And um, she broke up with them, and then we got together, <clears throat> and this was like August, I guess, when we officially got together. And we had started talking in late June on air. But just like, you know, okay, she's kind of a co-host now. But it transitioned into something else. And then I went and spent New Year's Eve 20, let's see, 2015. And then it was going into 2016 in London. Uh, so that was the first time. We met was later in that year in London. And, of course, I tell this whole story because Mataconda 
played a key role in my first marriage uh, and a key role in a, a large part of my career, actually. So definitely uh, pay respects, press F for his cat passing away. I haven't talked to him uh, in a minute because for some reason they don't show me his tweets. Uh, I don't know. So I don't really see him that much. But um, yeah, he played a key role in my life, uh, in all honesty, and just. Uh, just a great guy, and so I hate to hear that uh, about his cat. Um, of course, Nora uh, deserves her flowers. I'm sure she probably doesn't want them uh, any longer, but uh, also a founding member, founding, um, you know, it says Ethan Ralph's Killstream. Well, it is, but I uh, actually founded the show with her uh, and with Janet Bloomfield, uh, the two other uh, co-founders of the Killstream, so... You wouldn't be you wouldn't be listening to my voice today uh, if it wasn't uh, for Matt Acon, if it wasn't for Nora, honestly, uh, and Janet Bloomfield, and the cast of characters uh, that I've known over the years, uh, and they all deserve their their propers. Even some people that I don't like these days, uh, although I don't include her on that list. We just. It just didn't work, but it was it was a special time. I talked about this on air. Cog will make a whole segment out of this, by the way. You know, it's not bad to to look back at your life. Something didn't work out, and still say, "Wow, that was still kind of a kind of a really special time, uh, really a really wild occurrence, right?" Like it's just like a it's like a one in a million type uh, thing that happened, honestly. So, yeah, you know, I think about it sometimes. Pepper and Thani sent $20 condolences to early Ralph pre kill Stram host Matt Conda, who lost his beloved cat Suhu Okalulu yesterday. As I told him on Twitter, she can never be replaced, but maybe someday when the time is right, he will find himself How a new friend. How long was I married for? Zerno asked. Uh, three years. I hope the day will be a light of highway. Three years. For friends I found on every road. Can you ask? Mr. Man, Mr. Man knows all that lore, I think. I just saw your joke, yeah. Yeah, I can't talk about the the other thing, unfortunately, but we'll see how much longer that lasts. It seems to me a crime that we should aid. Cause I'll have an immediate statement if it doesn't last. A time you never can or shall erase. As friends together watch their childhood fly. Making friends for the world to see. Let the people know you got. Thank you for that, brother. And I took a little trip down memory lane there. The haters get really upset when I do that. I don't, I don't understand why. <laughs> I don't understand why. When you have chapters in your life. Chapters sometimes are longer than others. Sometimes they're... They don't have the same ending that you thought they were going to have, but, you know, I'm still here. And I'm always going to be here. 
Well, I mean, not always. I'll die one day. Probably. I'm not sure, though. I'm not, I'm not counting on it. My dad used to say he was too mean to die. He was joking, of course, but I don't know if I'm that mean. I don't, I don't think so, really. He did die, so he was wrong as well. But, but I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, let's just, uh, okay, Mr. Graves, can we just stop with the Raven stuff, like, like, just stop, and I appreciate the support, but, like, just stop, it doesn't matter, like, I don't, if not, I'm gonna have to, like, stop it. So, like, I'm asking you to stop. <laughs> and just cease, please. A whole Anderson sent $20 smoking another pack today for all the haters who said Cody wasn't main event material, like that droopy faced mongoloid. What an idiot! Found his live reaction to the story being finished. Oh, I remember when he said that, too. What a fucking retard. God, that WrestleMania main event was awesome. And yes, I watched it. I didn't get to see it all both nights, but my God. A Smaster 33 sent $1 on Rumble. Mr. Graves, we understand this is your comp, but it's all pretty silly. Yeah, just... Yeah, just... just... Stop. Liquid underscore Stella sent three dollars shout out to Teddy Fisa. We need him back. The Jackson Six has destroyed their lumpedos. The Jackson Six don't fuck around. A salute to them, by the way. I didn't get to see all of both nights. Um, I got to see the Sami Zayn match, which was great. Uh, I got to see. I watched The Rock, obviously, um, and it was booked just like I thought. The main event was booked just like I thought, except no Stone Cold. And I don't know why that was. It made Baker to be there because of his WrestleMania power level, but it really should have been a Stone Cold stunner with The Rock and Stone Cold being like, I don't know, the best robber of all time, probably, uh, if not one of the top three. And like probably the best WrestleMania rivalry of all time. I don't know. Maybe Taker and Michaels, but like, uh, it really should have been Stone Cold, but the t it's easier for Taker with the Taker effect to just pop up like that, uh, and do the choke slam or whatever. But, and Stone Cold would have had to run, you know, all the way down the ramp and, and stuff like that. But I, I just felt like it really needed to be Stone Cold. But that didn't ruin it at all. It was great. Uh, I knew the main event was going to be overbooked like that. But I mean, you kind of had they kind of had to do it like that. They kind of, in my opinion, it was kind of. Is this is this his reaction? <laughs> Joel Davis's reaction to to Cody Rhodes. Winning, which I mean was obviously gonna happen. <sighs> no, no, <sighs> don't get oh, no, don't get distracted. You're gonna do what he did to him back in the day. Uh, yes. By the way, this was great storytelling. I had to go full ra rassle rassle mode, but this was the best storytelling like that you could imagine. And Seth even said shield and for those who know the whole story Seth hit him like that James Graves 33 sent one dollars on rumble it's all good Ralph good deal um but how Seth betrayed him years ago and he can't get it out of his head and Seth ste stepped in there and took the bullet and it distracted Roman the callback was amazing and it's like a 10 year callback too I mean I think I have this 
I don't know if I like this tweet or not, but it explains it. Oh, man, it was amazing. Hold on, I'll show you. And it was Seth who cost him. It was perfect. <laughs> yeah, this is crying. I'm getting yelled at for doing wrestling coverage. Well, well, Reigns carried the company for like four years. So, holy shit! James Graves, thirty-three cent, one dollars on Rumble. No offense, Ralph, but for the previous right. comment, he made us master can eat an ass and choke. Great show, Ralph. Thank you. Wow. Also, damn, he just ripping it all down. Also, there's this. I know, Russell, Russell, but I saw this thread. This explains it all. So this this is a I guess this was I don't know a couple months ago. Oh, is it really low? Let me turn it up. Fighting Roman Reigns. There is only one man on. Neko sent three dollars on Rumble. Everyone just take a chill pill and chillax. Chillax. Don't I won't take any chill pills, but. Who is uniquely suited to be your shield? To be your shield. Now, for those who don't know, the shield was a super group in the WWE. And Seth Rollins turned on the shield while he was a member of it and hit Reigns in the back with a chair. And that's like an iconic moment in WWE history. And see, they're going to. Uh, and it's Roman's like, it's always been in his head. A smaster 33 cent one dollars on Rumble. Relax, Mr. Angry Slacks. Don't disgrace the 33 family name, son. And he brings up how at the Rumble in 2022, he, he came out with the Shield stuff. Uh, and, it, you know, made him rage out. Uh, at WrestleMania, he shows up in the sh to the Shield music in the Shield gear with his chair. Roman takes him out instantly, instinctively, but Seth has achieved what he came to do. He's got himself and a chair in the ring. He knows Roman will not be able to resist reenacting that moment once more, this time as the aggressor. The architect knows how to find the flaw in the foundation of the bloodline and do what's necessary to bring down the monster he helped create. He helped create the shield. This is one of the best wrestling threads I've seen. And I was like, damn, this is just perfect storytelling. Let me see if I can turn this up. And you can see, like, he really should hit Cody with the chair. It's bloodline rules, too, so he can get away with it and finish it off. Yes, you've derailed into Rassle Rassle. This doesn't have any sound for some reason. But see, he looks. He can't resist. Look. 
<laughs> See, he's thinking about it. Ah, oh, he has to hit Rollins. He has to hit Rollins, and it cost him the championship. Oh, man, just classic. Just classic Tory Tonk. Okay. Okay. I'll stop. Leukemia, yes. Yes, he does. And he has to take... He takes a pill for it, though. Things like uh, in chemo and pill form, basically. But, yeah. Carmen says, this is why AEW can't compete. They don't have these kinds of stars with these kinds of stories. Yeah, I mean, AEW can't do something like that. That's a 10-year... That's a 10-year fucking storyline paying off. <laughs> with iconic moments and iconic characters. And AEW, I mean, they just can't do something like that. They... I, it's not really their fault, <laughs> but they just don't have that type of history. So it's just not possible for them. But man, it was great. Okay, let me see here. I'm trying to find the Somali stuff. I thought I had this pulled up. Oh, you might enjoy this too. Yeah, hit that like button. Attitude era with that, but they're kind of getting back to the attitude era a little bit now. Like you can just tell with the storylines, rock, rocks dropping f bombs and shit. Like four dollar. Name your favorite three white people. Um, Travis. Travis who? My mechanic. Oh, white people. Uh, famous white people. Oh. Uh, so. Ben Affleck <laughs> Ben Affleck? Yeah, yeah And why him? Cause he's a good actor Okay Two more people Uh, Hitler Hitler Yeah, why Hitler? Cause he f***ed the black people Hitler, Hitler messed with the blacks Yeah, yeah, hell yeah Not, not the, uh, the other race though Right, right uh, <laughs> One more person Donald Trump, he like to get money Donald Trump be getting money Yeah, alright right. Okay, yeah yeah, I give it. I give it to you. I give it to you. We are. Hitler, he fuck with black people. <laughs> And Trump, he like to get money. <laughs> I saw that. I think this morning or last night. I just couldn't. I had to have it for the show. Oh, this is Somali getting Israel. I don't really know this Johnny Somali guy too well. I don't know him at all, personally. But, what do they call him? An influencer? <laughs> I don't know, but he goes around and basically, yeah, annoying people. Well, he went to Israel and he... This chick is, she isn't bad, I guess. But she's a... I think she's a... I don't know if she's police or IDF. Yeah, Israeli policewoman. Oh, you a bad bitch. I swear to God. You a bad bitch. I'll take you to dinner. I swear to God. I swear to God. I'll change your life. I'll change your life, baby. Baby, I'll change your life. I promise you. You a bad bitch right here. I'll change your life, baby girl. You ain't got to work for these niggas no more. Bitch, I <laughs> this is not a good idea. Yeah, that did happen. Ralph ran into a base black farmer one day that pulled him out of the snow. I'll never forget that story. Yeah, I was in somebody I used to know, shitty ass Mazda, and uh, would not have gotten out of that without that guy. Holy shit, that was. They actually licensed some of my footage for this weather documentary they did about that snowstorm that hit I 85 in Virginia. Or is it I 95? Yeah, I think it's 95, yeah. And they licensed some of my footage from that. 
from that day. They paid me like four hundred dollars. I was like, okay. That changed your life. I'm in the sidewalk. 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 Oh, shit. Okay, 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 USA, USA. I'm from America, USA. My phone, my phone, my phone. Talento. 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 Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think he ended up getting arrested. Or detained, they say. Yeah, that sounds more like a... This is a longer clip. He was at some protests in Tel Aviv. Apparently he's been in Israel for a minute. Yeah, he ba- he almost got kept in Japan for years. Yeah, I forget what he did over there. He just put out a video about that yesterday. I just saw it when I was for the everything. <laughs> oh, what are you hey, no, 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 hell no, no, hell no. I'm not going back to jail. Oh, I'm not going back to jail. Oh, I'm not going back to jail. They're trying to grab me to jail. To jail. Oh, this is where. Give me a passport. Passport for what? What do I do? This is. This is it's my stuff. Don't steal my stuff. You what do you steal? God damn it! I'm from America. I'm in the sidewalk. What did I do? Give me a passport. I will, but calm down. Give Why are you talking to me like that? Okay. I'm gonna give you it. Relax. What's your problem? You're recording right now on camera. Give me a passport. I'm you it. Police brutality. <laughs> I'm from America. You can't arrest me anyway. Okay. Oh, yes, they can. It's okay. Okay. You can't do nothing to me. Wait. I'm in the sidewalk. What is my crime? What is my crime? Being in the sidewalk? Well, they'll touch my passport like that. What the fuck are you doing? What is your problem? Yeah, I'm from America. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, relax. How are you going to fight Hamas without us? Relax. I don't understand. Relax. <laughs> Where's my stuff? You're stealing from me? No. Where's my stuff? It's in. Well, can I see my phone? Yes. Give me my this phone. No, I need Why are you stealing my stuff? No. Yo, what the hell is going on? Why am I on a bus? What the fuck is going on? Yo, what is going on? What did I do? What, what did I do? I'm from America. You can't touch me nothing. Okay. Amen. They arrest me for being on the sidewalk? Everything Just calm down. Okay. okay, I'm coming down. Fuck it. Calm down. You're gonna let me go home? Okay. Calm down. Stop. You can't touch me like this. You see how he grabbed me? Why is he choking me? Come like with this? me. Come. Why is he grabbing me like this? I'm in the sidewalk. The video can see everything. Okay. Come I'll go to the courts. Come, come down. Come with me. What? Come where? Come where? So you can put cuff on me? No. No. I swear to God. I'm from America. I don't do this shit. What? I'm arrest blacks in America. What? The camera. I'm a journalist. So open your. Bag. Open my bag here. Can I have my phone? No. Why are you touching? I'm, I'm under arrest for no. what? No, no. Now, no. Something I'm, sharp. Something nothing for sharp. Self-defense. Nothing for self defense. I'm from America. I'm not scared of nobody. <laughs> you sound a little scared. What is the problem? Why am I here? Why am I here? No, no, no. Oh, I'm sitting down right here. What's the problem? I'm calm. What is the problem? He grabbed me for being on the sidewalk. Can you translate for me? I don't think he actually was on the sidewalk, but... What's going on here? Hey, this one. What down. did I do? Calm down. You would be angry too. You see how they grabbed me? Calm down. You see how they carry me? Calm down. As a man, you don't let somebody carry you like that. It's disrespectful. It's all on camera. 
What have I done? Stop standing in the side. Stop. Calm down. I don't say it again. Calm down. It's enough. You wouldn't be mad at my position. You would be angry with me. Okay. Calm down. Somebody help you? Yes. Yes. No, no, no. Somebody help you? Okay, calm down. I'm from America. Don't take it. Bro, don't take it. No, no. This is one thousand five hundred dollars. Okay. Back as he was. No, I guess that's it, bro. Can I go? Why did you grab me? I was on the sidewalk. Calm down. Let me go. Stop. Stop. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go. I'm not going Lovely cultural exchanges, yes. And he gets out of it somehow. It's not them, man. I was literally standing on the sidewalk. I did no crime. All of us. Public sidewalk. That's a crime? They, they don't have answers. They're doing the job. It's okay. They can explain to the U.S. Embassy. It's okay. Embassy don't give a fuck. <laughs> Relax, relax. Shed moot means bitch. They're calling him a bitch. Some of them are speaking Arabic. Some of them are speaking Hebrew. Hard to tell exactly what they're saying. Yeah. What time is it right now? Dude, they're genociding Palestinians. They don't give a fuck about choking somebody. I mean, you're not good. It's not a crime. I just don't want to sit here for two, three hours. Start telephone. His Twitter is Rabbi Somali. Pirate gang, shout out the chat, bro. I'm from America. Let me go. Where is my passport? Where is my passport? Where is my passport? Where is my passport? Where's my US passport? Where's my US passport? Where's my passport? I know where mine is. Where's my passport? You can't arrest me. I did nothing wrong. I was in the sidewalk. 
Where's my U.S. passport? Tell them where's my passport. Where's my passport, nigga? They would bring you the Before I crash out. I know. They would bring you the passport. I'm about to crash out. Where's my passport? They would bring you the passport. Where is it? The passport is with you. It's okay. I don't know who took it. Somebody took my passport and ran away with the Nothing still with me. Where is my U.S. passport? You don't have it. Let me go. Why am I here? Black Lives Matter, I saw his chat saying. Let me go. Not in Israel. This is crazy, bro. Wait, you got I'm here to document what's going on. I'm a zealot. Hi, hello. I did nothing wrong. No crime. I was on the sidewalk, hello. Yeah. Give me my passport. Israel, the bridge is a crime. I was standing on the sidewalk, can you read this? Okay, I was walking on the sidewalk. That's what you do. You can't you can go. Can 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 when you came here, you should take this off. I did not know it's like this. They're arresting Jewish Check his oil. They're attacking Jewish people, what is going on? This is Israel. Listen, listen. Everything is okay. The problem is with us. Okay, Dennis. Why not? Why not? What is the investigation? I can't believe they let it stream the song. I might skip ahead. He gets out of it somehow. Don't got no one that been calling me splurge. Let me jump right on the curve. It just felt like a bird. Spin on the first. מה עושים עם הזיקים? תשאל אותו, את... איך קוראים לו אילון? כן. הזיקים? Do they even know it's streaming? Oh no, that's what I was thinking, where's the TTS? Let's see it. Yeah, my Yamta. Look at all the pussy. 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 All Oh, uh, cogs melting down. Are you gay? Are you gay? Why are you going to the Oh shit. Check it, check it. We got more content. Do we have more content? 
I have no idea what they're fucking saying, by the way. Hold on, I gotta save all these and pull them out of folder. Dude, Cog is literally fucking crazy. <laughs> what is this guy doing? Alright, let me see. Hold on. I'm trying to get these pulled up. I have so much shit on my desk Imagine the fun we would be having with the TTS. <laughs> Oh, the RE said that. didn't watch. Well, we have evidence. Did he did. Dude, this is top level sparking from Somali, though, I have to say. Clog, Clog came, claims he moved on. He moved on from Ralph content. Oh, uh, yeah. Just gifted one subscription on Kick. You cannot take me to jail for standing on a fucking sidewalk. What kind of communist bullshit is that? Are you guys fucking retarded? I'm not scared of Israeli. I'm not scared of nobody. I'm Jewish. What you gonna do? I'm shitting on the tenant. They see blaze. I got bitches on the fucking social ground. Give me bad. Alright, here we go. Listen, I'm tired of you treating my fellow Hebrew Israelites. I'm on my dog, Omar Sheikh. Yo, shout out Dr. Umar Johnson. You know, Grandma. He's Jewish. Show me the real power. You scared me. I'm scared. This is starting to fucking get mm. up in the morning, sleeping corporates. Also, I had to upload so these the screenshots. Can't be More paid. content? Oh, me Israelite. Get up in the morning, sleeping corporates. So that the every mouth can be paid. Thirty-three cents. 
five dollars on Rob. After this, if you don't mind, Ralph, play the Cogden. Well, it's not play; it's screenshots. But yeah. <laughs> Base Desmond the Velcro head decker. I like Scott cause him a jig. <laughs> That's hilarious. His whole Discord is melting down. Donating to a literal wife abuser. Well, that's not true, but... <laughs> Let me see. Ralph's so desperate for you to to get you to talk about him. Are you serious? <laughs> what? I mean, I don't have to do anything to get him to talk about me. <laughs> Holy shit. This is hilarious. Let me pull these up. Let me pull these up. Sweet. I hear Paul's literally pulling random shit out of his ass for clout. What do you mean? You just heard that? You mean you were listening? I just heard that. He, he just heard that he's pulling out shit out of his ass. Oh, yeah, dry but gold. My mom told me that after he passed, six out of eight is still a win. Nobody believes that, Cog. That's a great line. That's not a great line, but Yeah, it's something he said to her before he passed. He was always positive. Yeah, I don't believe that. Yeah, I have to get Cog to talk about me? Like, what in the fuck? Raven is such an attention whore. Donating to a literal wife abuser. <laughs> so mad. So mad. Paul didn't lie. Michael didn't lie. Johnny's a liar. That's accurate.
He's not stopped mentioning my name since Raven said. This is from Raven in our chat. Even blame me for Merck leaving, hence my replies on Twitter, LOL. Literally Hitler sent $14.88 and 88 cents. Remember this banger? Mm, I don't, but I have a feeling it's going to be related to something because it's on bed shoe. <laughs> Holy fuck. Let me pull this up. Yeah, I'll get back to the cocks in a second. James Graves 33 cent $2 on Rumble. Cog is so damn delusional, seeth more Cog. And for the love of God stop botting your likes and views Cog. I mean two brothers claiming the same shit against you Cog, oh, they're the one with the issues. It is a bit convenient. Thank you for that. <laughs> Holy shit. Where are we at on that goal? Where are we at? What? Teen dollars. And 12 cents away from the all day fond being hit. And it's not even 7 p.m. Eastern yet. It's not even 7 p.m. Eastern yet. Let's 
Let's see. Let me go back to this. Raven Ralph said this at the start of the interview. I did say that. Starting to think... Let me see. Is this lined up on the screen? Starting to think... <laughs> this is crazy. Starting to think in the four years he's clearly been seething over my success that they planted the review on a website with our docs to start all this, to promote Paul's gaming streams. What is he talking about? What is he talking about? Thank you for that, literally. Success has he had? Any? I mean, he. I guess, you know, in a certain way, he's been successful at milking a little bit of money out of people who have Ralph Derangement Syndrome. But he certainly has hasn't had any like successful I don't know interviews or entertaining shows, um, debates, anything worth a shit. So yeah, I mean he has milked you know some mentally ill people who have Ralph on the brain twenty four seven. Yeah, so I mean I guess you could say a little bit of success in that, but you know. It's not entertaining in any way whatsoever. It's just because they have that, like, insane, seething hatred. It's like the restream faggots. Like, they're just insane with Ralph hatred. And half of them are like that just because I made fun of fake cancer, man. So, well over half, probably. Because he's like some sacred cow that you could never... You can never criticize. If he talks shit about you, you can't respond to him. Because, oh my God, how how dare anybody ever talk bad about Daddy Jim? That's, that's actually where the majority of it lies. And then, how dare anybody ever say anything bad about... Anything bad about Josh Moon... Or Jim Medicker. How dare. How dare anybody say anything bad about those two absolute fucking degenerates. So. That's where most of it comes from. Because. I don't give a fuck. I don't say whatever the fuck I want about anybody that I want to. So. That makes some people upset. I don't give a fuck about Jim. I hope the cancer's real. I hope he dies tomorrow. So, I don't give a fuck. And if he did, it would be one of the greatest things that could happen on planet Earth. I don't give a shit. Like, <laughs> if Josh Moon went in the same day, my God. <laughs> so, saying that, and he's admitted he, his, his hatred for me. He just did that a couple weeks ago. It's not about laughing online. And so you have these people who are just obsessed for those reasons. And they get their marching orders and, you know, that's what they do. So it's not really that hard to milk people like that. But Cog's even lost most of those people because he just... Like a super schizoid and not entertaining in any way. So, you know, he's lost most of those people too. And I see one of those idiots said never wishes people dead. No, I wish people dead all the time. I've said that before. I've never claimed to not wish people dead. Like it's just retarded. When have I ever claimed that? <laughs> they make up false things in their in their mind. 
They just defended Worski for wishing Raven dead two weeks ago. So, like, it doesn't... Where's the... It's hypocrisy. I mean, it's just blatant hypocrisy. It's just insanity, really. No, I didn't say that. I said I don't like wishing people dead. But there are some people I would like to see die. Uh, go rerun the tape, faggot. I never said that. Rerun the tape. <laughs> Starting to think in the four years. This is back to Cog, by the way. Starting to think in the four years he's clearly been seething over my success that they planted the review on a box. This is mental. Anonymous sent $3 just laughing online went out the window after the third Ralph hate stream. Yes. Observant people noticed. That's right. That's right. I mean, it's it was it was a design play to try to destroy me, is what it was. I mean, it didn't work, but, you know, that's what he's been focused on for two years now, like, straight. Literally almost every single stream he's done in two years has been about me. So, that's what it's all been about. And so, yeah, of course, you know, to, to die, that would be funny to me. So, pretty sure he feels the same way about me. He just said that the other day, that we hate each other. He's right. I do hate him. He's correct. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. Some of these people are just mental. Oh, my God. You can't say, you can't say anything. You can't say anything about Daddy Jim. Yeah, I can say whatever the fuck I want. I can say whatever the fuck I want. I don't care about your mob, and I don't care about your, you know, faggot little fan club. I piss all over that. So, and I piss all over Cog, and I'm going to do it again tomorrow, too. All this months and months, Kino Casino's been going at him. I've done more damage to Cog in two weeks than they've done in six months. So, I mean, the facts are the facts. They're sitting around playing badminton. They're sitting around, you know, playing pussy games. I'm out here to take scalps. That's what I'm out here for. So, Jim was talking shit about mon about you for months. Yeah, I know. I know that. Yes, he was. Then I finally responded. It's like, oh my God, Ralph attacked Jim. Ralph started all this. Uh, no, Ralph didn't start all this. <laughs> That's not accurate at all. But see, they have it in their minds that, like, Jim can say whatever he wants about anybody. Worski included. Worski used to see the about Medicare all the time behind the scenes and hated Medicare. Because Medicare did that aim, aim, aim stream or whatever. What used to see all the time about that. Um, but, you know, some people are too cowardly to say what they think on air or to actually respond to hostilities. And I'm not. So, Jim fell off after the coup. Yeah, he did. Well, it ruined his brain. I don't know. And the 18 COVID fucking tests he had. Planted the review. That's what he's really going with. Like my dad said, six out of eight ain't bad. Isn't bad. Your dad sounded awesome. He really was, and Paul and Michael have never had respect for him. Eight lads and a wife he was faithful to until the end. Good dad. You just don't get that these days. My point is, Mike's going on Ralph's show tomorrow. Can't wait to hear more crazy ramblings from Michael. Oh, crazy ramblings. Oh, I see. 
If that's true, I guess Paul finally started hanging out with him again. Four years cut off from the family will make that happen. Oh. Ralph's so desperate to get you to talk about him. It's pathetic. It's this. Imagine this coming out of Cog's mouth. Whatever. Keyboard, mouth, whatever. It's like a stage five Clinger X. Bro, we moved on. This is after four years straight. Like, I was just talking about Medicare. Doing it for two years. Cog's been doing this for four years. Like, what? James Graves 33 sent $2 on Rumble. Fuck Jim, Hoffman Crackhead Casino, Cog, all these bastards. Ralph wins. Thank you for that. It's like, what are you talking about? How can you say that? That's honestly crazier than any Medica ramblings that, I've, that I can think of off the top of my head. <laughs> uh, no, this is this is payback for those four years, Cog. And I will pay you back every fucking chance I get until I'm dead. Or until you quit the internet, one or the other. So it's always going to be like that. Every fucking time. If I can get Thieves on the show, I'll get her on the show. Alenska. I'll bring anybody on here to put your shit out in the street without any qualification. I don't care who it is. Forever. Or until I'm dead. Or you're dead. And even after you're dead, I'm still going to piss on you. If you were to somehow pass before me. So... I mean, that's the way it's always going to be. Anybody. I mean, anybody. So. Nekot sent $12 on Rumble. Ralph won. We hit the goal. <laughs> Although, is it updated yet? There it goes. We hit the goal. I just can't. It's insane. And by the way, Medicare backed this guy too. Medicare sent this idiot money. As cringe and as pedophilic as he is, pumped this guy up too and sent him money. And even when Casino had him on and they were dunking on Cog poorly, by the way. He's like, oh, I don't know. I know you guys don't like Cog, but I kind of like Cog. Da, da, da. Because it's all about get Ralph. That's all it's about. It doesn't matter who's doing it. When I used to, and I get along great with RPG now, but when I wasn't, he was in there giving him money. Like, it doesn't matter. It's anybody who goes after me. He supports and props up. And sweeps up for him. It doesn't matter. Look at all the sweeping he's done for Andy Worski just in the last month. James Graves 33 sent $10 on Rumble. Fuck the goal. Let's get you even more over the goal. Well, let's do it. I'll put the extendo on there, too. Uh, let me see. I'll have to, I'll have to change it to extendo. RPG's based, and a lot of what he said turned out to be uh, prophetic uh, about a lot of people. So, and, you know, I feel bad about going so hard on him, honestly. And the amusing part about that is is when Casino and all of his you know, people were supposed to be his allies turned on him, they just retread all the content that I did because they're all unoriginal and just gay. <laughs> So it's either retread shit I had said or just make up things out of thin air. That's what Medicare likes to do, just make up things out of thin air, like dentures and all this nonsense. Like it's like, oh, it's so, what an excellent troll. It just it's just fake. So I mean, you know, there are some kayfabe enjoyers out there. I'm kayfabe enjoyer when I'm watching WWE, but 
But I don't know. It's uh, Gabe is garbage. Yes, Gabe is garbage. Garbage Gabe. That's actually a good name for him. RPG legit got gay opt. Well, you know, I feel I threw I kind of threw a grenade into that camp. I talked about this on air. But we talked. I get along good with him now. And he said when he comes back, he's going to do that kill stream sit down that we talked about. So, but RPG was doing all the work over there, really, and doing all the research. And then one day I was like, man, you know, we should just end this beef. I forget what I said. And then he was considering it, and all of his people, like, started going crazy. And Jaden's like, no, you can't. Da, 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 da. And then when I came out against America first, which I'm not doing now, whatever, I don't care. Uh, Jaden was the first one to line up to jump on my show. Like, I mean, <laughs> it's funny. It's funny how pathetic these people are. <laughs> so, I mean, the truth is the truth. He was the first one to line up. He was on here. Trying to soak up as much clout as he could. They were never his people. He realized that real fast. Well, yeah, they, and they turned on for not for just for slow. It was a slow content season or whatever, and so they just turned on him for nothing, which is fucked up. But that's the type of people, you know, the casino represent that's the type of people they are that's what Medicare is they're just snakes like there's no there's no real loyalty if you think for one second he has loyalty to fat ass or crackhead of course not <laughs> it's just because he sees them as a tag dogs against me he's just a disloyal faggot I mean he always has been so, in a way, you helped RPG. Yeah, I mean, I like to think so. Uh, we went at each other really hard, and I feel bad about some of that stuff. Uh, but, you know, he went at me pretty hard, too. You know, we had some back and forth, but I, I have respect for him uh, now, especially. And I had respect for him then, even, even when we were talking about shit, because he's one of those guys, too, who he says what he thinks. Mob be damned. And he just puts it out there. He always has been. Now his thinking may change. <laughs> change here and there. James Graves 33 sent $20 on Rumble. Hope you enjoyed that vacation, Ralph. Unlike Cog, who has to gloat over his wife's Dino shit stew. <laughs> yeah, I did enjoy the vacation, but it's uh, it's a lot better to be back. It's a lot better to be back, I have to say. It's just funny. I, I sit and look on the history of it. And it's just so it's just so obvious. <laughs> also I think my browser just crashed. No, nah, it's back. Extendo, although we're already building on the Extendo. And we have another Cog brother coming on tomorrow. Another? But yeah, I can't wait till he comes back and starts dropping bombs. Oh shit, did my camera freeze? Uh-oh. I'm frozen in position. Let me see. Uh Is it up? It's frozen. That's weird. It's frozen for me. OBS is on some bullshit. How is that even possible? How can it only be frozen on my end? <laughs> 
I've never seen that in my life, Mary Jane. It's completely frozen on my end. But it appears to be fine on stream. Who owns OBS? I don't know. Wow, yeah, it is fine on screen. <laughs> That's insane. I've seen some crazy OBS glitches, but I've never seen that one. OBS is open source. Yeah, it is. And it's free. And you get what you pay for, is what I always say. Well, I guess I don't really have to see OBS work correctly to work the stream. So... <laughs> it doesn't have to happen. OBS with a fake out. I don't know. That's crazy, though. I really should probably restart it, but whatever. I'll just leave it. <laughs> I guess let me know if the stream goes down. Yeah, it's almost 100 degrees. Dude, it was 105 degrees when I went to the Pyramid of the Magician the other day. You yeah, already did that, Dr. Drank. OBS is, like, completely frozen. I just can't click on anything or move around any assets. So, <laughs> but I mean, if it's working, I, I don't really see the point in restarting it. Right? Like, but yeah, that's the first thing I did was disable and then re-enable. But, And, well, actually, I didn't because, let me see, I'll try it. See, it, I guess it switched for you guys, but it didn't switch for me when I did that. Insane! You never know what will happen on the kill stream, although you do know that OBS will do some fucking trickery of some sort. Stage 5 Clinger X. Bro, we moved on. Yeah. Yeah, you moved on. I moved you on. He put it <laughs> He put a tweet out. I think it was March 16th. He said, "Oh, Ralph, you want my focus again? You want my undivided attention? So I can completely destroy you or some crazy shit like that?" It's like if Medicare can't completely destroy me, you can't. You moron. Just absolute nuttery. One hundred and five degrees when I filmed this. Did you enjoy that geek? Thank you. I thought it went pretty good. We're gonna have Mike on tomorrow. I think around the same time. Oh, and hit like by the way. Yep, we're gonna have Mike on tomorrow. I told him three thirty as well. So. Yeah, we're piling on. And the 14-year-old story was confirmed today. Again. <sighs> it's tough. Then they're like, Ralph's back drinking. See, but I can't see where the screen is. Man, this is so fucked. Let me restart OBS, because I can't line up the videos. <laughs> Let me restart OBS just for a second. Just stay where you are. Don't leave. Okay. Now, I have to fix everything else. Oh, my God. Did it do the thing again where it made the gold? This oh I hate OBS. I mean, it's such a fucking... Just nightmare. I'm up now. 
Maybe it'll come back. The chat. Where's the chat? Double feature unheard of. Yeah, oh, let me pull this up. But yeah, they're like, Ralph's drunk, his face is red. It's like, well, dude, I got sunburned at the beach. Not the day before, but two days before this. Like, sunburned pretty bad. <laughs> like I always do. Let me pull this up. So like, Ralph's face is red. He's obviously drinking. It's, well, it's 105 degrees. I got sunburned. You can still see a little bit on my nose. Oh, that's not as bad. But on my forehead, there's sunburn. That's from going outside. I know that's a foreign concept for Jim and for some of his fans, but, yeah, that's from going outside. He can't go outside, you know, unless he's in the bubble or whatever. But uh, some of his fans, I think, don't go outside by choice. It's insane. I'm here at the Pyramid of the Magician in Uxmal. And they're like, he's breathing hard. Well, I go walk around Uxmal in 105 degree heat. <laughs> and there's actually like a lot of you have to do to go all around the park. The DM you send is related to this vid. They're so dumb. Gator said, Ralph's so desperate he's out here trying to contract demonic entities to do his bidding. This thing is so stupid. Sorry, Ralph, but most of your enemies are protected by their unwavering faith in the Lord. Yes, Holy Gator, of course. The only demons you conjure are your own undoing. Nigga, it was a joke people i'm here at the pyramid of the magician in uxmal putting a little ancient mayan curse on all my enemies not that i need that type of luck these days because things are all turn up aces yeah that's called a joke how stupid are they i think so thought that serious James Graves 33 sent $2 on Rumble. Well, Ralph, if you're drinking, share the wealth, bro. Just joking. But now they can make a rumor Ralph and James Graves got drunk together. LOL. This is dumb. A Smaster 33 sent $1 on Rumble. Pyramid of the Magician sounds like an ICP album. <laughs> Smash Jog. It does kind of. Gator preaching religion while being the biggest blasphemer child luster outside of a certain someone and his father. Uh huh. Yeah. Don't get me started on that. Some of these motherfuckers legit thought I was serious. How are they so stupid? Y'all are fucked now. I've got this ancient mind energy. They taught me all the curses. Medica, you don't have long left. Boogie, you have even less left. Yeah, it's called a joke. Dilbert9 sent $5 on Rumble. I feel pity sometimes for the brown intellect. That red will tan nicely. Oh, seven Ralph. Thank you, sir. And that's why I don't even really worry about sunburn because that's basically how I get a tan. <laughs> I have to get burned. <laughs> so, yeah. It's just fucking dumb. And I knew they would react like this, too. Which is another reason I did it. They will say Ralph's legitimately trying to bring up Mayan curses on his enemies. Anyone who isn't just completely autistic knows it's a joke. Well, I mean, you know, you would think it's an obvious joke. <laughs> and thank you, Dilbert, by the way. It's crazy. 
But I knew that would be the reaction of some. Ancient mind powers activated at Uxmal and the Pyramid of the Magician. It's like, okay, yeah, I'm joking. I mean, as far as I know, then I knew this one would get them. <laughs> I was like, yeah, take this picture. <laughs> Then they were clipping out, like, um, you know, taking out the background so they can put it on their hate Ralph memes and stuff, which I also knew would happen. Like they were owning me or something. I was like, well, I completely knew that would happen. And I don't care. <laughs> Promote me more, please. <laughs> like, it's so... It's Look, no, I never guessed. I never guessed. That they would do the most obvious thing possible. Yeah, I knew this would just flip them the fuck out. It's like, yeah, take this picture, take this picture. Of course, people at the place probably thought it was crazy, but it's obvious satire. Yes, I thought so. That's the governor's palace there, which is also pretty famous. Then this one. A whole Anderson sent five dollars gators bluffing. He's suffering from Montezuma's revenge right now after he stuffed his face at Taco Bell after another twelve donut day. Another twelve donut day. I don't know, man. I thought it was a pretty obvious joke. Also, this is a famous angle. James Graves yeah, thirty three sent two dollars on Rumble. Yeah, no. Ralph, no matter what you do, they will claim you're on drugs, drug, etc. Just sit back and laugh. Cause all they can do is make shit up and talk shit. Fuck them. Well, I was definitely laughing at it, yeah. That's why I kept posting pictures of my food and stuff, too. It just literally makes people lose their minds. I mean... <laughs> you think I didn't know? People would... Oh, Ralph's busting his guacamole. Oh, look at the chips. What kind of chips are those? Blah, 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 blah. I mean, it's fucking insane. A Smaster 33 sent $1 on Rumble. Isn't Brian Holloman that guy who's into animated some? Yes. Yes, that's him. Animated Sea Sam, yeah, yeah, that's him. But yeah, they've been they've been just desperately reaching. Then they took a clip from when we watched Spawn and they're like, Ralph's obviously fucked up. Which I wasn't. They're like, look at him slur. He must be fucked up. He's starring his words. First off, I wasn't. Second off, I took a breath. It's in the movie. A pute Mayan God of Death and Distraction sent three dollars. Hey, listen, I don't know what this book is. 1488 wins, but your prayers are granted. El Zumbe de Pride Alive. Anyway, a lot of people took this seriously. I thought it was a, I thought it was an obvious joke. Now nobody who follows me like as a fan or supporter took it seriously. They knew I was I was joking. But a lot of people who hate me are severely autistic, so Kioskman sent ten dollars I found Ralph's love song to all his angry wannabe live streamer enemies. I can see Meatocker telling us how he's dying in 2057 <laughs> yet again begging for super berries. Beware of fighting dongas least you become one. Oh, shit. Yeah, he will be, by the way. Let me pull, let me pull this up in the... Let me pull this up over here. This little Chappelle show ditty. Thank you, Kiosk. For some reason, it was in only one ear. I'll fix that. Where is that fucking... Where is... Sound fixer. Yeah. What? James Graves 33 cent $2 on Rumble. Damn, I meant drunk. 
just wanted to clarify that with another super chat. Fuck the haters, and stay sober Ralph it makes them seethe. Thank you brother, and I will. I think they might literally be scared. You might be right, literally, yes. I know I said literally twice, but he's a user. <laughs> I think they might actually be scared that the ancient Mayan curse, even though I was just fucking around, might actually bring some <laughs> results. I don't know. Oh my god. My browser. I oh, fucking let me fix that again. There we go. Thanks that I got so many tabs of them. I haven't talked to Dingo in a minute. James Graves 33 sent $2 on Rumble. Someone wanted to know where Dingo is? Any response Mr. Ralph? Funny skit by the way. You just answered the question but here's a super chat anyway. Well thank you. Yeah I don't know. I, I haven't talked to him in a, I don't know, maybe like a month or two. So I'm not sure. Won't you break my head? No. <laughs> ah, it's the remix. Here we go. I pick you up from the club, take you home to snug. Got a surprise, close your eyes. I'm gonna cover you with suds. I'm gonna give you some poo poo. I'm gonna give you some pee pee. I'm gonna give you some poo poo. I'm washing down some wee wee. This is the remix edition of a song about this and I got the I don't even remember this part. <laughs> It did say doo doo butter, yes. Yeah, I think Dingo, you know, he was, uh, there's no animosity there or anything. Uh, I know he'd, I think he'd say he's uh, been training for a new job, so he probably started that. And I don't think he's doing much streaming and shit, so. Um, but yeah, yeah, I think he's doing fine. I just haven't talked to him in a minute. I wouldn't mind hearing from old Dingo. He hates Cog, too. He'd be great to have on for some of this stuff, too. Now that you mention that. I'm trying to reply to this too.
Let me see here. What should we do next? Hmm. The local live stuff. I guess that's the thing on the marquee that we haven't done. I'm looking through here too, though. Anyway, that was the Uxmal stuff and my completely unplanned rant. The fresh and fit abortion thing. Rabbi Shmuley. Shmuley's always good for some content. Let me see. Go ahead. A Smaster 33 sent $1 on Rumble. We need Dingo, Fashcroft, and Ridgeway on to have an N-word saying contest. Yeah, I guess we could do that on Rumble. <laughs> Tucker apparently interviewed a Christian pastor from Palestine. There was some Tucker clip I saw the other day. But I ended up not saving it. I don't think... Rick Harrison 69 sent $2 on Rumble. To really step up your Mayan curse, you should get an Aztec death whistle. Holy shit, I see that now. Oh, the Mexica people. I actually know the Mexica people. Because I went to the big... Um, I went to an anthrop Mayan anthropology museum here the other day. But I went to the big... Uh, Mexico City Anthropology Museum, and it's one of the biggest, it's like one of the coolest fucking things ever, actually. Coolest museums I've been to, and I've been to a lot of cool museums. Aztec Death Whistle. Dude, you should go if you ever go to Mexico City. It's fucking awesome. There's still several museums I want to see there. I mean, it's fucking sick. God. James Graves 33 sent $2 on Rumble. Bro, just keep going. Show the K. K, let's make fun of some show Z. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to think. Oh, fine. President Biden has put out... Why does it always turn down so? Saying that he was outraged by the accidental, tragic death of the kitchen aid workers who were trying to free the Palestinians who were used as human shields by Hamas and who Hamas starved by stealing their aid and launched this war in the first place. Now, let me be clear. President Biden continues to arm Israel. We could not be more grateful. He continues to give Israel the essential equipment. That's what really matters. But words also matter. President Biden. You know that war, unfortunately, is horrific and war is ugly. And even more great democratic nations like the United States, like Israel, like Britain, can commit blunders. Israel accidentally killed three of the hostages it wanted to rescue. Do you think that they did that on purpose, God forbid? Hamas fights specifically among civilians. God forbid, they, they would never. Among civilians. Mr. President, I don't want to engage in whataboutism, but when you're, you express outrage about Israel's actions, where is the outrage over the daily rockets that are being fired from Lebanon from, by, by Hezbollah? And hundreds of thousands of Israelis can't even move back to their homes. They are refugees from this war. Where is the outrage that Qatar, that has an American military base, Air Force base, with 10,000 servicemen, funds terrorism, has the leaders of Hamas, billionaires living there without any pressure on them, this whole war could have been brought to an end. If, if Hamas, if Qatar would have told Hamas, if you don't release the hostages, you are cut off forever. They would have been released the same day. We all know that. Where is the leverage from the United States with an air base of 10,000 servicemen and women to pressure Qatar to get Hamas to surrender unconditionally, release the hostages so this war is over? Where is the pressure on, 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 on Iran at the United Nations who, that funds all this? Why hasn't the United States initiated a United Nations Security Council resolution against Iran? Why, because you're afraid it's going to be vetoed by Putin? Putin's a monster. Putin's a killer. It's going to be vetoed by China. We know that China has no moral bearing. Israel committed a terrible mistake with these aid workers 
It admitted to it immediately, and an investigation is being done. Mr. President, we're all outraged by the fact that this war has to go on at all. God. Rick Harrison, 69, sent $2 on Rumble. They're outraged. Listen up, Goy. Just because we murdered a few couple hundred innocent aid workers and civilians, doesn't mean you can question <laughs> Israel, you anti-Semite. Yeah, that's the gist of this. That's the gist of this. But your words are really, really hurting Israel's ability to defend itself. Yeah. Yeah, poor Israel. Poor, poor Israel. He did a couple videos on this. Hi, everyone. Here at one of my favorite kosher Israeli restaurants in the world. Zula okay. in England, New Jersey. Amazing. Truly, best bread you've ever had. Amazing food. Thank you, Zula. I'm dressed very colorfully today because the New York and New Jersey area was such disgusting weather. I, I needed to, and just the stories in the world, the gloom, I needed color. Yellow sweater. Fluorescent blue cap. Not bad. Red pants. Blue shoes. But here's the best part of all. Go ahead. Rick Harrison, 69, sent $1 on Rob. Right. Forget about Look, the kids. The Jews are the real victims. Forget about the, the kids, kids, the innocent aid workers. Ha ha! Ta da! Green socks! Oompa loompa doopity doo! Look, we have to find joy in these very trying times because all we hear is bad news. And I want to address one thing the terrible news that seven aid workers were accidentally killed by an Israeli airstrike who were trying to take a Hamas proof two things. Number one, the fact that it's so seldom, it shows that Israel does everything it can to make sure that innocents it's are never It's not seldom at all! What the fuck?! Field of battle. Number two, Israel took immediate responsibility. Unlike the liars of Hamas, yeah, because it was Israel so immediately said we're launching obvious. an investigation. Number three, it proves that there are aid workers all over Gaza, but they, they, are, they so blend in. And these aid workers, through no fault of their own, because Hamas steals the food. Go ahead. A Smaster 33 sent $1 on Rumble. Next movie night. What is this? Hold on, let me finish Smoley and them all. And make sure that they're embedded among the civilian population. War is horrible, and innocent people die. And had Hamas not launched a, a genocidal, Holocaust-level extinction day against Israel October 7th, none of this would be happening. But we have to defend Israel and put all the blame on Hamas. There has to be a ceasefire in Gaza now when we see these innocents dying through the unconditional surrender of Hamas and the release of the hostages. Now, for all of you who are saying, I, I heard uh, Aaron Burnett say on CNN tonight, wait a second. Go ahead. Rick Harrison, 69, sent $1 on Rumble. Hamas steals the food, so we have to carpet bomb Gaza. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> if you, if, if even if Israel, you know, ends up defeating Hamas, through all the suffering, you're just creating a whole new generation of people who are going to hate Israel. So, you don't... A Smaster 33 sent $1 on Rumble. Those aid <laughs> workers were clearly being used as human shields. Rick Harrison 69 sent $1 on Rumble. If Hamas doesn't stop, we will kill more children. <laughs> kill the idea of Hamas. Yes, of course you don't kill the idea of Hamas. There's always going to be hatred in the world. There's always going to be terrorism in the world. What you kill is the organization of Hamas. Unorganized hatred cannot perpetrate a genocide and can't kill people. This, in, in this room... I yeah, no, the organized hatred is the one that's doing all the genociding. Oh, my God, I accidentally clicked off. A whole new generation... Aaron Burnett said on CNN tonight, wait a second, if you, if, if even if Israel, you know, ends up defeating Hamas, us through all the suffering you're just creating a whole new generation of people who are going to hate israel so you don't kill the idea of hamas yes of course you don't kill the idea of hamas there's always going to be hatred in the world there's always going to be terrorism in the world what you kill is the organization of hamas unorganized hatred cannot perpetrate a genocide and can't kill people this in, in this room outside this room there's people with prejudices without prejudices bigotries it's organized bigotry, like the Ku Klux Klan. It's organized discrimination, like Jim Crow in the United States. It's organized abominations like slavery. It's organized genocide like the Nazis. The issue is not whether there will be Islamists who hate Jews. That will always exist. 
The issue is whether they can organize militarily to destroy and kill innocent people. And that's what Israel is destroying. If we are able to destroy the idea of militarism, that you cannot achieve your objectives militarily against the Jewish nation because we will fight back and destroy you, then you'll have peace in the Middle East because even those people who don't want Israel there will have to come to an accommodation. That's... Yeah, that makes perfect sense. James Graves, 33 cent, $2 on Rumble. How dare you goy speak about Jewish issues, you anti-Semites. No one is innocent except God's chosen few. WTF? Oy vey. That's basically what he's saying. What the essence of peace is. People, st everyone stand by Israel. There's going to be mistakes made in war. This is all Hamas's fault. Hamas, Hamas, Hamas. Had they not beheaded babies, burned people alive, stabbed them to death, and tried to annihilate the Jewish people. For 18 years now, let alone their predecessors, Islamic Jihad, ISIS, this goes back hundreds of years, and there would never have been a war. God bless you all. Yes, God bless. Is there another Shmuley? No, I think... Uh... Yes, here he is watching the solar eclipse. You know, I've seen the solar eclipse been ever like this. I've never seen complete totality. This is about to disappear. I just said the blessing, blessed be your Lord, our God, Osama oh, Master Bracious, who creates the great works of creation. And it's this is this is a stunning celestial phenomenon that is awe-inspiring. Now, if I do this, it looks like the whole sun is there, right? Oh my God! But here, through the glasses, it's it's almost oh my gosh, it's it's nearly gone. About, we're about to achieve totality right now. The, the earth, the sun, and the moon are going to be completely aligned, and the earth is going to block out the sun. No, the moon's in line. Sorry about that. Yeah, okay, let me take that back. <laughs> the moon is going to block out the sun. Amazing. Oh my gosh, these are the last minutes. What time is it? It's supposed to be three. <laughs> oh my god it's, we're gonna have four yeah, minutes that's of the moan you idiot about three and a half minutes of totality this is an astonishing sight i have to admit right by lake champlain watching this oh my god it is getting like night look at it look how dark it's getting oh it's freezing debbie are you impressed having you said you saw this in australia when you were a kid are you telling the truth or are you just making it up? Go ahead. Rick Harrison, 69, sent $1 on Rumble. Look, Goy, this is all Hamas' fault. <laughs> when we stole their houses and killed swaths of people indiscriminately, they should have let us carry on without repurposing. Right. How we dare they be upset? Goy. How dare they be upset? And this whole idea that, I mean, what, is this going to increase pro-Israel feeling in Gaza? Killing, what, 40,000, however many thousand it is now? A Smaster 33 sent $1 on Rumble. Sent you Larry's take on the eclipse on Telegram. It's only 37 seconds, but it's a massive truth bomb. All right, I'll play that, and then you sent the other. Let me see. Man, it's... Fucking, everyone was talking about the sun and shit, and like, oh, bro, the eclipse. My, man, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> They're asking me about it. My mom was asking me. She's like, oh, well, like, are you going out to look at the eclipse? Fuck no, I'm not going out to look at the eclipse. What the fuck? What do I fucking care, man? Oh, the sun is covered up with, like, some gay object in space? I, I couldn't possibly care any less. Like, I can't believe people would pay attention to this shit. Like, oh, bro, it's not going to happen again forever. It's like, you know what else isn't going to happen again forever? The time that you're wasting looking at the fucking sun. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't... <laughs> Plus, I wasn't even in, like, the total totality zone or whatever either. So, it's like, whatever. It was only partial. And it's like, oh, well, I don't care. So. Who cares?
this is what you want to watch on Friday. Well, we'll have to put it up on a vote. You see, every problem is just a puzzle yet to be solved. Go ahead. James Graves 33 sent $2 oh, wait a on Rumble. Minute. All hail the third K. K3, how dare you go judge our decisions ordained by Almighty God? That's basically smoothly. Totality is like a religious experience. Yeah, if it had been, if I'd have been in totality, I would have cared about it, but I wasn't. So it's like, oh, whatever. Think of mathematics as the art of possibility. It's the canvas upon which we paint miracles. What is he doing, uh, Professor? See now. To doubt the power of mathematics is to doubt the very fabric of reality. I believe in mathematics. Join me, class! Are you not fucking entertained? Should we, like, call someone? Wait a minute. Impossible. It can't be. How could I have been so blind? Ignacio, get me the president on the phone. Now. Ladies and gentlemen, what if I told you that the answer to a question that has eluded humanity for centuries has been hiding in plain sight, unlocked by a little bit of imagination and a little bit of crystal meth? <laughs> You're the most brilliant mind I've ever worked with, but I don't what is <laughs> see what you're seeing. That's because you don't see math, you smoke it. The mathematician? Get off the fucking road! This meth could change humanity! <laughs> How much more meth are you going to smoke? As much as the world needs. Professor, the president is here to see you. <laughs> Why does Trump have a sombrero on? <laughs> as much as it takes. What do you say? As much as the world needs? Methopotamia. Mathematics. I haven't heard of this. It's kind of an underground film, I guess. <laughs> Holy shit. Let me see. Oh, yeah, I did want to play this. This is just a really short clip, but the Diddy shit, I guess this is most of the news I've seen about it the last few days. I don't think it's only celebrities going to be shook. He had politicians in there. He had princes in there. He also had a couple of preachers in there. You personally, you think they got tapes? Well, my personal opinion that if Lil Rob could be trusted and his statements are true, they got him. They got tapes of stuff. Now, if Diddy had tapes, the feds have them. That's a lot of blackmail. I don't think it's only celebrities going to be shook. He had politicians in there. Politicians in there? What in the world? The guy we watched last week. Oh, yeah. How much of this do we have? Okay, let me play this first. I want the baby because I don't want to kill the baby. I don't want to kill anybody. I don't want... A Smaster 33 sent $1 on Rumble. I, heart, crystal meth. <laughs> Thank you, Ass Master. <laughs> Big support today on the show. Thank you again for Paul coming on earlier. Michael's supposed to be on tomorrow. Another cog brother. 
He kind of helped start the fire in the first place. Fresh and Fit podcast host Fresh gets exposed after a call gets leaked where he's asking his girl for an abortion. I mean, is that really that much of a surprise, though? I know this has been everywhere since I've been gone, but... I'm kidding. You're not. They just give you a pill and it's over. No. No. I'm pregnant. No, but that's what I'm saying. The pill, they just give it to you from a doctor and then you're good. I am pregnant. I can't pretend like nothing happened. I can't. In my religion, we don't kill. You're not killing. Okay. I want to keep the baby. Okay. Well, like I said, I just don't want any kids. No. Okay, so what you gonna do? And what you gonna do to me? Nothing. Well, why did I do anything to you? Nothing. Well, why did I do anything to you? No, I know. So, like, how are you gonna deal with this? By by saying I don't want a baby. That's all. I mean. I'll ask, Enormous. I was thinking about that already. To the doctor. So you want an abortion? I mean, yeah. Why do you want a kid now? And why do you make me pregnant now? <laughs> Here's one dollar. So, oh, well, they're not. You have to send three. But on Rumble, you can do that. Oh, yeah, you're. I guess you're right, Revelation. Okay. It's a scandal because he roasts women for having abortions, but for him, it's his first response. She's a scammer, but he supposedly tells guys not to fall for hoes, but bought her a $30,000 bracelet. $30,000? I'm like, there's no way that that's true, but then I said, oh, wow, like, so just think about it. It's meant to be. God Sorry? wants to, God wants you to have the baby. Definitely not. It is. God wants you to have a baby. Seven years never happened, and then you are relate in a relate. You are fucking me for a month, and I'm pregnant. What does that mean? Well, like it, it now, I just think about it. If like if you force me to kill the baby, then you are a sin. Well, we already sinned by having sex. But it's too late now, you know? But honestly... Now, this is the response, which I haven't seen. I saved all this for the show. It was God's plan. I think it was her. A lot of you motherfuckers are jellyfish. Wait, what? No fucking spine. And that's the reason why a lot of you motherfuckers are fat, triple chin, neck bearded, pieces of shit, fucking dorks with no money, and no one fucking respects you because you motherfuckers don't stand for nothing. If I stand with fresh, I die with fresh. It is what it is, okay? It is what it is, you motherfuckers. Oh, shit, it's getting shaky. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. I got 20 fucking real estate properties so I can tell motherfuckers. <laughs> a smaster 33 cent $1 on Rumble. What a faggot pussy Velcro head. I was making 30k a year when I had my first kid. Hess a coward Jew. Yeah, I don't support uh, aborting children, so... Yeah, but I mean, I'm just not surprised that he... said that, I guess. Fresh and Fit deleted Myron's 15-minute rage from the stream, but thank God for Clipper. Yeah, this is only three minutes. Is it a full 15-minute... I'd kind of like to see the whole thing. And what's he talking about real estate properties? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, let me see. I wonder if I can find the... This is a longer clip, but uh... 
Then he says he's going to have her deported in one of these clips, too. James Graves 33 sent $5 on Rumble. You've made more than the goal, Ralph, and it's still true. making bank. So whenever the haters talk shit, just look where you are now. Fuck the haters. It's great seeing where you are now. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I agree with fuck the haters. Yeah, I can't understand. Fuck you! My <laughs> Let me see if this... This is a longer clip, though. Oh, Destiny posted the live stream. Uh, they talked to her on. If you want more context, go watch that. Yeah, you her. Stupid. Yo, that nigga went in. I'm, but granted, he answered real questions. Yeah. Why this? Why that? Why you doing this? And it's apparent what she, the real motive is, but that's all I'll say. Yeah, shout out yeah. to Destiny, man. Shout out to Destiny, man. Uh, and, and, you know what's funny? Yeah. He's not, he's not even my friend. Imagine that. Well, we had his back, and he got ours, man. I mean, and bro, integrity integrity speaks volumes, guys. And here's the thing, too. Ask a lot of these YouTubers that have worked with us in the past. What do they always fucking say? Yo, Fresh Fit are cool guys. Mm. They ain't going to backstab you. They, 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 they're they loyal. Like, that's just what we how we move. Like, And it's crazy to me how I, I get criticized. We get criticized for, oh, well, you guys are loyal to people on your friends, et cetera. Look at it paying it back, back in di dividends. Right? Yeah. Like Destiny don't agree with us. He didn't have to do that, but he fucking shut on her anyway. It was fucking fantastic. It was awesome. <laughs> so fucking, it was fantastic. Go to his channel, man. But yeah, go check it out, man. But like the point I'm yeah. trying to make is, is that people respect that trait. For all you idiots out there that sit there and say, "Man, you're loyal to a fault, bro." It always comes back around positively when you do good to people, man. Yeah. When you do good to people, then you're not a piece of shit, right? And you're and you don't sit there and you backbite them and attack them when they're down and everything else like that, or trying to get a gotcha moment or any of this other crap. They fucking Go ahead. A Smaster 33 sent $5 on Rumble. Ralph's theme song, Flex Biceps. What is this? <laughs> Hi, Hira. How you doing? <laughs> Long time no see. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Hira. How you doing? I know that you're hitting on me. The more that you hit on me, the more that I'll do. I know you're hitting on me, you know I'm doing my thing I'm getting money like a paper yeah. Hustling so hard, let them see me screaming all oh my god When oh. hitters see me saying that's not right When I go to the club, let them show me love And hitters wanna fight me, that's why? Cause they see me, I'm so fly, no why? lie Do your own shit, stop hitting on me When you see me with my own chick, yeah You know what I mean? Hi hitter, how you doing? I know that you're hitting on me the more that you hit on me, the more that I'll do my thing I hear a, how you doing? I know that you hit on me The more that you hit Also, we might have to pull this up on screen This looks like a banger What are we listening to? I don't even know But look at the vibe Yeah, you know what I mean? I hear a, how you doing? I know that you're hitting on me The more that you hit on me Girl, don't hit on me when you see me with other chicks on the street Cause she just only a friend She's saying hi to you, boy bang Cause I don't wanna go home, see you said alone Let her on, you act like you don't know what's going on If you wanna show me love back, you better show me respect I don't care if you hit on me, to my haters out there The more you hit on me, the more I keep doing my thing Hi hater, I need you hater Hi hater, how you doing? I know that you hit Hey, 
God, I'm about to die. I love my haters when they talk about me. And I'm here to shine. I will take you to the moon from here to Sudan. Yeah, I gotta eat, I gotta talk. Why you hit on me? Information in reality, you dead, bro. I'm a king of VIC. Everybody know me. You got a little camera on your room. And you wanna kiss me. Ha ha, ha ha. It's funny, man. Look up my name. Your bang, your boy bangs. On the line, on the air, like a bird. I come from name. Back home here in Australia, all around the world keep hitting, but we still we got our voice out there. We're coming tomorrow, and you're gonna see me on TV. You're gonna see me on TV. Well, hopefully, you won't see me on TV, or probably for something <laughs> that I wouldn't want to be on TV for, but. <laughs> respect you for that shit especially in this in this realm in youtube where everyone's a fucking snake bro people are well, real snakes true. out here yeah like praying on your fucking downfall every day there's people praying on us like going down people laugh when we got demonetized people laugh when we get uh when anything bad happens to us etc but we're still fucking here and isn't it funny people are like oh we uh, we call fresh and fit for comment no, you didn't call us you just made a video who said that uh, i'm not gonna really? say who. i'm not gonna say who but they made a video and it's like all right, cool. I see you, bro. I see how it is. I see how it is. I'm going to stay quiet, but I won't forget. Actually, hashtag still over there. Okay. There you go. Damn, bro. <laughs> That's crazy, It's crazy, bro. man. People come out the woodwork, man, and it's wild because it's it's funny. It's like if you make a hit piece on Fresh and Fit, you're going to get like a bunch of views because these people can't garner views with, without it, bro. They really can't garner views without it. It's crazy. Hello? Um, WRDDA goes, Fresh, What's did up, you bro? see Bar Bernard uh, Riley? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Walter, that man in front of you is a true friend. The man is defending you left and right after tonight's shows. I want to take the man and go buy him an ice cream and get him a nice balloon. Oh, That's from Punisher. I appreciate that, bro. I mean, you know, it really bothers me when people talk shit about my right friends, bro. Like, y'all don't get it. Like, it really does fucking piss me off. When the t when the Andrew Tate allegations came out, fucking piss me off. A Smaster 33 sent $5 on Rumble. <laughs> this one tugs on the heartstrings. Is this another one from that same group? Man, I want to go and swim right there. Man, let's look too deep, brother. Are you sure it's too deep? Yeah, it's too deep, but I haven't been that far. I want to go. Man, yeah, don't go, brother. You sure? Well, it's up to you, man. Just, just watch me, watch me up. All right. Oh no, this ain't gonna work. <laughs> nah, no, I think I might know how this turns out. I thought they were both not going to be able to swim. It's like Tupac changes. A smile today, forget about tomorrow, it's just another day. We always go through the worst to get the best. <laughs> what? I send this out to all of my like homies in the jail. Struggling in the ghetto, looking for better life. Smile today, smile for me now. You got nothing to worry about. 
life is too short, yo We still survive through the hard life Bow down, pray to God, I hope he's listening to you It's not today, forget tomorrow, it's just another day Keep your head up and things just will be okay Money rule the world and everybody know that But what can I say to my homies at the park They're still drinking alcohol cause no job I move out of the ghetto to find a better place But now all I do is put a smile on your face If you walk away today, I wish you all the best A smile for me thing, big stop being straight and tell my homies at the ghetto bank, say hey It's not for me now You got nothing to worry about Drowning is the easiest way to die? I always thought it sucked I know you go through the hard life But everything will be alright It's not for me now You got nothing to worry about I know you go through the hard Seems life Seems like it'll be painful But everything will be alright I know you coming home, open door and feel alone Where you girl, she just gone two hours ago She might have a side man, but you never know And when she's back, she's trying to say I love you baby more In life I never trust, that's why I let it go That's why you see me smile when I'm talking to you more I still pray to my homies in the jail, hey I hope one day they will come out in a bright day I told my homies, the life that I'm living is not easy to begin with I wonder if I die, who will ever cry? I hope the all smile while the better with me Cause they know I got another life to live It's not for me now You got nothing to worry about I know you go through the hard life But everything will be alright It's not for me now You got nothing to worry about I know you go through the hard life but everything will be alright Some people quitting life is trusting every night But that will never help the kid out of deadness Before we find peace, let's hope the world will end in Middle East If you Muslim then I'm happy for you Let's live through the life, smile for me now The whole shit change, we never hang again Cause everybody doing their own thing And that makes it hard for you to smile with a friend You girl call, you trying to pick that Your friend call, you just ignore that He might need your help Forget about the past and think about the future You never know, maybe one day he will come and get you It's not for me now You got nothing to worry about How do you I even know, know about you this through the hard life But everything will be alright It's not for me now You got nothing to worry about I know you go through the hard life But everything will be alright me off um oh, when people talk shit about fresh gets me fucking mad when people talk shit about sneeko etc if you're my friend you're my friend for I'm fresh is this another one a smaster 33 cent five dollars on rumble <laughs> for fresh uh yeah you can uh you can post it uh, oh you exporting the full paul interview yeah send me the link and i'll post it tonight I, i'm so far behind on clubs Let me see here. Let me pull this up. Is this another one? How have I never heard of these people? Yeah, send me the send me the link and I, I can post it, yeah. Yeah, I know what you're saying, Anton. Oh, this one's for fresh. She never take care of her and that's sadly. Keisha, she got herself a baby. She never take care of her and that's sadly. Keisha, she got herself a baby. This girl, her name is Keisha. She got a baby, but she never seen her. She's out there with her friend, getting drunk every weekend. 
man She broke up with her man I guess she can't even spell his name She never took a chance just to go and see her baby The life that she live in this world is so crazy She wanna have sex with every man that she see She doesn't even know how love supposed to be She never get a job She just home eating government money That sucks now the child supports keep coming home Knock on the door they wanna know who's the baby mama but they don't know Nakisha over there getting drunk every day She goes in the club end up coming home with different men She lives in a house <laughs> that she never pay rent She got the baby money Keisha's got herself a, br a baby it's like Brenda's got a baby Coming really. every four night in the bank Now she's single mom She never realized what she's doing is wrong She never got time for her just to come home I guess her daughter crying saying when my mommy gone She been in the trouble before now she have to go to court For being drinking in public and fighting people on the road She's only 18 that's what she free to do things She never fix her life She forgot that she got a baby on other side She found another man by sexing her every night She thought they would be together for life They been out for two weeks now her man is gone Cause she never do anything but just sitting home They sleep in the bed never clean or wash dishes still late And that is so bad Now let's go back to the kid when she grow Will she know who her mom is? Nah man I don't think so What can we do to make this life better as we used to Too many 16 years old getting pregnant in this world And that's what Keisha doing now She drink more than she eat She just like the other girls gonna dream to live She's supposed to take a book and read But she's too lazy when it come to this I guess she never get a man in her life and that's it She's always on her phone trying to find someone to talk to But when it comes to checking her kids she never do She's always on the bed from 7 to 2 This is I crazy guess she's trying to copy what other girls do All her friends they got a baby with no daddy too They got same problem as Keisha did She used to go to school by sneaking out of class every week Her mom calling her to come home for her kid But her phone on Vavred every week Shit Keisha she got herself a baby God. A Smaster 33 sent $1 on Rumble. <laughs> Bangs elevating the race. KRS1, take notes you big nose fuck. The beats aren't that bad. Yes, my Okay, are we gonna get to see this? We just had their whole catalog. Bangs elevating the race. How long have they been around? Some of those videos are pretty spaced, uh, spaced out. I'm with you, regardless of whether it's convenient or not. You fucking pussies in the chat that say, you're married, you're loyal to a fault. Shut the fuck up. That does not exist in my fucking vocabulary, loyal to a fault. Is this another banger? A Smaster 33 sent $5 on Rumble. Palette cleanser. <laughs> Okay, I got that. I went across to Switzerland where all the yodelers be to try to learn to yodel with my yodel OD. I climbed a big high mountain on a clear and sunny day and met a yodeling gallop in a little Swiss chalet. She taught me to yodel, yodel OD, yodel OD, yodel OD. She taught me to yodel, yodel a dee, 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 it's easy when you're singing to go yo de lo de First you take a deep breath and it's K-O, one, two, three Then you'll hear yodel, if you listen close to me Yeah, this is how to yodel, 
On the kill stream, that might be the only yodel we've ever had sent in. I don't know. I'm trying. I think it might be because you're loyal regardless. The whole definition of loyal is being loyal and sticking by somebody, whether it's convenient or not, to fucking be there. I don't believe in this term loyal to a fault. Okay, and if the fault is death, then guess what? I die with a fucking spine. A lot of you motherfuckers are jellyfish. No fucking spine. And that's the reason why a lot of you motherfuckers are fat, triple chin, neck bearded, pieces of shit, fucking dorks with no money, and no one fucking respects you because you motherfuckers don't stand for nothing. If I stand with fresh, I die with fresh. It is what it is, okay? It is what it is, you motherfuckers. Oh, shit, it's getting shaky. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. I got 20... Fucking real estate properties, so I can tell motherfuckers, fuck you. My net worth is over six fucking million. And I get money residually. I don't fucking need to do this shit, and I don't need to fucking sell my soul. I stand with my fucking friends. Period. All right. Some of you motherfuckers need to get a fucking spawn, you jellyfish SpongeBob in the fucking pineapple house. Pieces of shit. It pisses me off how soft all you motherfuckers are, bro. It's ridiculous. You motherfuckers haven't stepped in the gym in three weeks trying to tell me how to fucking be loyal to my fucking friends. I'm not going anywhere. All right? I'm tired of you motherfuckers. Leave Fresh. Leave Fresh. He's only dead. He's only done. Well, fuck you. All right? I don't need to make a fucking cent off this fucking podcast. I'm fine. My real estate will take care of me because I knew that if I want to say what the fuck I want to say and not sell my soul, I need to go ahead and build, build residual income coming in every fucking month so I can sit here and tell you fucking haters, fuck you. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to say what the fuck I want to say and I don't give a fuck what anybody got to say. Sounds like kind of promo. Yeah, this is a promo. <laughs> I cannot be bought. I have my soul. I have my spine. I have my integrity. I got my 10 toes and my two feet and I fucking stand where the fuck I'm going to stand and if I die there, I'll die there with a smile on my face because I can look in the fucking mirror and be happy with the man that I see. You pussy motherfuckers. You fucking losers that sit there and say, Oh, it's getting rocky, Myron. You should leave. Why do you stay by Sneeko? Do you stay by the Tate? Do you still think they're having drunk us? First is the idiot. Why are you still there? Chris drinks too much. Hey, 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 shut the fuck up. That's why no one respects you motherfuckers. Because you don't stand for anything. If there's anything you guys can learn from this fucking podcast, learn this. We've been through hell together. We had people come at us. We've had death threats at us. People are fucking laughing every time we fucking go through some bullshit. People make allegations on us. People have tried to absolutely fucking destroy us. And you know who was around me the whole fucking time? These fucking guys. So you motherfuckers can say whatever the fuck you want to say. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to stand by the guys that stand by me. Because you fucking pieces of shit aren't fucking there when I'm going through it. You pieces of shit aren't fucking there when I'm fucking figuring out what the fuck I'm going to do because we got demonetized. You motherfuckers weren't there when everyone and their fucking mom came at us. You motherfuckers weren't there when I got the false accusation against me. You motherfuckers weren't there when this bitch lied and said that I got her pregnant when I fucking did it. And then you dumbasses, three years later, believe some bitch that makes the same fucking allegations again. You fucking idiots. I'm not going anywhere. What the fuck? I'm fucking here. Also, those didn't pop through, so let me fix. For the chat, James Gartner said. Okay, let me fix these. Let me fix these. I don't know why the pastor's not working. Slide the family stone. I'll read those out. Periodically stops working. You know how it does. It's a family affair. It's a family affair. One child grows up to be.
Somebody that just loves to learn And another child grows up to be Somebody you just love to burn Mom loves the both of them You see it's in the blood Both kids are good the mom Blood's thicker than the mud It's a family affair It's a family affair get that man in a wrestling ring yeah set. for real i was thinking that he needs a, he needs to be somebody's manager newly wed a year ago but we're just still checking each other out hey nobody wants to blow nobody wants to be left out uh-huh you can't leave Cause your heart is there But you, you can't stay Cause you've been somewhere else You can't cry Cause you look broke down But you're crying anyway Cause you're all broke down It's a family affair It's a family affair It's a family affair All right, did it fix on the screen, by the way? I can't fucking tell. I can't fucking tell. Assmaster says, this nigga fucks men. James Graves 33 says, nah, but thanks for the entertaining songs, though. LOL, this shit is too funny, Ralph. Okay, now let me... Let me uh, fix this, maybe. Oh, fuck. All right, let me play this. There's a couple of these, actually. All right? These guys were with me in my darkest times. I'm not going to fucking leave them in their darkest times. Fuck you, motherfuckers. I got my real estate. I got my money. I'm fine. I'm not going anywhere. I can't be bought. That was real. That was real talk. From the heart. Um, w, w. Myron. Uh, you broke the glass. And maybe the TV. Okay, um, that was uh, from the heart. Any more chats here before we close out? <laughs> it's funny because people tell a story without the full story. Of course, they know no, this is this is like a longer clip. Where's the one where he says he might have her deported? A smaster thirty-three sent one dollars on Rumble. I disown my son James Graves. He has disgraced the 33 family name. He is now James Graves 22. Hess Adam 22 has problem now. <laughs> you know, I didn't even notice that it was 33 until until you mentioned it earlier that it was both. Uh, but I don't know how I didn't notice it, but this is a much shorter clip, but 
Where's the... I wish I had a longer version of this. Uh, see. What is this? Hold on. Now, Jin Chen, you are not credible. This could have been done behind closed doors. Y'all could have handled this like adults, but you wanted to run to the internet and illegally record him. You commit another Revan felony, Revan JJ by the way. sent one dollars on Rumble. I disown James Graves as well. Maury said I am not the father. Damn it. <laughs> Okay, and and you best believe, I'm calling immigration on you, hundred percent. You sh you shouldn't even be here. You're in the United States committing crimes, and you committed crimes back in China as well. And we have proof of that. You are a fucking sex worker. You shouldn't even be here. You fucked up. You played yourself. You wanted the clout. Now you're gonna get the clout. I'm gonna make you famous. A smaster thirty three sent one dollars on Rumble. Why can you be more like your brother Noseberg? You thought that this was a fucking game. And that's irrefutable proof of everything I got. And I got more too. I'm not showing it all. For obvious reasons. No, wait, there's more. James Graves 33 sent $1 on Rumble. In the words of Lil, don't start no shit, they won't do I no have shit. no idea. LOL, be a be a you it up. Why? At a Smaster 33, JJ, fuck you too. There are do guys. All I got to say with this situation is... I've got you in my sights. This girl fucked up, man. That's all I got to say. No, this because, is the longest uh, stream, she, I she shouldn't... Like I said, we didn't want to bring this stuff out, but it is what it is. So let's start with the beginning, okay? Let's just address the elephant in the room. Fresh is an idiot, okay? I had this conversation with him off air. I told him, you, you, th this girl is bad news. This is, you, you know, what the hell are you doing having sex with this girl, etc. Yeah, I've had some similar... Whatever. Let's just call a spade a spade. He made a big mistake. Big mistake rocking with this girl, hanging out with her, etc. right? But what I will do is I'm going to go outline their relationship for you guys, okay? I have dates here, etc., and we're going to walk through it real fast. So, number one, they were never in a serious relationship, okay? Though she might say, oh, I was in a serious relationship with him, and she goes on this podcast saying I loved him, etc. He was seeing other women. And you guys know that because if you saw the video clip, Right? She, in there, she says that he was talking to other women. So she knows that, right? So they met on November 21st at El Santo, okay? Which is a club here in Miami, right? Pretty much fresh trademark. Uh, they went on their first date November 26th. They had sex that night, okay? She left on November 28th for New York. As you guys know, this girl has an apartment in New York as well. She was going back and forth between here and there. Uh, and then they talked on WhatsApp on January 1st, 2024. So he saw her again, guys, right? So she left the 28th, and then he started talking on WhatsApp on the 1st. I mean, they were talking on Instagram. Yeah, I saw that. Was that you that said that earlier? Fresh gave her 30K bracelet only after dating for a few weeks. It wasn't even her birthday. The clips of them texting together are cringe. James Graves 33 sent $1 cringe. on Rumble. A smaster be gay as fuck. We know you like it in debut. Sorry to break your heart, bruh, but I don't float that way, Bia. Nah, Ass Master's cool. I like Ass Master. I wish everybody would just stop. Good Ralph evening, Galactic said. What's up, Galactic? Instagram before that, but as you guys know, we can't show those messages because first Instagram got wiped with mine. Then, on December 28th to January 10th, she was in Miami, right? They spent a few days together. About half that time, she wasn't with Fresh, right? Then, they didn't see each other again until March 9th, Right, in Barbados. They met in Barbados and hung out in Barbados for a few days. Right, they were there for approximately three days. Then, she was in Miami for the rest of that period. Right, so from March 9th to 24th, they spent time together here in Miami and also in Barbados. That's where she met his family, etc. Right, then, so what, we're talking about 20 days here that they spent, uh, even though they knew each other since November, she was in China for a period of time, New York, etc., come back and forth. So they've spent about, I'd say roughly 15 to 20 days together, right? Cumulatively. During the course of this time, there were a bunch of red flags that Fresh noticed that made him say, you know what, I don't know if I could take this girl seriously. Number one, he had mentioned to her that there was a guy in Las Vegas. As you guys know, we go to Las Vegas all the time to do, you know, Access Vegas, etc. We'll actually be there tomorrow, okay? Um, and when we were out there, a photographer 
had said, oh, I know her. And, for, and he didn't say anything bad. However, when Fresh mentioned to her that someone in Vegas knew her, she got really nervous and scared. And he was like, hmm, that's weird. Why would you get so nervous? Right? Number two, she has three phones. Okay? Go ahead. James Graves 33 sent $1 on Rumble. All the Worski trolls making up fake shit. That's cute JJ. Ralph, it's all in good fun. Yeah, I don't... I don't know. Three. He saw, I don't think there's any Worski trolls in there, bro. Towards the end of the relationship and what made him kind of say, I don't want to deal with this girl anymore, was he saw random conversations with four numbers unsaved on one of her phones. Okay? Uh... When they came back from Barbados, they were stopped by customs. He, she, they interviewed her for two hours, guys, okay, when she was being held at customs. You guys know I used to work uh, for Immigration and Customs Enforcement as an investigator for Homeland Security Investigations. And no, normally when they detain you at the airport like that, something is going on. And they detained her for two hours, and she showed pictures of her and Fresh together, etc. More than likely what I'm suspecting, I don't know this for a fact, but then for, for them to detain her for two hours... Remember, guys, she's a foreign national. She's Chinese. She's here on a visitor visa, which she's admitted on other podcasts, by the way, which is typically a B-1, B-2 visa. They probably think that she's here working illegally or maybe doing some kind of sex work, which we're going to get into that as well. Okay? We don't know for a fact, but for them to hold you at the border like that tells me something. Right? Then, after Fresh cut the relationship off with her, she finally admitted that she had sugar daddies in the past. She took off to New York right away. Right? Right? And she didn't, she, she, and, and we'll show an Instagram picture right now, actually, real fast, uh, yeah. of when she took off. So she goes, after Fresh told her, hey, I don't want to be with you anymore. I don't intend on marrying you. And, um, you know, I'm not going to get you an apartment because, mind you, this all started, guys, because she wanted an apartment. And Fresh said no, right? And she put, drops, so she leaves abruptly and she drops the Instagram story saying, bye, going to find a better life, right? As she's getting on a plane to go back to New York. And she's been in New York since, right? She left on or about, I want to say, March 26th, I think is the day that she left, March 26th. So they get back. So the timeline, again, November 21st, they meet, okay? No, uh, they hang out again, uh, December 28th to January 10th for a period of time. Then from March 9th to the 24th, he basically breaks up with her a day or two after they get back, uh, after um, they're back in Barbados here in Miami, says, hey, I don't want to get you the apartment. I don't, I don't want to marry you. I don't think this is going to work out like long term because she wanted a serious relationship. So she gets on a plane and leaves on the 26th, right? Mind you, well, actually, no, we're going to talk about that later on. <laughs> this thing is. talk about the pregnancy in that, in a whole other chapter. We got a couple chapters on this thing. But I just wanted to give you guys the relationship, okay? So that's how they met. That's how long they've hung out with each other and known each other. Though they've known each other since November, cumulatively speaking, okay, they only spent roughly between 15 to 20 days actually hanging out with each other and speaking to each other and during the course of them meeting and hanging out with each other fresh is vetting her he's testing her he's asking her questions etc and she failed the test right she failed the test these are a couple of the red flags that he noticed while he was hanging out with her in person that made him say i can't commit to this girl i can't take this girl seriously mind you he was doing his thing and he had other women as well which is something that she was also angry about during this whole situation so there we go now that we have an idea of the relationship let's get into the other elephant in the room, okay? We talked about the first elephant in the room with the relationship and Fresh being an idiot, which we, he is. Let's just be honest here. He made a big fucking mistake. And it is what it is. You know, guys make mistakes. No one is perfect. But this one was a big one. And we got to take accountability for that. He fucked up here, right? So as you guys know, she's been running around. She went on Abba and Preach's uh, pod, right? And I'm not surprised. You know, Abba and Preach have been making videos on us for years now at this point. They've made somewhere between 30 to 40 videos on us, uh, talking shit, trying to attack our character, etc. And other podcasts as well she's went on, you know, talking about this story, etc. She's essentially been doing a press run the past few days ever since she leaked this phone call and text messages, right? And I'm going to show you guys a clip. One of the things she's been doing is saying that she is not a sex worker, right? So let's go ahead and uh, play the two clips where she says this. Here's from one podcast, which I will not name. They're accusing me for being an escort and being on this kind of website. Just use the brand if I'm a Miss Asia and I'm a former bodybuilder. Why would oh, let me see. Somebody sent this in. Fine, let's go to the Chinese escort. Wait, hold on. 
what I put myself on the internet. On yeah, the it doesn't make sense. Called website. That is no, it doesn't make sense. We even. Because I'm about to get fresh on this one too. That's fine. Let's go to the Chinese escort because I'm about to get fresh on this one too. So, Fresh, you gave an extremely expensive long sleeve <laughs> bracelet, which are worth up to 30K, to a Chinese escort you just met. You claim that the escort's page was fake, but the pictures on her page were not fake, and those pictures were extremely promiscuous and exactly pictures an escort would take. But even if you're right, and she was not technically an escort, okay, she's still undeniably a hoe because of her pictures, and giving hoes $30,000 gifts you just met goes against everything Fresh Fit stands for. Now, Fresh, you claim that you didn't give her the gift. That's what you claim. Show me the proof. But the escort says that you did. Where okay, did, I have screenshots. Where did you say that? Instagram comment of hers before she deleted it. She replies, okay, so someone commented to her, right? They said after that big speech Wednesday on Fresh Fit about how Fresh, Walter, didn't actually pay for you to date him. Now you posted this. He constantly talking about Van Cleek jewelry, so we all know he bought you this stuff. That's hypocritically hilarious. And that was a picture of her with the Van Cleek bracelet. In response to that comment, mm -hmm. this is what your Chinese escort said. She said, our feelings for each other were genuine. Is there something wrong if your man loves you and buys you gifts? So Fresh, let me remind you, your defense was that she was speaking in general. That's your defense. But this is proof that she wasn't speaking in general. She responded to a comment specifically naming you. That's the literal opposite. She didn't name me, general. by the way. You got caught tricking. You got caught tricking. She didn't nah. name me at all. And it's very general. The, you, no, no, no. Hold on. Let, let Look me, at her okay. pit. Ho, wait, okay, hold so on, hold on. You're going to be dishonest. You're see, be dishonest, see, this, so this is where you're wrong. Look at, a, no, no, hold on, hold on. 30,000... You know, look, it was a few grand. What, I mean, these guys... I'll set in my mic cut there for a second. It was a few grand. What, I mean, these guys make a ton. 30000 even for the money they make, is fucking insane. Like, especially some escort. Myron pays women to be around him, but doesn't have sex with him because he's gay. I've heard people speculate. 30 k is... Galactic Gun Guard sent five dollars on Rumble. No quarters for whores. I hope yeah, you these know what? win. I kind of feel the same way. Even uh, one thing that I and I didn't. Okay, so he says, "Yeah, doesn't make sense. I don't believe it." Yeah, you're not. Now let's go ahead and play uh, our favorite <laughs> YouTubers here, because and and it's interesting because these guys were so quick to try to use this as content to make us look bad they didn't properly vet this girl but it's okay i'm gonna do it for them you know because since they want to bring this girl on and platform her etc but they don't know the real daisy chen they don't know jin chen but i know jin chen and i'm gonna make you guys very familiar with her as well we're all gonna know jin chen when this is done let's play their clip now that i would interview the woman in question at the heart of this whole thing she provided me a bunch of screenshots uh screen recordings and a bunch of different things. And I think it answered a lot of the questions that would have seemed to be unanswered before. Things like whether or not she's a sex worker. She isn't. What was the time? Okay. Yeah. Abba. You stupid. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to show it right now. So she, let's let's uh, go ahead and she said she's not a sex worker. She's not an escort. Okay. What's this? In this photo that you guys can see here, we can see Jin Chen with meeting up with a potential client. Okay. I'm not going to say where this was. But what I'm about to show you guys is all exclusive stuff that no one else has. Okay? But it's an anonymous source. Okay? So, this is a photo of her meeting up with a guy. And it gets better. We got video and audio. Run the clip. If you call me an escort, prove it. Prove it. Firstly, did she pay her? No. Cash only? No. We can transfer. Do you have cash? I prefer to pay you I cannot stay for two or three hours. 
can't stay, but I can only have sex for two and three hours. Like, who can do that? It's not just sex for two and three hours. You have to trust Where are you. they getting this footage from? This shit is like fucking... You will not be uncomfortable. You will not be painful. If you are, you may go. I will not force you to stay. You can pay me half an hour stay here for... One hour. Doesn't mean you're only gonna stay for one hour. Then I will stay here for one hour. Because for you, one hour is enough. You said two, three hours. I cannot stay for two or three hours. You can't stay for two or three. I can't. Honestly, the onus is on you to make this experience wonderful, so that I will want to see you again. Okay, so let's get started. Are you sure? Yeah. I've got you in my sights. I could end the podcast right there, but wait. There's more. Guys. There's more. Because I But wait! She, she's been running around saying that this she's This shit's getting so deep, I'm like <laughs> Also, we're not even far off the extendo goal. Twenty six away. We've we've cracked the goal this day seventeen days in a row. And like I said last show, like I don't know, eight to ten of those were we're full extendos as well. So mango and extendo. And today's mango is even a little bit higher uh, than it's normally been. And shout out to, to Paul uh, for that interview and myself. I, I think I did pretty good. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Tomorrow we're going to be talking to Mike Cog's other brother. Man, I, he's fucking great, too. I, I'm excited about that one. Escort, etc. No, I don't do this, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I'll let you guys decide what you think after oh, seeing yeah. that. Powerchat.live slash the Ralph Retort, Rumble Rants, Killstream.live slash tip, dollar sign, Sunset Squad. On <laughs> Cash App. Okay. But we're going to keep going. There's more. I could end it right there, but let's go. Yeah, if he would have done this, I agree. Uh, hold on, let me go back. I accidentally clicked off the stream. Um, Revelation says, if Myron did this instead of Spurgeon, it would be better, but the damage is discredits them when they preach. They know how to avoid baby traps and clingy hoes. Yeah, Galactic. I think you'll really enjoy it as a as a cog, uh, unenjoyer. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that too, Katie Cat. What made Paul's interview really great was that he was laughing at Cog, not even sounding mad. No, he didn't sound mad at all. It's the complete opposite of Cog. Like, he wasn't mad at all. I wasn't mad con conducting it. I mean, I've been mad before. <laughs> but, yeah, I thought that's what... I thought that's what made... Uh, I thought that made it more impactful. Yeah, he just sounded amused by, like, Cog being such a fucking weird freak. And he seemed genuine when he was just like, get some help, dude. Like, like you honestly need help. <laughs> so, yeah, I thought it was solid... As fuck. Let's keep going. So, obviously you guys can see here, that sounds like negotiating for something. I don't know what particularly, right? But I think we all know kind of what it may or may not be, right? So, she's also talked about how she's a good person and her character, etc. We got some more, guys. I agree too, so, Katie. I have here a Chinese police report. You guys are probably wondering, Myra, what the hell was this? Guys, this is a police report where she basically stole money from an individual. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She stole money from an individual. All right? And I had a friend of mine translate this for me. As you guys will know, I play Overwatch, right? And I have a buddy. I call him the China Man. And uh, he went ahead and kindly translated this police report for us. And we have it for y'all here. Okay? At about 1940 on the evening of August 27, 2018, the reporter came to the police station to report that he met with a Chinese woman at about 12 o'clock noon on August 27, 2018 at lane 288 of Daza Road and exchanged 6,000 yuan for A70 with this woman. So basically he wanted her to give him cash, right? At around uh, 4.45 on August 27, 2018, the woman hailed a car through Diddy Taxi and, asked, and then asked the reporter for 6,000 RMB. And then the reporter gave 6,000 RMB to the woman, and the two got in the car. So <laughs> Sigma says, okay, she's a ratchet whore and Fresh's girlfriend from a month ago. Yeah, I mean... It's, uh, it's not great. Um, I mean, look, these bitches will get you, though. Like, I mean, I don't know what to say. You know, um... 
it, it hurts them, yeah, because they always preach about, oh, they know how to not get trapped and, you know, all this shit. But, I mean, no, look, that's all bullshit. Like, uh, very few. <laughs> I mean, I, I would say most men, they'll get you. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, yeah, it hurts them because they act so, you know, high and mighty about being able to stop this sort of thing. But, like... I mean, women are fucking devious. I don't know what to say. And when women really want to, like, get at you and they know some shit about you and, like, they're they're quick to turn, like, just evil. Um, And they, to me, they have that in them more than men, honestly. And... You know they're more they're more ruthless uh, about personal shit. Honestly, Nady Bake says, "I was living in Shanghai. <laughs> I was living in Shanghai. I was in that neighborhood a lot." <laughs> Tree of Logic is taking her under her wing. Her wig, yeah. Let a hoe be a hoe. I was in Shanghai then. I was in that neighborhood a lot. I'll play a little bit of it. Look at a modern day man. Ain't that the motherfucking truth? Yeah. And these old fickle minded ass niggas wonder why I hope you them one day and another goofy motherfucker the next. I think it's time you kick some more of that shit, dude. Yeah. It seems to be a lot of motherfuckers blind to the fact. That a hoe is gonna be just that And this type of ignorance is the very Reason why so many niggas in the goddamn cemetery Intelligence is on call You don't treat a hoe like a queen Who behaves like a dog Are you the type who won't put a hoe in front of a trigger Then use the hoe ass nigga Goddamn hound on Rumble. That's cause bitches be bitches Pound for pound you knew the hoe when she was fucking the whole town She fucked you and gave your buddies a blow But your <laughs> trick ass fell in love with the hoe Tried to change her, make her be an angel You keep putting your damn life in danger Fun niggas about that slutty ass trifling crow You gotta let a hoe be a hoe Here's something that I like to know What? How you take that hoe everywhere you go? You walk around the club with the hoe in front Trying to keep up with that nasty ass cunt You say you're captain but your ship keeps sinking As soon as you turn your back, the hoe is blanking I'm just Winking saying, man at another nigga. Of but course, you gotta lock knew. down for your figure I mean, Hoe is your jury every goddamn like, day But nigga, you just got the, the advice they give are, are, are like, you know, takes I agree with, but like, man, a Bitches can get you, and then they're fucking ruthless and will use every fucking tool at their disposal to to fuck you up. And then there's so many simps out there. There's so many simps out there that they always have, like, a ready-made built-in brigade because... Um, not just the internet, but the world in general uh, are full of fucking simps. So, I'm just being real. Like, Galactic says, if you're hanging out with whores, whore things happen. Yeah, I mean. So, I don't know. I remember H3H3 stomping them. You know, I never saw that. We pulled that up, but I don't think we went through it. So I never saw it. But, yeah. Did she have the baby? No, I think it's only like three or four weeks. I don't don't know how pregnant she is now. She may not even be pregnant. Yeah, she might not. Like, I don't even know. Yeah, that's what I thought about a month. But I don't know. I'm just saying bitches will get you like so
Be a Rafa pimp. James Graves, 33 well, cent, mean, $1 look, dollars on Rumble. I've gotten caught up, Life dude. lesson, don't be a simp. You know, be a Rafa pimp. I've gotten caught up. I've gotten to the point where it's like... Um... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Trust no bitch is, is really the mentality, uh, and you never should. But, you know, I, like, started – that's my phrase, but even I've trusted plenty. And so it's like, well, yeah, that's the that's the advice. That's the correct advice. But, I mean, if you really trust no bitch, don't be around a bitch, period. Like, so – Pussy's pretty good, so I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, it's literally trust no bitch. Uh, especially some escort like this. But but never trust a bitch. Like it's you know, it's a hard lesson and sometimes you have to learn it over and over and over and over and over again. But one theory is that she isn't pregnant, but wanted him to pay her off to get an abortion. Yeah, I've I've sp I've thought about that myself. Not doing that, but that she's doing that. I wouldn't want an abortion on my conscience. Um, so that's personally why I would never like try to force a chick to get one or say get one, but. Um, you know, that's just me. And that she needed the, to get money from China Construction Bank, the name of the bank, and asked to stop at the China Construction Bank on Yongjia Road, Zui District, Shanghai. But the woman did not return 10 minutes after getting out the car, and the reporter sent a message to the woman, but she replied she didn't want to meet the reporter. The reporter felt that he had been defrauded, so he reported the case. So this woman takes this guy's money and runs off with it, right? One of the people that she, uh, one of her clients, right? So what does that say about her character? And you guys might be wondering, well, Myron, you got proof? Oh, I do got proof, actually. I got video. Here she is taking the dude's money and doing what she's about to do with it. Hey, man. Go ahead. <laughs> James Graves, 33 cent, $1 on Rumble. Stop being a fag VJJ, just cause you got some sand in your damn beta puss. Bitch boy. I don't even know what all this is, but, you know, I do like Raven. I, I, I don't know what the deal is there. Um, but, yeah, I'm not sure why chat has, has devolved. <laughs> <laughs> Nady says 6,000 RMB is an expensive hooker for Shanghai dude got played I mean yeah, I could end it there I could end it there can I but guess what I've got you in my sights there's more let's keep going the show goes on the show goes on oh wow she got a ton of plastic surgery yeah we going all the way today, baby. We going all the way, cause guess what? I'm fucking Leonardo DiCaprio in this bitch. The show goes I'm not leaving. I'm not this leaving. This is my home. They're gonna need a fucking wrecking ball to take me out of here. Let's fucking go. All right. So here we have her ID, right? Here she is. We obviously blurted out personal information so that we wouldn't dox her, but it's to show you guys that we know what we're talking about here. We actually have her. Jin Chen, that's your real name, by the way, Jin Chen. It's not Daisy. You run around calling yourself Daisy Chen, but you're really Jin Chen, okay? And we found out that you got fired from your job, okay? Here's where you used to work for, right, for a marketing company. You were a marketing manager, Daisy, or should I say Jin Chen? And we have the documents to show that you got fired and why you got fired. Again, this is all in Chinese, but guess what? My boy, We Rise, once again, a.k.a. China Man. The guy that I play Overwatch with and we rage together when we destroy these scrubs. <laughs> he went ahead and translated for you guys. Once again, shout out to the Chinaman. We got the official documents. Shout out to We Rise. He's on, he's on the line as well. 
Um, but here it is. Here's why she got fired, guys. Okay? Miss Chen Jing, you have been working at Shanghai Beaming Performance Agency Co. since July 2nd, 2018, and your current job is a business assistant. The three-year labor contract signed between you and the company on July 2nd, 2018 shall be terminated on August 3rd, 2018, and the employment relationship shall be terminated at the same time due to the following circumstances. Hmm. What else was going on in 2018 when she got fired from her job around this time? Oh, she was stealing money and negotiating for fun with people in, uh, in rooms, that which we showed video of earlier. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. By consensus of the parties, the worker is proved to be ineligible for employment during the probationary period. The worker seriously violates the rules and regulations of the unit. The employee is seriously derelict in his She's duties. She's an embezzler, too? Fraud for personal gain, well, is that really a shock? I mean, major damage to the company. You stupid. The employee establishes labor relations with other employers at the My same, boy from Discord. <laughs> same time, which has a serious impact on the completion of the work of the employer or refuses to make corrections upon the company's request. The personal certification materials provided by the employee to the company are false, or the company concludes or reviews the labor... Well, yeah, that's true, Stefan, I believe. I mean, I don't know that... I guess there hasn't been a... Uh, an A test or whatever, but... Stephanie says the only relevant relevant info is did he get her pregnant? Did he pressure her to get an abortion? The answer is yes and yes. Definitely yes to the second one. I mean, on the first, I would definitely want a DNA test with this chick, but I believe there are warrants for her in China. What the fuck? Well, he literally, Myron literally said he's going to get her deported. Didn't he? He used to be a border agent, I think. No, he hasn't denied getting her pregnant. Yeah, you're right. He hasn't contract contr contrary to his true intention by coercion or taking advantage of the danger of others the worker is investigated for criminal responsibility in accordance with law after the expiration of the medical treatment period the worker cannot engage in the original job or work arranged by the company the worker is not competent for the job and is still incompetent for the job after training or job adjustment there's a major change in the objective circumstances contract is concluded making it impossible to form the labor contract and the two parties cannot reach an agreement on the change after negotiation between the parties other circumstances provided for by laws and administrative regulations please go to the company's personal administration department before august 6 2018 to go through the resignation pr uh, procedures such as work handover return of goods and settlement of expenses and remuneration so what does this all mean guys right obviously they have to formally get rid of her and list out why but obviously we got fraud Using fake documents to get the job, um, exploiting the company's resources. We actually heard from the boss that fired her that she stole money from the company. So, not only was she engaged in nefarious activities that may or may not include sex work, she's stealing from well, uh, seems clients. Seems like did right. But... They filed police reports on her. She's getting fired from jobs because she's stealing from them too. Is this someone that you guys would believe? Obviously. She's been lying all over the place. So she's having inappropriate relationships at her place of work as well, which is another reason why they got rid of her. Interesting. Very, very interesting. But wait, there's more, guys. We're going to keep going. So as you guys know, right, she said, oh, I don't care about money. I just want to hold fresh accountable, whatever the hell. Let's run the clip from our guy, Destiny, real quick, where she went ahead and had a whole conversation with him. I don't care about the money. I like this lifestyle. By the United States law, he has to pay for the child support. How much money yeah, do you think a man bullshit. should make for it? Yeah. Bullshit. I told him a million dollars. Walter apologized for everything and came clean on everything. Wouldn't you want him to be involved in like your child's life? But why would you care about that? Shouldn't the priority be to like build a healthy life for your future child? Shouldn't that be the focus? Yeah, you, you don't care. You would think that, but you're not caring. The child right now is just a money ticket for you. You're not caring at all about the child. Why are you leaking all this publicly? What is the money? Publicly? What the money is the, is the child the support money? you think that you were talking about earlier? No, that you're very familiar. You? They... I, I, I don't want to talk to you. Pause. Um, Destiny's gonna take a break. He doesn't want to. She doesn't want to talk to him because he's exposing the truth. You say in one sentence, "I don't care about the money," then you're saying, "Oh yeah, a man's got to make a million dollars a year," right? Guys, this woman is a predator. She's obviously coming is coming and trying to use guys, etc. And here's the thing, right? Like I said before, I fresh fucked up, right? You made a mistake. You shouldn't have messed with this girl in the first place. This girl's a predator, all right? But this is what happens a lot of times when you're a guy 
you got some money, you got some status, etc. Girls will try to use you, right? Thank God he saw the red flags and cut it off when he did. Obviously, he didn't cut it off fast enough. <laughs> but this girl had intentions, right? Nefarious intentions. So I just want to ask you guys one thing, right? I didn't think she was very attractive either. So obviously we've went through who this woman is, Daisy Chen, a.k.a. her real name. I'm going to call her Jen for the rest of the show. Jin Chen. Okay, Jen, we know who you really are now. You're involved with escorting, potentially, right, allegedly. Well, we saw the video, right? We know that you stole money from somebody, ran away with it, basically robbed the guy. We know that you can't hold a job. You got fired from stealing money from that company as well, having inappropriate relations, etc. So let me ask y'all, someone like this that has this kind of character, do you think they're going to be honest? I mean, let, let's go through it real quick. So on March 24th, just so you guys know, right, when they got back, when they, uh, towards the end, she did a pregnancy test, guys. And first, I didn't want to mention this on the last show, but I'm going to mention it. Came back negative, okay? He saw it and his mom saw it. She did a pregnancy test on the 24th, came his back His mom negative, saw it. Right? Then a week later, she calls Fresh to say, oh, I'm pregnant, and she records the phone call, okay? Trying to get a response. Oh, what are you going to do to me, etc. You know what? We could play the clip right now. Let's play it real quick. Can we pull it up Let real she, fast? She <laughs> sweet this up for him. Side, guys? That's uh, literally what he was talking about doing, getting her deported. Uh, the phone call that she had with, with Fresh. Okay. Let's pull that up real quick, right? So she calls him and tries to get a response out of him. And Fresh obviously stays calm, etc. And the thing I also want you guys to know is that there was an agreement between him and her that they weren't going to have kids. He told her he didn't want kids, and she agreed to that, okay? And I have proof of that right here, right now. Roll the clip from, uh, from our idiots over there in Canada. So this is uh, when Abba went ahead and interviewed her, right? So first, this is him uh, asking her about uh, them being monogamous, if I'm not mistaken, right? All right. I don't wanna. Um, then I ask her, well, why do you not want to be intense about monogamy, but you are rushing to have a kid? I asked some tough that's questions. A, that's, a, that's a good question. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm... These morons can't even spell. <laughs> they were in such a rush to get this video out and try to make us look crazy that they couldn't even spell. That just goes to show how thirsty these clowns are for attention, bro. Dudes went and did a video immediately and shot it. It just shot it. Oh, God, we got to make content. Oh. That's how I'm going to preach anytime something happens. They talked to her. Uh, let me see. I don't know if that's over here or not. They talked to her. Let me see here. Uh... course i don't know if she's on this or not today on episode two of surviving from okay, happy him all this other stuff made it made that on public and on the conversation you saw it he calls me girlfriend right yeah, yeah. are you gonna take someone to see your entire family if she's not your girlfriend travel to your home country Oh, yeah, That's I have the Eliza, uh, that Jordana clip. I guess I'll play that before we finish, too. You can, like, yeah, I meant to go over meeting that your mother. That's fine. The first time I met his mother, I was like, okay, if you decide to do that, I don't mind. Why did you accept being in a non-monogamous relationship with Fresh? Yeah, uh, you know why? Because uh, we were in a long-distance relationship. Because whether I agree or not, he's going to do that. And we weren't stable because we just got to know each other. And, you know, so I was thinking... Just to be there and move there, for, like to be with him, maybe, maybe like it would be different, you know. But I don't want to, like, it comes to a conclusion in the beginning, like, oh, I'm gonna stop this guy from doing everything just because he met me. Because in the early stage of the relationship, I don't want to. Um. Then I ask her, well, why do you not want to be intense about monogamy, but you are rushing to have a kid? 
I asked some tough that's questions. A, that's, a, that's a good question. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not softballing a, no, it. No, no, I ain't mad at you. No, I, I, I'm, I'm she's just, like, I'm about like, I don't want to be too intense and like rush like monogamy. So I'm accepting this, but, but like, you're rushing for but you want to have a baby with them. Yeah, I, I understand. I understand because um, I just felt like. I mean, it's obvious why. I am not. I she wants a baby. Like I'm not that type of girl that I have to be with someone for years to get married. Or if if I like someone, I can have a kid with him for like a week. Like, it's what? not. It doesn't matter. It's the time. It doesn't matter. I was with someone for nine months. He really wanted to marry me. He's American, and I didn't want that. I ended that when I'm when I met Walter. I just felt like, wow, there's so much chemistry. What? I mean, I, hey, I agree. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to talk to me. Uh huh. No, I'm not the type of girl that can. I'm not the type of girl that's gonna have to that can that I have to wait for a long time before I marry someone. Huh? What type of girl is that? I mean, there's plenty of people who meet their husbands for the first time through arranged marriages or whatever. Yeah, man, weird. Uh, but I, I don't disagree. I'm just saying that's not that weird. abnormal in different parts weird. of the world. It still doesn't answer the question. It doesn't answer yeah, the question but... of why you want to rush this baby, but you don't want you like you don't want. Well, yeah, rush she's inconsistent. Point is, he's fucked. It, it Stephanie said, "Well, yeah, I mean, it doesn't." As a matter of fact, you made it weirder. So I'm still questioning. Like, it doesn't absolve the 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 the. the it doesn't absolve of, or, or, or take out of the equation the baby trapping thing situation because of that answer. That answer was so... But that's not baby trapping. That's just what she's saying is there's some people out here who are just very like feels oriented. Meaning, oh, I loved her. Well, how do you know? It's been a week. I just feel it. Like Some people are just like that. You know what I'm saying? They're very intuitive. Everything is just... Man, you know what we call them? What? Stupid. Carry on. That's not very smart. That's not. That, that, I agree. It's not smart. It's, it's it, like I, maybe, having maybe, kids maybe, with somebody you met a week ago. Maybe. What if he claimed he never wanted a baby? Would that be true? She didn't want. Okay. If he say so. If he really didn't want a well, baby. Well, I mean, I believe Reach that. Reach three dollars. I don't get this woman shit. I be fucking a be up the <laughs> ass hardcore. <laughs> Miss me with that straight shit. <laughs> Twenty away from the extendo. Oh my god, she looks Latina from plastic surgery. Yeah, some of these bitches, man. Yeah, I apologize, ass master. Selling wet market. Okay, I got that one. Anonymous sent ten dollars. Joker trailer just dropped. I'm still skeptical. Tbh. Should we see that? Oh wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go, boys. It's so high. I heard it was gonna be a musical. Or, like, large segments of it was going to be a musical. All right, fuck it. I mean, the first one's a classic, obviously, but... All right, fine. Now we're 10 away from the extendo. Can we hit extendo as well? What a day on the kill stream. Hey, Fleck, you got a joke for us today? We use music to make us whole. Of course, it does have Lady Gaga, so it makes sense to have some of that, I guess, but... To balance the fractures within ourselves. I'm nobody. I haven't done anything with my life like you have.
Tell us, what's changed, are there? Well, I'll tell you what's changed. I'm not alone anymore. That's what we should be talking about. Harley, yeah, I don't know. But I knew she was gonna be. Well, we'll see. James Graves 33 sent $10 on Rumble. Ralph, no matter what is said in chat or behind the scenes, we're good man. You've made a hell of a comeback. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Also, we hit the goal. Yes! The extendo goal. Double goal today. Galactus says, I wish it wasn't a musical and didn't have Lady Gaga in it. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of musicals for the most part. I hate almost every single one. Now, I don't know that it's going to be a straight, like... Musical, but I I read that large parts of it's gonna you know, it base it's basically a musical. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, enormous. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't care. I couldn't care less. Yeah, con. I don't pay attention to that person, but they're actually pretty cool. <laughs> well, maybe I should listen. I don't know. But yeah, I haven't uh I haven't actually been paying attention to that person. Adam Green wants to make peace between us, but I you know, I don't know. I like Adam Green. Uh, let's see. Well, maybe I should thank him. I don't know, I haven't heard him. <laughs> after so many times I ask him in person do not come in me he does that every fucking day like he can just pull out easy as that because he was always like oh I'm doing this with my girlfriend so really serious conversation like planning a future and ask me what I want to do Oh, I want to play in a future with you. Uh, why don't we get a house instead of renting another apartment? And that doesn't make sense. Wasting money, blah, blah, blah. And Musicals are shit. Yeah, I can't, you know, they're just not my thing. There was a Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers musical that I liked one time. What was that? I but it's from like 1933. Uh, um, what, what if you get pregnant? I think that's Isn't the that only musical. Bigger house. That's like the only musical that I like that I can think of off the top of my head. But it's like a screwball comedy too. So, you know, also it's Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. They're pretty good. So, is that baby trapping? They're going to end up together. Is that baby trapping? I'm asking. Is that baby trapping? You out here talking about let's get a house together because what if you get pregnant? It's that baby trapping, my butt. I'm just asking. Just asking the question. It's not. It's not. Guys. I understand what you're saying when you're saying it's not, but some of these answers, oh. I think they're irresponsible, but that doesn't mean baby yeah. trapping. No. That, that, exactly. Those are separate things. Exactly. Not pregnant, no baby. She tells that to Walter. He says, oh, you did a pregnancy test? He says, yeah, my period just came. And five days ahead, so you play a good game. Okay, what game? Uh, um, This game on bed. I'm confused. Don't worry, we all are. I don't think anybody understood what she meant. And she goes, just kidding. I meant you are safe, just letting you know. Next time you won't be so lucky. What's that saying? I'm not having a baby. I'm having your baby. Yeah. Next time you're not going to be so lucky. And what does he write? Oh, I wasn't worried. I didn't want to pull out anyway. <laughs> 
But that's good that you got your period. So he, oh, so you're being a dick. She's not too happy about it. I didn't reject you because I don't mind being pregnant with your baby. She's being direct. Yeah. She's telling him, and all he says is, no, I'm saying I like you a lot, and once you're happy, I'm happy. So can you understand why she's confused? He but he not he refusing to pull out, busting inside them sugar walls. And now all of a sudden he's been trapped. He don't want to be a dad. You have decided that you were not going to pull out of her vagina. So you are not going to pull out of fatherhood. <laughs> care of baby. You are not going to pull out of fatherhood. You're going to take care of the baby. He has no choice. He's going to pay. Jesus. If I say, bro, I'm going to punch you in the face. Yo. Okay, just get back to the interview. I miss. And plus, he didn't care at all. He was like. Put a point on the board for the whore. Yeah. He's, he was kind of like just admitted that if he he's going to make make me pregnant, he's just going to like raise a baby with me. And he, he 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 didn't like say that, but all the this this his action proves that doesn't mind isn't the same as saying he really wants to have a child. Why don't you get verbal confirmation if he really wanted a child with you? No, because uh I was pretty sure that he was so serious about me, but then, okay, okay, but at least at least he's not stupid that if he does this to me, I'm gonna get pregnant. I think it's just uh, misunderstood. Maybe he was just being in, in, irresponsible, but for me, he's serious. Yeah, yeah, because I've never met someone like that. Nobody would treat me like that. Like this is so evil. I've never met anyone like that. I'm not acting like a naive girl right here. Like I traveled a lot of places, but nothing like this. See, that didn't make much sense to me because in my head, I'm like, so you want to be serious with somebody and you want to have a child with them, but you're not getting them to verbally say they also really want to have a child with them. Shouldn't that be something y'all established properly? Mm. And how, how long have they been to, together? Four or five months. Amy busting inside her sugar walls every day, never pulling out. Can you show paperwork for pregnancy tests and ultrasound? A lot of people are saying that stuff is photoshopped or whatever, or it's just like, so I just wanted to at least see if she had actual real paperwork. Uh, yeah, I have no problem sharing that. I actually posted. The, uh, okay, so let me explain about the ultrasound. The doctor told me it's still early, four weeks. So he can, she can't well, see yeah. everything, but she can still see a little bit, like a small quarter of it. But it's she just like, ran out to get the ultrasound. Now. It's four weeks. How did you know Pug CEO was the man to bust inside your sugar walls? I have no idea. I just, I just feel like, I just feel like maybe everything happens. It, it was meant to be, you know, to meet him. Uh, even uh, out of uh, out of all the people in Miami, uh, every day I go out, I get so many. Um, how does it? um approach every day uh wherever the night we met at the party and there were other guys they were like another guy he's really really into me so fresh was there as well and i just don't know like somehow he just got me curious everybody like out of everybody like when they see me they see me interesting they would come talk to me or making some nonsense but this guy he was just like staring at me not saying anything like full of questioning on his face that just caused my curiosity because usually um you know i get a lot of approach so it's not interesting for me so i was like okay who's this guy and then okay finally he said hi to me he's like where are you from and i said guess if you're right um, I will drink. If you're wrong, then you drink. So what? he was like, okay, this is interesting. And then he DM'd me. And then we went out. And he kind of, he's romantic. He's good at planning dates. And he's kind of dominate. He <sighs> was just good at everything. You know? He was saying things to me that made, made me feel... International man of mystery. Yeah, he really seems like real, one. You know? He was genuine. And he made me feel special. Maybe no matter what other people were saying like what he did to other girls or well thirty thousand dollar bracelet will later, make a bitch feel special when I just started. That's true, you know what did you think hearing this what did i think about what about what you heard right now i'm not sure 
Because there's a whole narrative not, that this girl sure. was trying to baby trap him or she wasn't really into him. She's there for the money or whatever it is. But when I hear her speak, you even notice her face. You see how she smiles when she thinks about him mm-hmm. and all that stuff. Like, I was actually surprised by this part because everyone's asking the same question. You know what people yeah. asking? Yeah. Yo, why'd yeah, why, you get why, with why, Fresh? Yeah, yeah. yeah you've seen him, but you look at her, that's the face of somebody who's actually into a man. But she was impressed. So she was like, mm-hmm. Yeah. You got game. Yeah. So, so he got... Yeah. So, that's just one thing that I want to establish. Okay, why are you exposing him publicly? Why? why? Oh, because... wait, he went half on it? She paid the other 15K? I... Still, 15K is, all, I mean, yeah, that... it's better than 30, yeah, but... Oh, I hate him. I hate him for not being a man, stand up for his child, and not taking the responsibilities after. He can... He can he doesn't have to love me or he can break up with me. That's fine. For me, it's okay. It's, it's some guy I've seen for four months. I was, I was like going to get over with it, but I'm pregnant. This is serious for me. This is just a, a bit of a sidewalk, but Fresh and Fit fan accused Fresh of buying you a bracelet for 30 grand. Oh, is this On a she podcast, says that? he said he never paid a dime. Nobody has a receipt. Is this true? The Chinese escort, because I'm about to get Fresh on this one too. So fresh, you gave an this extremely expensive we saw earlier. bracelet, which are worth up to 30K, to a Chinese escort you would just met. Now, Fresh, you claim that you didn't give her the gift. That's what you claim. Show me the proof. But the escort says that you did. Look at her page in detail. What does she have under? Multiple gifts? From herself, by the way, or from her ex. Whatever she does for her money, bro, is up to her. So to put that on me, just because you want to say, oh, Fresh is a simp, wrong. So you didn't buy it. Fresh, so can you no, talk? you're just trying to say that he bought the bracelet. He didn't buy the mm-hmm. bracelet. And no, it's not true. He he paid he paid half, and I paid half. Like like I said, how much around thirty k? Uh, well, first I I still have the conversation. I told him, what's the issue if you tell everyone you bought me the bracelet? Like why can't you tell everyone? Why can't you just speak the truth? Like why are you like pretending it? Like hiding it? But then he was like, don't say it. He just tell me to shut up. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. It's a big deal to them. Yes. It's a big deal to the fans and it's a big deal to them because yes. it really makes you look like I see them. Yep. And I wouldn't give a shit. You give things to people, you give things to people that you appreciate. 15 grand? Wait a minute. <laughs> Some of you just met? But these guys always want to claim they don't pay for nothing, they don't oh. do none of this stuff. They, need they, don't, have. they don't use their money to get... But you realize they all do it. They all doing it. You, they're they're paying for random girls' apartments. They're all doing this kind of stuff. So why is he lying? Not because it's a big deal, but it's like Preach said, it's a big deal to the fans. And now you have to double down, triple down on the lie. And it's almost insulting because your fans are being like, yo, are you living up to your principle? And you're like, yes, I am. You guys oh, are lying and saying I'm not. When you just ask the girl, it's like, oh, no, he's lying about it. Check Telegram and Cash App. I'll add that to the tally. I'll just go ahead and play it. Go ahead. A doll wolf sent one dollars on Rumble. Thanks for helping me get through the workday. You're rooms. welcome, brother. God bless you. Thank you, and God bless you as well. So, okay, let me play this from Assmaster, and I'll add it to the tally. <laughs> I just saw the title of it. <laughs> I never heard it, but...
let's go back to this. We don't have much more. Oh, the only reason I brought let's this up is because Fresh can't be. That's why I, in the beginning, it's not good for the baby, actually. Um, that's why I'm just, I just want to tell the truth. Cause when I, when I first test positive and I was just kind of shocked because I just want to see where his head's at. And then I, I tried to like talk to him. I called him, I text him. She acts like nothing happened. Like not my business, like woman, not my business. Deal. Uh -huh. TC fan sent $5 Jade was going to do this to Mr. Medicare. <laughs> Unfortunately for her, Jim is shooting blank, so now she's stuck changing an alleged cancer patient's diaper. Oh, when plans go awry. <laughs> deal, with, deal with it. We're not together. Like, don't call me. Don't text me. Things like that. That's That was his behavior. I have a 37 minutes conversation between me and him. What if you think we don't keep the baby because we're not together anymore? Things happen. And I'm gonna take care of you. I'm gonna take you to the hospital. That would be fine. I would be okay. But he, the, he did completely the other, the other way around. That just, that just made me so sad. That just made me so sad. How can you, how can you, uh, you, you, you said you love me like literally two weeks ago and wanted to cling a f future with me, and now you. You're acting like this with me. Uh, when did you tell him you're pregnant? Uh, on the 30th. Yeah, because, yeah, I called him immediately. Um, when when I exposed him, when I when I start to decide to expose him. Right there, I'd asked her, when did you call the lawyer? Mm. So she, she, uh, so essentially what happened was she called him on the 30th of March, being like, hey, wait, 30th of March? Am I thinking the right date? What are, what are we right now? March. We're April. We're April? Okay, I'm oh, sorry. So we told her on 30th of March, tell him we should bring it. And I think on April 4th, that's when she started exposing him. So yeah, on April 4th. denied and everything. Is yeah, because down. when she contacted him, he's just like, bro, I don't know you. Get the fuck away from me. Like, no, that's your problem. Go deal with it. And so she's like, yo, you got me pregnant. You're just going to disappear on me. So when she exposed her, she's like, I'm calling a lawyer. I'm going to figure this whole shit out. And so that's the timeline of how things went down. His two plus two. Four. Two plus two is four. Yeah. Yeah. That's my, that's my thing. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> and then I asked her who decided that. Who decided that? Barely pregnant and called a lawyer. Man, these bitches, man. That, that's just logic. That's just uh, the math. Without, without this, the word doesn't function. You can't count on anything. Everybody knows that. Um, idiot. And we, I needed to know the answer. You're okay. not good. Okay. You're <laughs> He's uh, probably undereducated. Uh, he, well, he doesn't have anything else to say on the podcast. Uh, but you let this dummy bust inside you. Why? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can't talk shit about God it. God damn. He was coding your sugar walls. I'm just saying. You know? God damn, Abba. Yeah, yeah, but I didn't realize that before because I just. <laughs> I mean, she doesn't exactly seem like a fucking genius herself, but I just thought he's funny. Then, then you're gonna end up with a dumb baby. <laughs> um, any regrets about how this whole thing has unfolded so far? Uh, yeah. First, for being so dumb, letting him come inside on me without marriage. Um, and I don't, I don't regret exposing. I don't. Yeah. What's, who's Abba? I asked her if she's going to have a boy. Does she know what she's going to name him? <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know. <laughs> don't ask me this question because I don't, I don't, I haven't decided yet. What about the name Abba? <laughs> <laughs> well, I got so many DMs already that they want to step in and they want to be the stepfather. <laughs> <laughs> already, things are stepping in trying to be the stepdaddy. Step in the name of I, love. I will say this. Step in the name of love. If you end up having legal troubles and they sue you and whatever, if you name that kid after me, I'll pay for all your legal troubles. That's a promise. So if you need, what the fuck? need to help 
financing a lawyer to fight off Fred Fitt. Are you serious? Man, you mean? If uh, if Walter Jr. over there got the name Abba, I'll pay all them bills. Dagalon, what I'll up? Sleep, I'll, hey, listen. As far as I'm concerned, I think you deserve every dime. What's her name? We don't know her last name. Daisy. That's what we all call her, okay? Imagine she names him Abba Preach Daisy. <laughs> Abba. <laughs> Where you, some women in RP space would be that. like, if this was a woman, they'd be like, bro, look at women so emotional, never consistent, blah, blah, blah. What the f is this guy doing? And you know what? The fans are noticing because they up in the comments, they're letting them know about the <coughs> recent life, so they're not happy with it. And actually, did you see the recent life they did with no. the lawyer? No spine. And that's the reason why a lot of you mother are fat, triple chin, neck bearded, pieces of shit, dorks with no money, and no one respects you because you money pisses me off. What it. Me, when I wake up and I'm not bothered, I just wake up. Tate, do you have tried to act? We were there. Did it! Alright, I've seen enough of those. I guess we need to play this. Hi, you're all customer service. She's actually been on the kill stream in a blood sports. Let me see here. She's actually, who did she face? I forgot now. Wasn't it Beardson or somebody? I can't remember now. I think it might have been Beardson. Service. And she was on the show as a guest too. Hey, Lisa, it's Eliza Jordana. Hey, you're so down. Thank you. Um, I have a question. Was he in therapy with you? Yeah. So you, guys, so you were actually putting in the effort and trying to do like couple therapy. Yeah. And um, so the, the therapist wasn't a good one, you don't think? What so. Was she doing? I guess she caught her boyfriend cheating on her or something. They end up in a car. This is like the whole clip, though, I think. It wasn't that. It's like some somehow during the therapy, I got a hold of his phone. I don't know why. And then I was looking through it, and the uh, person that he's... Oh, yeah, okay. That's always bullshit. I got a hold of his phone. I don't know why. Yeah, you know why. You're in the place where you're having to look through somebody's phone, which I've done fully admit to doing you should leave the motherfucker anyway like that's just bottom line advice somehow i just ended up with his phone yeah right yeah right you don't know why yeah because you were snooping through his shit and by the way i've done the same thing but if you're feeling that way about somebody where you have to check up on them it would have saved me so much trouble in my life if i would have just said fuck this bitch and just closed it on out because if you're if you're feeling that way then it's time to it's time to cash it out and move on now i didn't take that advice <laughs> i didn't take that advice but if you're feeling that way then like obviously there's some problems there whether they're cheating or not like and and they weren't when i looked through right but if you're feeling that way, it means that you're not. It's it's not a good situation, and you don't trust this person. And they weren't cheating, but it's like, well, you that's not the person for you. Um, and that's just I don't know. That's just the, probably some of the best advice I could give <laughs> to anybody listening now. Um, you know, just move on because if you can't trust them. And even if you're wrong, right, and there's nothing for you, for you to, to see there, you know, it's still, it's a terrible sign. And you should just, you're never going to trust them. You're never going to trust them. And so uh, it should, it should be over. The one from Mashmaster. Master. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you 
can recover. I'm not saying that. Uh, but my thing is, if you're feeling that way, it's like. It's probably good. Look at where I'm at now with that person, and it's like, you know, total fucking guerrilla warfare. It's like, well, that could have been avoided. Trust the bitch. You ass master. Let me add that to the tally as well. He said it was a stupid Mexican he's been talking to for nine months, sexting with mm. while he was talking to me, calling her his girlfriend and stuff. So and I screenshot all those. Sending her money on Venmo, sent her a couple million dollars. So, a what? You know. A couple million dollars. Damn, this guy just blew, blew fresh out the water. I was right. A couple million dollars. Not all that. And then you, you found, you, who was the woman you called earlier? That That's said, Sarah, yeah, I knew his that girlfriend, too, his Mexican girlfriend. Hates Mexicans, oh, by the way. <laughs> Obviously. How did you get her number? Uh, I saw her, him texting her every day for the last year, two years. Oh, my God. All right, well, retail therapy is the thing to do. Good job and try to feel better, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. She's like part of IP2 now. When? When will I get over it? But you didn't even like him, though. I mean, oh, I, I did. I did, like, I did. I liked him a little. I was very attached to him. I got attached. Oh, you're attached. Okay, that's. I guess that makes sense. If you're attached to somebody. I got attached. Have you ever been attached to someone? <laughs> uh, no. I have a, a, what do you call it? Personality disorder, so I don't. I don't know where I parked. Now they end up in a car. She's the one who got arrested. I have no idea where I parked. Girl donated five dollars. My Mexican girl makes Hugo's con hot dog for breakfast. I'm afraid if I accidentally see him, I might do something I regret. So I'm gonna not see him anymore. I'm really afraid of myself right now because I don't trust myself. Oh, there he is. Oh my God, he's near the police. She's, mul yeah, she assaults him multiple times. Well, it's all on her camera too. So she's the one who recorded it. Not a good idea. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. I haven't seen the whole video, just the full, just the, some short clips. This yeah, is the hello. whole thing. She hit the police too? Well, yeah, even if you don't hit the police, as I know, you can go to jail for that. It's on the ground. So, you have his phone and his keys? Yeah, I have his phone. I think he wants it. Alright, fine, I'll give it to him. Go give it to him. Alright. You guys are adults. Yeah. Your phone and his keys are right, what's, what's gonna happen? Where do these niggas be at when they I'm, I'm just gonna go to my car. Are so you guys gonna be together? What's the plan? I, I see him over there. I know. He's waiting. What are you having to do? I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't need anything from you. What are you looking for? No, no. This, this is uh, my stupid boyfriend. He's retarded. I'm sorry that he bothered you. I have his phone and his, because we were in couples therapy. 
Uh, oh, sorry, let me turn it down. I'm sorry. So, so we were in couples therapy, and I found out he's been cheating on me for two years. So that's what this is about. There's nothing okay. violent happening. I'm no, getting, wait, he just wants his phone. So he's getting his phone. phone. All right, he's, he's getting his phone. Okay, 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 thank you so much. All right, thank you. I, I, what? Here it is. Take it. What? You said you were going to come, but you didn't. Come where? Come on. The shrink said you were going to come back to the... For I just, what? To give me my stuff. Oh, there it is. There's your stuff. Thank you. A nice one. What do you do? I don't care what you do. I do not care what you do. February. I called Sarah, you fucking bitch. I'm gonna fucking kill you. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry, February sorry. Was when you were with Sparta. No, you, you, were, you, were, you were. I, I got. I'm gonna text her my Discord. I'm okay. gonna text her. All the same shit you say to me, you say to her. You, you both are gonna turn this into something. Okay, okay. I'm just talking to <laughs> you. Not really, no. Okay. okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, it's not okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you should see what you're lucky that you're Damn, is this the one competent female officer? Didn't hate him because regardless of what he said, okay, all right, okay, okay, I'm sorry. Get me off of that camera. Son. Okay, you're not on it, you're not on it. No, get it. She's so, a police, I'm listen. Talking. I'm Regardless of what had just happened here, if you had hit him right in my presence, regardless if you had I don't. Be quiet and listen to me. No matter what he said, you would be going to jail. Do you understand? All right, you must not all right, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. calm down. I was asking, can I go grab no, my stuff? You can grab his stuff. Elisa, yeah, you always say a lot. You can grab his stuff and he can go home. That's what he can do. Okay. I have his stuff. I can take him to his stuff and then he can go Okay, home. take his stuff and take your anger down or not because you you had hit him in my presence. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to talk about the bad uh, well, topic. Well, I, think I should talk out. about it. No, I, I said I I'm going to stop talking about it. Okay, good. Yeah. Because that's ridiculous. Okay. And I hope your channel caught that, that bad... Oh, Perception of you. That's not very nice. Damn. Okay. Yeah. No, well, right. it's kind you of the point. You've been cheated on for two years with you know a twenty-year-old Mexican. I'm not, I'm I doubt not it. Into yeah. my business okay. I'm right, well, just telling you that's my business. I, I really don't want to talk one. to you anymore. You understand? Nice talking to you. Have a nice day. I called her and I spoke to her. She's very boring, of course. No, I saw all your texts. I saw all your texts. What a retard. together though yeah she really should have been arrested right there if it had been a guy of course you know that would have happened but James donated five dollars what a cheating snake they're both in the car this obviously is a mistake how do you get in the car with this bitch? Yes, hello. Yeah, hi, what? Hey, Scar, why do you look like a little kid who just got caught stealing out of the cookie jar? I'm not with your no ch I'm not with your no chin having ass, dude. <laughs> you fucking shit. Where's your chin, dude? Where did it go? Oh my god, you look like a an adult baby. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, clown. Go back to Persia. Then letting her drive, yeah. What? Why you let this little punk bitch in your car? You think you should walk? Why you let this little punk bitch in your car? You gonna let everybody just run all over you, Lisa? This guy's like hyping her up too. You gonna let this fucking bitch take advantage of you, Elisa? Because the cop was watching me, and I couldn't kill him there. So. Well, you let this bitch in your fucking car. I fucking slap the shit out of him and kick him out the fucking door. Don't worry, he's Back gonna get what he deserves. I, I, don't worry. Do not worry. What's this? Neil, Neil, plastic surgeon. Hello. He's talking her into jail. Lisa, how are you? Good. Dr. Dr. H. That's what I was just saying, man. There's a built-in simp army. You'll never win. I was calling this shit out to Scott for a second. Sure, he's right here. I possibly could. Yeah. Scott John. You're in the end today. It's not today. It's today. 
It's like, it's not today, it's like the last six months, but I know you think something happened today. It wasn't today. It's just I found out today. And I posted everything in Discord. So all Squirrel's private conversations mm -hmm. throughout the last six months are in the Permanent Friends Discord. So the beautiful, uh, hold on, Neil. So if you guys were watching my streams and you thought, oh, Discord's stupid, a lot of people say that, right? So um, yeah, all of Squirrel's private information is as well, uh, Sarah's phone number, Sarah's address, her full name, her Venmo account, Sarah Rodriguez on Venmo, her oh, transactions shit. are all James the donated Permanent Friends Discord. James donated $5. Discord. Girl, a lot of people is your Venmo. Mexican girl hot? Very hot and young and taking money. And I wish I took more money, but I didn't. I'm so Stata dumb. Stata John, Sean. Hello, IRL customer service. How can I help you? Yeah, where are you taking Smash or pass? Off? I'm going to go kill him at the house. So. All right. Yeah, send him back to LA with his black tooth. No, he's not going back. He's not going to survive. It's just today. So no. say, say your goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Later, loser. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you. You're gonna be dead in a couple hours. So just look forward. What the fuck? Look forward to that. No, look forward to that. I, you know what? You know, MS is too nice for you. You're calling Uber. What is he thinking? Don't give you. I saw all your texts, all of them. Dick hard. Fuck your stupid trick. I fucking hate you. Uh, guys like this should be killed. So here they are. There you go. Oh wait, why did that not play? Five dollars. Thank you. Hell bastardo zero. You're a pike of shit to cheat on Elisa with a beautiful Mexican girl in her early twenties with everything on her body completely tight in all the right places. Yeah, yeah well he's gonna have to be with Confirmed again for tomorrow. I don't give a fuck if I have a Discord. You know, I'd make more money if I didn't have a Discord. Because people would be more interested in the streams instead of hanging out there all day. I, I, I want to get kicked off Discord today. Actually, I'm, I'm going to post nudes on purpose and. and well, it's not that hard to get kicked off Discord. Purposely, so I'm kicked off Discord so I can have more viewers. Thank you. That's a good idea. Thank you. Yeah. And then you can see how he's like buying burkas for people. <laughs> and saying, oh, like, same shit, same sentences, exact sentences. Like, I think he copies and pastes them to different people, and I knew he was doing that. He's so unoriginal and boring. Oh, oh, here's Sarah. Oh, my God, yay. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Hi. Can you, Thanks so much for calling. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you great. Thank you so much. Thank you for calling. Face with tears of joy donated $5. You're no angel, Elisa. So, uh, what's going on? Uh, I'd love to hear from your side what's going on. So, what's going on from my side? Um, I have all your news. Oh, my God. So, I'm going to send, I'm going to text them to you so you can see what, um, Bar Don't do that. From Alipur is sending of women. You play with them pictures. Like and I'm going to text you when you text me as well. So I'm just, I'm just going to send you like six months of texts of uh, your nudes and, you know, different sentences that he. Sir, I'm sorry uh, about this. Don't do that. Oh. He just got slapped hard. Uh, your nudes and, you know, different sentences that he. Sir, I'm sorry uh, about this. Oh. Don't, don't fucking talk. Idiot. First off, if she had done that to me, like. I mean, just, I don't know that I'd be able to resist. <laughs> yeah, it's a self-defense situation, and right in the nose, too. And he's got glasses on. I mean, 
Yeah, it's it's a good thing he doesn't though. Yeah, I, but I don't think I'd be able to stop myself. Uh, yes, sir. We're really sorry about this and sending him your way today. Fucking. Uh, so don't worry. Um, but yeah, so yeah, she, he's coming. Don't worry, he's coming home. She hit him pretty hard. She just like almost broke my nose. She's gonna get her. No, no, you're fine. You're fine. Fuck you, cunt. Um. Next time you fucking touch me, I'll fucking dick you. You understand? You understand, cunt? Hey, no, Sarah, hang up. These idiots, she posted your fucking number in her cancer discord, and I would just be polite. Yeah, 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 she no, so, so ba, Baram, Baram, how do you pronounce it, do you know? I don't know. Shut the fuck up, cunt. Um, hey, so, cunt. So I'm gonna text you your nudes that he sent me, and right. what he wrote about you. He said you're a dumb Mexican, that, uh, he doesn't yeah. even yeah. like, just, sure. just so sure. he said that I'm a streamer that he doesn't like, so you guys are like, wow, right. interesting. Okay, Sarah, to the Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, touch me and I fucking deck your dumbass bitch. I'll fucking deck you. The, 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 what is yes. even happening? Um, as a woman, the dumb cunt Sarah, the dumb I retard in the middle of the stream session. Can you she, she took, from she, she, no, she's a, she's a fucking insane person. She's a she's a fucking I would stop talking about oh, dumb yeah. cunt oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. in the middle of the street okay, dancing. Yeah. yeah, Sarah, I heard you had a kid when you were sixteen. That's what he told me about you. Yeah, she had and he a said kid. you're a dumb Mexican. I said she's and a dumb Mexican. And he said you keep showing up. And he says you won't stop texting him. But I saw what? the text. It's the same shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's up? She's okay. half your age. Can you she's half your age. Delete the number, please. Ah! Ah! Pull no. over, dumb cunt. Oh. Pull over, dumb cunt. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, please don't. don't. Right, I'll stop. I'll stop. <laughs> stop. Okay, I'll stop. Pull over. Okay, I will. Pull over, dumb okay, cunt. Please, please, please. Ah. No, I'm sorry. No, call 911, Sarah. Call 911. No, no, no. Oh, you're sorry, right? Get the fuck okay, out of here. Okay, I'm getting out. I'm getting out. He's killing me. Oh, He's my God. I've heard that one before. Ah! No! Okay, I'm getting out. Okay. So that's the clip. She ended up getting booked, though, and going to jail. Stream ended. Holy fuck. This is pretty dark, yeah. Yeah, it is. Let me see if I can find the... Uh, TMZ ran this, actually. Uh, let me see if I can pull this up. Smart to drive off the phone, though. Even if unintentional. Yeah, she went to jail. I, I would normally say, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll check. Uh, I'll check DMs. Okay, yeah, I see it. I know Colonel J to premiere it on um on YouTube as well. The Paul interview from earlier, which was the main portion. Since then. But that was the main portion. We're gonna have Mike on tomorrow, Cog another brother of Cogs. The one confirmed that Cog is a pedophile who fucked a fourteen year old. When he was like 29 or 30. That's Mike tomorrow. And Paul confirmed uh, that Cog was bringing this girl around. Uh, the family, etc. So. That was a uh, double confirm on that. He's premiering it after the show. So it's not actually up yet. But I guess he live recorded it. Colonel J. 
I guess you did too, Anton. Uh, but the more the merrier. I'll probably put it up on my own channel too. So. Oh, this guy said bet it was a lie. Oh, yeah. Both brothers have said it was a lie. Now pay up. What is this? Is this a COG fan that you're arguing with? Like a true COG fan, when faced with facts, you deny reality. Bet anyone $30, $30 right now this is a lie that I had Paul on. No, it was COG's brother. Yeah, archive that. No, nope, that was definitely him. I mean, Cog's not denying that. <laughs> Even Cog himself's not. That might be better defense for him <laughs> than the ones he's been running. Uh, now, it's clearly false, but that might be better than what he's been running. But... Uh, <laughs> Ex Howard Stern show star arrested for battery beat on dude live streamed in car. Uh, let me see. Uh, he didn't go to jail though. Somebody called the cops over this, and when officers arrived, they heard heard both sides and looked at the video, ultimately determining Elisa was the aggressor here. Well, she was. Per police report obtained by TMZ, cops arrested and booked her for simple domestic battery. There's her booking photo. She since apologized for her actions, telling TMZ, I'm very sorry for my actions on my live stream. I wish that wouldn't have happened. It's a moment I'm not proud of. Yeah. Well, that's a fair statement. I... <laughs> Yeah, his voice was way more normal than Cog by far. Yeah, that's true. That's definitely true. Mugshot. She might get on Mugshotties or whatever the fuck that Twitter account is, though. <laughs> Yep, she hit on she hit him in front of the police and just got a moral lesson instead of booked by police. Who's the guy she's beating on? I have no idea, honestly. I have no idea. Yeah, Michael's great. He's I have a feeling he's gonna be great tomorrow. <laughs> and it's Cog that started all this. And Cog had caused friction between Paul and Mike, and they hadn't even talked. And, you know, I inquired about about talking to Mike again. And then they ended up, you know, breaking bread and hopefully getting past some of the bullshit that Cog caused in the first place. So, you know, I like to think that's a good thing. Uh, Zocoro, allegedly the son of a billionaire with a $45 million mansion in Beverly Hills, has been financially Over eight months, he intermittently dropped, he intermittently donated 10K during her streams, totaling hundreds of thousands. A pay pick is someone who enjoys submitting financial, that's like a real, that's why I don't use that term for supporters. This is a guy who actually, like, you know, gets off on being fin domed, I guess. Elisa flew Socorro to Florida for a potential romance, but discovered he was texting and cheating on her with another online figure, Sarah, who received over two million from him. Two million? What in the world? That's what I couldn't get over. When I heard the two million dollar number, I was just like, what? Ralph healing families with mutual hatred of Cog. 
Well, yeah, that's what I was like. No, I mean, I did. I'm legit. I think that's a great thing. Um, And I was sad. And he's like, well, we haven't really talked for a while. And then, you know, they're back talking again. That's a great thing. So, and it was all cogs horseshit in the first place to cause that. So, you know, I have to say it's a great thing. I would have to say that's a great thing. Today's show was a great thing as well. Oh, my God. Major support once again here on the Kill Stream. We not only hit the main goal, we hit the extendo and then some. Uh, so I missed you guys during my little sabbatical, my little vacation there. I'm back. Uh, probably even do a Saturday show this week, but we'll see. Um, but definitely Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Tomorrow we have College Brother. I don't know about the rest of the week. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to work on that. Um, but I'm back to full time work, and I'm excited about it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed hearing from Paul today. I enjoyed talking to him. Cinema says that Paul interview was amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm very glad it worked out. I thought it went. Uh, I thought it went very well. We hit all the topics and then some that I didn't even know about. So, anyway, I think my job here is done. I believe it's done. There's a few more things we didn't get through, but uh, we got through the show. I should be on 2 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. Shouldn't be any delays. We should have Cog's other brother, Mike, on about 3.30 p.m. Eastern. And it should follow a similar pattern as today's show. Although Mike's definitely his own guy. Uh, he's he's very charismatic. Um, not that Paul's not. I thought Paul did great. But Mike's, it's a, it's a different, it'll be a different tone if you heard our interview uh, with him last time. So... And yes, link to Colonel J. Yeah, that's a good idea. Colonel J is going to premiere the interview on YouTube if you want to support that. He's better with clips than I, I well than I've been recently. I haven't been clipping enough. Uh, so if you want Killstream clips, I am going to do some. But Colonel J is a great channel to subscribe to on YouTube because he does a lot of Killstream clips. He clips other stuff too, but uh, a lot of Killstream stuff. So. Uh, I like Colonel J a lot, and I appreciate his support. And another round of applause for the big support today. Yeah, Mersh is live. I wonder, let me see. Uh, I think I can raid. Let me see if I can do that. Uh, I think I can do that. I'll try, but I'm going to play the... I don't really... I've never done it on here. But I'm going to play the outro, and we'll see if it works. So it might cut off during the middle of the outro. But I had so much fun today, guys. I'm flattered by the support. Uh, it's what keeps the show going. Um, A lot of just... Um, a lot of cool things in my life, a lot of crazy things in my life. Um, just your normal, everyday, Ralph and Mel existence. Um, but uh, I really enjoyed getting back to work today, and I thank you guys for being here. And yes, we will definitely talk about the beats, Anton. I'm going to have to make a list of questions, I think. Okay, send in an outro, Dono. That's fine. Go ahead, A-hole, if you want to. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. And I'm so hungry. Or else I'd probably stream a little bit longer. Because there was I wanted to talk about Gaza a little bit. I didn't really get to today. But I'm like fucking starving. So yeah, you can submit some questions if you want, Anton. Yeah, she had Andy Dick on a leash. They were supposedly engaged. I think that was like a stunt though.
I also think Andy Dick's in jail. Is he not still in jail? Uh, I mean, well, I'm not a judge, but... <laughs> yeah, that did happen. Man, I'm so fucking hungry. <laughs> My apologies. Yeah, that's a pretty good bet, Katie Cat. In jail, passed out, or sucking some guy. Yeah. Uh oh. Hey, Hole wow. Henderson sent twenty-eight dollars and twenty-two cents. Give hundred dollar days, night all. Well, I'll be damned. I will be damned. How you son? He made the team this year. Five hundred. He said he wasn't tall enough. The haters gonna say that's fake. Money Especially today. One day I'm gonna be able to write about all this stuff. And it's just for my cousin locked down. All the answers why I spit it in my song. So sweet like a photo where your granny's pitching that at your gun. It'll be pretty entertaining. Super hard on Thanksgiving and Christmas. This can't be right. Yo, you heard the track I did, man. This can't be life. Somebody please say grace so I can stay face and have a reason to cover my face. Anyway. I even made you a play. Salute. So and thank you for this poor Aho Anderson. And everybody else. I know how the family do it. When I brought her, why the car had to look all through it. As kids, we used to laugh. Who knew that life would move this fast? Who knew I have to look at you through a glass? And look, you tell me you ain't did it, then you ain't did it. And if you did, then that's family I business. Don't care about all them they don't mean a thing. Everybody standing with us. Come on, let's take a family Grammy picture. Abby, remember when they ain't believe in me? Now she like, see, that's my cousin on TV. Now we getting it and we gon' make it and they gon' hate it and I'm his favorite. I can't deny it. I'm a straight rider, but when we get together, be electric sliding. Grandma, get him shook up. Oh no, nah, don't open the photo book up. I got a aunt Ruth that can't remember your name, but I bet them Polaroids are center down memory lane. You know that one aunt. I don't mean to be rude, but every holiday nobody eating a food. And you don't wanna stay there, cause them your worst cousins. Got roaches at the crib like them your first cousins. Act like you ain't took a bath with your cousin. Fit three in the bed. If it's six of y'all, I'm talking about three by the head and three by the leg. But you ain't have to tell my girl I used to pee in the bed. And guns. Keep your nose out the sky, keep your heart to God, and keep your face to the rising sun. All my n****s from the shies, my family dog, and my n****s ain't my guys, they my family dog. I feel like one day you'll understand me, dog. You can still love your man and be manly, dog. You ain't gotta get heated at every house warming. Sitting here grilling people like George Foreman. My Uncle Ray and Aunt Sheila always performing. Second she storm out, then he storming. Y'all gon' sit down, have a good time this reunion, and drink some wine. Like communion and act like everything fine And if it isn't, we ain't letting everybody in our family business uh. oh, oh, diamond ring, diamond ring. They don't mean nothing oh, oh.
get Stevie out of jail? Bye bye, chat. I'm raiding Nightwave. If I re if I rearrange the studio, which I think I should do, I've been kind of in the mood to do that anyway. Because I installed like an extended plug over there anyway, and it's like a better breaker. Oh shit! Thank you, uh, Ethan Ralph. Kill stream just raided this stream. Shout out to the kill stream people. Um, thank you, thanks, Ralph. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I was thinking of moving shit anyway. But I guess she felt cornered, and then I, I, she had a right to, because Marge tried to go under the desk and creep out the room, and he just pounced on her, and there were. Uh, I just had to break up a cat fight. But uh, hey, shout out to the kill stream folks. Um, I know Ralph's not drinking anymore, but we still are. So a shot to Lachayim, to Ralph. Mm. By the way, tonight, guys, um, we're looking. Uh, I need the Atlanta Braves to win. I need the Nuggets and Knicks. I already got them. I need the Suns. We need the Calgary Flames, Los Angeles Kings, and well, who else? Giants, Dallas Stars, Colorado Avalanche, Arizona Diamondbacks, San Francisco Giants, Texas Rangers. And um, my big parlay, which right now looks pretty solid right now. If I can get the Suns, Knicks, Heat, Spurs, and Oklahoma City Thunder... We're talking about winning, what, 30 bucks on a $5 bet? So we're looking good. I got a lot of bets out there tonight. And uh, I'm up. I'm up significantly on my bookie. Um, let's see if don't. <clears throat> I cashed out a pretty nice chunk of change last week. A much needed chunk of change because I just had to pay my tax attorney like something like $1,600 today. Yeah. Like up front. Um, so that was literally like I cashed out something like 1500 last week and it went right to the lawyer. I was off the rip. Cool. Enjoy it, bud. I wasn't, you know, it's only springtime. I couldn't have found my ways to enjoy that money. Um, but now this week I'm up again. I'm up right now where my, my account has, remember we, when I cashed out, I think I left 380 bucks in it, about 400 bucks. We're back up to 1066. So... Um, yeah, if I can get this account up to like 12, 13 hunch, I'm probably going to cash out another G. So let's go Phoenix Suns. Um, let me see. Do, 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 do. Got my Braves hat on, bro. Atlanta's been killing it, man. Honestly. I mean, I, I'm it's honestly, I think they're playing the heat tonight and I've got the heat over. Uh, the Hawks and the Heat are beating the Hawks, but I'll be honest with you. I thought that would be the one I'd lose money on. I thought, I thought the Hawks would upset us. Atlanta Braves, Atlanta Hawks. Uh, Atlanta, Atlanta don't fuck around. They, they got some good teams. Did I open? I didn't open up a Rumble Rant thing yet. I just want to make sure I'm not missing any of these. James Graves, thank you, thirty three. He says hello, Mersh. Hope you're doing great. Fuck Gabe Hoffman. Fuck Kino Casino and fuck Jesse. Yeah, I'm with you. Um, yeah, fuck the motherfuckers. Although I, you know, I'm sure they much, much like a uh, fake cancer guy probably are like, oh man, I bet we live rent free. And he said, bro, I just went to WrestleMania this weekend, both days. I had the greatest time. I barely, I didn't even look at social media. The only thing I did was retweet uh, pictures that I was tagged in from the weekend, but I didn't, man, I, I got to say to a lot of people out there that, that want to be all uh, terminally online and they want to have their own streams and click the super chats and do their own. You got to be built for this shit. Got to be built for this shit. 
That's why I give Ralph credit. Ralph is built for this shit. I've been watching for five, six years now. For five, six years, it's like watching some villain of the week pop up. It, it, it's kind of like uh, watching like Justified. And like every week there's some new weird villain that's like, I'm going to be the one to take out Raylan Givens. And I'm like, oh, I mean, good luck, dude. God bless you. You know what I mean? I won't get in your way, but it's probably going to come back on you. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> you know, it's literally, he, even as a new villain of the week all the time, and they're like, I'm going to be the one to destroy him. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, word, <laughs> word, cool, cool, dude, cool. <laughs> you got this, bro. Um, But a lot of that has to do with just, hey, like, just take a break, man. You can't give a fuck what these people think. Um, All right, a couple things we're going to get into tonight. So we played this clip earlier on ROTC, but I just thought it was so funny we'd play it again. Plus, we didn't play the clip that I brought up. So I was like, well, fuck me. I guess I'll play my clip on uh, Nightwave. This is the former mayor of Houston, Sheila Jackson Lee. And she is a fucking moron. She might be one of the dumbest people in, in black liberal politics I've ever seen. This is her discussing uh, which one thing, which, which was it? The solar flares or the goddamn... Oh no, she's talking about the moon. Okay, she's talking about the moon. This is beautiful. This is this is these people shape policies that are going to affect your grandchildren. Sometimes you've heard the word full moon. Sometimes you need to take the opportunity just to come out and see a full moon is that complete rounded circle, which is made up mostly of gases. And that's why the question the question is why or how could we as humans live on the moon? This woman is so fucking stupid. Uh, the gas is such that we could do that. <laughs> it's the gas. It's a special kind of gas. It's the kind of gas you can you can live on. The sun is a mighty powerful heat. Yes, it, I've heard. It is almost. Triple ends as her unwavering confidence kills me. That's what it is. Dude, she's going. I like if you were doing this like deadpan, I would think you were fucking with me. I'd be like, all right, he's doing a bit, right? Because this is funny impossible to go near the sun the moon is more manageable sometimes the more the moon's more manageable than the sun they're both made of gas but the sun's gas is too hot and P pluto's gas is too cold and uh and and the moon gas is just right uh so I, that touched on to i i brought up a clip on rtc and we just never really got around to playing it but Sonny, Sonny Hostin of uh, The View is also really, really dumb. And she's so dumb that even the dumb bitches on The View had to, like, distance themselves from her. Listen to this fucking retard. By the way, I think she went to, like, Georgetown or something. And she has, like, a fucking... She, she literally has a law degree. Don't... See, we need to make a... We need to make an agreement as a nation. We need to stop automatically respecting people because they have certain jobs. I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of people going, uh, I, I would know a thing or two, I'm a lawyer. Or, oh, uh, you know, I know a thing or two about things, I'm a doctor. I'm starting to learn, like, or I'm a teacher. I meet a lot of dumb people and a lot of dumb people with positions that you're like, yeah, th I don't, but I don't trust you. You guys are fucking idiots too, man. It's all just doing homework and passing your tests, and then they give you a piece of paper, but you're a fucking moron. Jim Enward, Dr. Jill Biden, Dr. David Duke. Well, you, you, first of all, leave Dr. David Duke's name out of your fucking mouth, okay? You can make fun of Jill Biden all you want, but do not make fun of the great Dr. Duke. Makeup artist, when the earthquake was happening, she put her coat on and she was like, Jesus is coming. I'm out. I'm, I'm out. I'm leaving. We've got a solar eclipse. Uh, we've got she ran the earthquake. Down the hallway. She ran down the hallway. The and rapture then, is here. The rapture's here. And then also I learned that the cicadas are coming. Cicadas. Cicadas. No, she meant John Cicada. He's coming. He's making a big comeback. I don't know if you guys know. <laughs> when she said the cicada's coming back, she literally was just... She meant this, this cicada. She meant John. See, they're correct. Or no, you meant the cicadas. No, 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 no. Every 20 years, 
Every 20 years, John Sakata comes back and he gives us a new hit. So right after the solar eclipse, depending on when BMG Universal feel like releasing it, we're gonna get a new, he will rise again like Christ. <laughs> he will come back in the third day. But as you know, in heaven with Jesus and God, their idea of a day is like 20 years or some shit. It's time. It's time for the cicadas to come back. <laughs> Everyone's like, this is a banger. This was a banger. This was a pretty good song. Come on. Remember John Cicada. Sorry. Well, For the, the first time in <laughs> like no no hundred no, years no 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 two different no, two, no well they, this is what I read two, two different there's times two different kinds of cicadas yes, two different coming. times times are coming the good cicadas and the bad no. for the first time it, oh my god it's it, this sounds like a, a, a table at a diner I never want to be sitting next to right this doesn't feel like a talk show there's no flow people just talk over each other they all interrupt they're all cackling over each other. This just sounds like I, I got put next to five annoying boomer bitches in a diner and they're in the booth next to me. And I have to listen to this fucking brainless drivel from these old eggless whores. In, in many, many years. No, seven, so, every 17 years this happens. Well, that's not what I read, but maybe. <laughs> but, you know. but you know, each year, I mean, I read what I read and you read what you read, but whatever, it's fine. No. <clears throat> Maybe well, you know better, I, but in I a way, say all those all those things together would maybe lead one to believe that you know either climate change exists That's more or something point. is really or going is returning. Earthquakes are not at the mercy of climate change. It's underground. No. It can't. <laughs> I don't think it, that it happens. I Huh? What? Makeup artist. So that's that's the clip. They're literally even. She's so dumb. Joy Behar is correcting her. No earthquakes have nothing to do with with climate change. You dumb bitch. You stupid, stupid, dumb bitch. This is a lawyer. She is a lawyer. Every time I hear, oh man, he's a doctor. Oh, he's a lawyer. I'm like, what is that fucking proof? What? Tell me what the fuck that proves. I've met some doctors and lawyers that are the biggest, stupidest fucking moron, cokehead, drunk losers in the world. Esteban, 27, for, ta for five bucks, thank you. Says, glad to have you guys back, Mersh. Thank you. It's been, it's good to be back. I always enjoy a good trip, you know, abroad, uh, doing some cool shit. WrestleMania was a blast, but, you know, it's good to get back in the swing of things. By the way, RAK uh, did donate like five bucks a bunch of times uh, earlier today and yesterday, and it was, I don't know if you were coke babbling or going crazy or I don't know, but you were, you were, you, you were yelling, you were talking about like 50 different things and it was, str it's stressing me out is what I'm saying. You, you, look, I need you to dial it back, pal. All right, all right, okay. I appreciate you. You're a cool dude, but I really need you to dial it the fuck back because you're giving me um, anxiety. You're, you're giving me social anxiety when you write that many things about things and I don't know what I'm supposed to talk about on the air or off the air and you got all these ideas for my show and it's let's let's cool out you you popped up around here very recently and you're you're very very you're too eager you're too eager you got too many ideas and you're spitballing too much just sit back relax okay you're you're it's cool to be around but please let's please let's calm down um <sighs> Oh, yeah, this is uh, Amphimisi says a good point. This was one of the best bits they ever did on Family Guy. Hey, Stewie, three o'clock, time for the view. No, 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 not again! <laughs> <laughs> Let me out of here! I can't watch another second! That would be torture. Um, oh, the Rumblebot does work. Look at that. The Rumblebot is working. That's pretty fucking neat. Uh, thank you, Mary Jane, for 10 bucks. Just says, as a woman. <laughs> it always starts that way. Um, 
James Graves are five. My teams are Georgia teams and Ohio teams. Also, hope you're doing good, man. I'm, you know, I'm alive. I'm, I'm killing it. Like I said, I did, did pretty good on my bookie this week. I uh, talked to my tax guy today, and he's not fucking nearly as pissed as me as I thought he was going to be. I blew him off for like weeks. I was sick. I've been going through some shit off the air. Plus, we had to go do the, the who are these podcasts, the live event. Then we had to go do the mania shit and the hack the movie shit. And the flight got canceled and we were driving them. Like, I've just been dodging this motherfucker for like, you know, we, and you know, he wants his $1,600 and he can't like do anything about further representing me going forward until we fix all this shit. So I was surprised he wasn't that mad at me today when I called him. I was like, I got your money. Jesus Christ. Pax Americana, thank you for two. Says, I'm sorry, Mersh, but don't you know black women got us to the moon? <laughs> they didn't. I'm so sick of hearing that. I'm so, I know you're kidding, but I'm so sick of hearing that. All right, let's move on here. Uh, what, who, what other? Ooh, speaking of dumb women. Uh, so we were covering Elisa Jordana beating up her retarded, slow, millionaire, billionaire boyfriend. You guys may remember this guy. This guy got Gan 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 Ganval. Ganval. We watched this guy on Nightwave about a year ago. He's the guy that fucking made Fousey Tube swat himself, which was brilliant. Look, I don't like I'm not into people that do the doxing thing, that do the swatting thing. Um I think it's fucked up. I also think it's just stupid. It's a waste of public resources. And it's cowardly and just gay. That being said, gaslighting somebody into swatting themselves is the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> Getting somebody to do it to themselves is hilarious. So uh, that was just a chef's kiss. Ganval's the guy. Uh, that found out what hotel Fousey was in. He'd been trolling him for weeks and, and getting Fousey all riled up. And Fousey was staying at some hotel and Ganval figured out which one it was. And then like, then he was calling the hotel and saying, I'm going to fucking kill you and all this shit. I'm coming to kill you. And Fousey swatted him. So it was so stupid. <laughs> it was so dumb. And the best part is it's like, literally if I was at a hotel and like somebody figured out where I was staying and some fans would call in the room going, I'm going to fucking kill you, right? I'd be like, yeah, I'm not worried about it. Like, if you're going to come kill me, come kill me. It's fine. Like, I've never, I've never, I've gotten death threats before. I've never once in my lifetime gotten a death threat. If anything, I don't take them seriously enough because they're never serious. Like, somebody might end up just killing me someday. But anytime somebody's like, I'm going to fucking kill you. I just roll my eyes and I'm like, all right, buddy. <laughs> come to a hotel I guess but Fousey was like so convinced that there were hitters coming for him that he called the fucking SWAT team on so he just seemed like a sweaty drug addled mess when the cops got there anywho this Ganval guy tracked down the father the rich dad of this pay pig of Elisa uh, this so called fiance of Elisa's but let's be honest this guy's just some rich pay pig and she's been getting money from him so uh, Gamble here Flyers blew it tonight Philadelphia Flyers blew it thanks thanks boys Detroit Red Wings thanks for blowing it tonight boys faggots um, but anyway 